Welcome to Not the MMA Holes. Hit the like button and stay wonderful, wonderful. How you doing? What's going on? Boba Fett's a little transparent. Uh, Boba Fett. Hope everyone's well tonight. Uh, we're going to play some video games. And uh, we're going to talk about one of the worst movies ever. I did not expect this, this movie to be good because I did hear... Some of the reviews were eh, going in on it. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go in with very low expectations, not think too much of it. I mean, it's Michael Myers, right? It's just Michael Myers going around and slashing people. The, the thrilling conclusion, him and Lori square off. Finally, we have the final chapter, quote unquote, of... The Halloween saga, at least between these two, right? So I was like, I, I I watched the other two, you know, in the trilogy. So I, I gotta watch the last one, right? I have to. So I told Jesse, I said, listen, this is not gonna be good. Just a warning. We'll give it a go. Just see how it is. So we started watching it, and maybe like 30 minutes into it. Jesse was like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Actually, earlier, but like 30 minutes, she was like, she was, I was like, should I turn this off? And she's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw Halloween Ends last night. Yes, it was pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, my friend, I have a friend that's a big horror fan, and um, he's like, it was good, man. <laughs> I was like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, it was, and then he sent me like a an IMDb, or some poster of they're already in production for another one. So I, I don't know how to, to <laughs> articulate this without spoiling the movie. Now, um, let me know in the chat. Should I just go full-blown spoilers? Should I just... I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it's just really bad. Like, really, really bad. But let me know in the chat. Should I go full-blown spoilers? If, uh, if people still want to see the movie, I will be respectful and I will just, you know, continue with my review without spoiling it. But um, it is, it's, it's, it's straight up dog shit. It's bad. I mean, you don't really see Michael Myers, like the first half of the movie. <clears throat> it's crazy, man. You, you just don't see it. Horror movies equal Israel Adesanya. Uh, someone in Discord said to watch, I want to see Smile. It did not hit... Uh, two joints. Been a member on this channel for three months. What? Let's go, baby. Come on. Jamie Lee Curtis looks like a K-pop lead singer. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is all, like, dolled up. Imagine someone telling you Michael Myers uh, would get beaten up and his beloved mask stolen by a kid. <laughs> dude. Dude. I mean, I might as well. Uh okay. It's Tropic Time. Do you want to see the movie? Because if, if you're if you're looking to see this movie, then I won't say spoilers. But um basically Cool Breeze gave you the synopsis of the movie. I mean I mean okay, I could say that. Michael Myers was just a straight up pussy, which I never thought I'd see. It's like, hey, if you want to see Michael Myers be a pussy, watch this movie. It's like, no, no, that's not what we signed up for. That's not that's not what we signed up for. We signed up for Michael Myers killing a bunch of people. I mean, let's be serious. And some sort of closure, right? I mean, I know they're, this. it makes too much money for them to just stop, right? So I understand. But, you know, closure, closure to some characters and then we move on, right? Uh, no spoilers? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll navigate around it. I love Halloween. I didn't mind it. Uh... Hold on, for what it was, but this isn't hollow. This isn't no, it's not. And and you know what? Like, I was cool in the beginning with saying, okay, this is different. You know, I I like different. I don't I don't mind different. Even though like at the end of the day, we still need the pay. We still need Michael Myers, right? We need Michael Myers to be Michael Myers. <laughs> Michael Myers gets cucked. Uh, I said not to spoil it uh, so that you could move on to the next topic. <laughs> I mean, it's literally plastered onto the fucking thumbnail. So, um, yeah, but I, I'll be respectful because <clears throat> someone else in the chat says no, no spoilers. So I'll be respectful. I didn't see uh posting for serial killer, uh, killer apprentice. <laughs> didn't see that. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I didn't. So when I went into this movie, because I don't like to to like listen to too many reviews on things, because I am fearful of spoilers. I don't. I didn't watch any trailers to to Halloween Ends. So I went into this movie. All I knew was, okay, this is the conclusion of their s- supposed trilogy that started in 2018, right? And and let me just say this. I'm not even the biggest Halloween fan. Like, I love horror movies, but, you know, slow, gigantic guy with William Shatner mask killing people, you know, it's a little stupid, right? So, so it never was my favorite, you know, Halloween movie, or horror movie, I should say. But I feel like Nightmare on Elm Street... Like, way better, in my opinion. I, I think Freddy is a better villain than Michael Myers. Michael Myers just slowly walking around. You know, it's nothing scary about it. It's just silly. At least Nightmare on Elm Street has a prem- premise of, you know, I'm going to slash you in your dreams. Like, that's that's horrifying if you really think about it. Don't go to sleep or you'll die. One of the most uh, fantastic, like, premises for a horror film ever. But with this, it's just slow guy walks around and kills people, right? You, you, that's what you sign up for with this movie. But they did. They tried to do something different. And they also, like, were just like, as you start watching this movie, you start realizing this is just a setup. Like, it's, it's, this is just a setup to see, okay, what are we going to do next? And that's a bummer. That's, that's a bummer. I feel like this movie could have been, you know, you get your traditional Michael Myers stuff. And then at the end, you have a reveal. Okay, we could go in this direction. Da, da, da. What's next? You know? Okay, cool. But instead, they literally spent the whole fucking movie saying, ah, fuck the ends part. Maybe we'll throw a little bit at the end. But we're just going to fucking set up another version of this. I just got here. Uh, I'd like to hear your review, Moss. So just don't. Yeah, I'm not spoiling it, man. I got you. I'm not going to spoil it. So, so basically, so I'm going to tell you like what to expect, but I'm not going to say exactly what happens. And I got to be honest with you, even if I sat here and spoiled everything, it doesn't hurt the movie in any way. It's so bad. Like it's, it's so fucking, you know, exactly what's going to happen. Now I, I will say this, it does open with a sequence that might throw you off. You know, it opens with this sequence that happens and you're like, okay. Okay, this might be alright. But that opening sequence sets the pace for the movie. I don't know. I, I To the people that's seen it, you get what I'm saying. So when you watch the opening sequence, you're like, okay, that's vicious. Didn't expect that. But then that's the movie. And then you're like, wait, hold on a second. It's not Halloween anymore. This is turning into something else. A setup. At least we know Michael Myers is not coming back now. I mean, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. <laughs> I don't want to spoil. But I mean, I guess, yeah, that's, I guess you get some closure, right? In the years 2056, you're going to go see Elf 6 in theaters. <laughs> what? It'll just be two hour video of some fat, hairy, pale man cranking his dick. Guess the producers thought. Uh, the love story in the movie made for the rest of the crap. They So, yeah, this forced love story that happens. I won't say who falls in love. Oh, I mean, okay, I won't say who falls in love with who. But there is a for, forced love story in this thing that is just so unbelievably, unbelievably stupid. Like, it doesn't make sense. It do, like nothing about this this love story that happens makes sense in any fucking way. There's there's no sense to it, and I I do have to say this: Laurie's granddaughter in this movie was such a fucking cunt. Not not in a way where you're like, oh okay, she's doing this 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 role so well that I hate her. She's acting so well, it's written so well that I just fucking can't stand her. No, it's written horrifically. Her character makes no fucking sense. She's straight up bipolar. Like, you're just looking at this girl like, what the fuck? What is happening? Is this mental illness that I'm watching here? And then, like, at the end of the movie, there's just, like, this switch that flips. <laughs> and she's just not that anymore. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> why Why build all this shit up? And then just, she's not that shit. It's just like, oh, I'm not that anymore. <laughs> Like, why? What is going on? It's just a mess. Such a mess. 
And I, and I get it. Like, I, it's Halloween. Like, this, we're not seeing, like, a, a piece of art. We're not seeing something that's going to get an Academy Award. We're not going to see something that's going to get, like, these rave reviews when it comes to the critics. You know, critics are hard on ho- ho- horror movies, right? And it's, it's like the, the fucking 70th Halloween movie. So, you know, but still, I did like the 2018 one. The, uh, the second one, not the biggest fan of. It's kind of shitty. They, but they gave you a lot of murders. A lot of, okay, Michael Myers goes fucking ape shit in that one. That's, at least that's cool. At least you get that. It's stupid, but you get that. This one here. <laughs> just like, do you like Michael Myers? Well, don't watch this movie. Don't, he's just a pussy. He's like this. He's like, ah! like, he's just a fucking waste. He's just a waste. The love story of Laurie and a homeless man. That <laughs> was heartbreaking. <laughs> and the cop. He's like, hey, like that fucking guy, like, hey, how you doing? Like, like, it's just like he had no fucking, it's just, I guess for nostalgia, they throw the cop in there, which he's already in. So it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not a spoiler. It's just like this geriatric, his face looks all pulled back. Liber, liberal commie and movie makers are hot garbage and bland. I, I don't even, there's really no, I don't, I mean. There's women empowerment empowerment in this movie, but I mean, Lori's like, she's kind of a badass, right? Anyway, so it's not like, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like it was woke or anything like that. I didn't get that vibe, but I, it was terrible. <laughs> it was really fucking bad. Adolf uh, Moss is spoiling movies. I heard Michael Chandler was uh, such a nice guy. He let a homeless man in during a rainstorm and <laughs> sucked his dick till it stopped. That's actually true. I give it to a straight... Will the next film be a Caitlyn Jenner version of Michael Myers named Michelle? Well, I mean, there could be. I mean, listen, you know, they got to continue. It's a moneymaker, so they got to continue it somehow. Maybe. But this this new character that they bring in, you're just like, what the fuck? It's just, it, it's sad. It's, it's, it's really sad. They just mailed it in. Straight up mailed it in. And my buddy liked it. He messaged me. He's like, he, he's like yeah, it's good. I'm like, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. There's no fucking way you could say this is good in any way. There's motorcycle riding. There's this love story that makes zero sense. The most unbelievable love story of all time. Very predictable. They try to like swing you in directions when a death happens to make you be like, oh, but it's not really like that. It's just, it's just the way they wrap it up. It's, I mean, I. I guess you do get some sort of closure. I guess the storyline kind of ends. But my goodness. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. It was just the messiest train wreck that they could put together. I would love to know the reasoning behind it. Like, I would love to know. Like, it just, it just feels like, like the last movie felt like, okay, we just want to set up this movie. And then this movie feels like we want to set up whatever's next. So it's like, dude, like just just leave that for the end. Set it up at the end, a post credit scene, or just like something at the very end. We're like, oh, okay, it could go this route. Don't fucking waste an entire two hours of the audience's life setting up the next movie. So ridiculous. And a pussy Michael Myers. It really turned... Uh, us chat. It really turned us chat on when she confessed the obvious. How did it feel when your wife admitted she uh, fantasizes about chat gangbang her? What the fuck is she talking about? Wow, like I don't understand. Like, like why do people speak like gibberish in the chat? What, what is that about? To hell are cherry blossoms anyway? Do they carry a knife? Oh my god. New Santa pronouns are out. Old Saint Nick slash Nikki. I heard Michael Meyer, uh, Michael Chow, I saw that. My god. Did anyone, so who saw it? So it looks like Cool Breeze saw it. Who else? Did anyone else see this movie? Halloween ends. God. I saw it for free. You know, I shouldn't complain, right? I don't know. It's on Peacock. So I guess that's free, right? If people have Peacock, I don't know, but I got an app that everything's free. So I'm like, okay, let's give it a go. 
I also tried that series. There's a series on Netflix made from the Hill House people, which I really liked Hill House. I don't know if you guys seen it. Uh, admit it, Michael Myers uh, kills the Great Pumpkin and makes Charlie Brown cry. That Spoiler alert. Jamie Lee Curtis looks like a peacock. I kept on saying during the movie to Jesse, I'm like, there was a time when this girl was, when she was actually really pretty. True Lies, when she did that whole strip. Like, she looked, she looked fucking fantastic in that movie. But, you know, that's what happens. It was painful to watch after 30 minutes. Yeah, it was. I felt like I had to stick it out. Usually I would turn it off. But I feel I've seen the first two. I was close to turning it off. And I usually turn I turn off everything. But this one, for some reason, I'm like, I got I to gotta stick this one out. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. So weird, man. So weird. So there was a... <laughs> there was a... Um, there's a kid that's lurking again. Just uh, FYI. I know it's been popping up on my recommendations. I'm like, oh my God, here we go again. So pieces are being put together. I will never turn the gummies off. I was thinking about tonight, a little gummy action. Have you watched the uh, new Hannibal series that came out like a year ago? It's actually my favorite show. So, okay. I watched Hannibal when it was on. It was on regular TV. I can't remember that guy's name that played um Hannibal Lecter, he's he's a fantastic actor. But when it was it was like on NBC or something, and I would watch it. and And I don't like watching network TV, but fucking a, that show was really good, like really really good. And I never saw the ending of it. I never saw the ending of it. I I never I so I gotta I want to watch it again. It's very gruesome, like bizarrely gruesome for regular TV. It had it was a good like suspense. Thriller type shows, excellent. Mads Mal Malkinson is that his name? That probably is his name. I remember it was a weird name. Let me see, dude. That guy. If that guy's in a movie or a TV show, I'm in. I'm watching. He's a fuck. He was like the best Bond ever. He was uh, a Casino Royale. Yeah, this guy. That's him. He's so good, dude. This guy is fantastic. But the only thing is, I want to see him just play bad guys. He's got the face. Like he was in Casino Royale. He killed it. Casino Royale is like, it's it's like the best Bond movie ever. I don't care what anyone said. I didn't see the last one. I got to see the last one. But this dude, this dude fucking, he's a beast. Yeah, he played Hannibal Lecter. And I saw most of the seasons, um, but I didn't catch the very end of it. I don't know what happened. Like, it got, I guess it got canceled or something and it moved to another network. I can't remember. Where can I find it? I could probably just go to a streaming app and get it. But um, I do want to, uh, I do want Jesse to see this show. It's so good. Yeah, Casino Royale is, is just, it's like, it's such a good movie. Down Syndrome, Christopher Reeves. It is. You don't know who this guy is, Two Joints? This guy's a fucking beast, man. He is an odd looking fella, but he's such a good fucking bad guy. Anytime he's a bad guy, like he just was born to be a bad guy. And casting him as Hannibal Lecter is, is just a home run. Hannibal. So 2013. Yeah, I, see, I seen this show. Um, yeah, it was, it was on NBC. So what did it move to? Yeah, you know what? I'm probably going to go back. I'll, I'll probably make Jesse watch this. It's so good. This dude would like see shit before. Like he would like go to a murder scene and somehow like have visions of like what happened. It's a weird show. Anyway. So we were watching this show on Netflix. <laughs> uh, all right. First off, I want to ask you, and I'm going to play a little, little hockey, but I, I want to know, did you see, did you see the, um, the show Hill House on Netflix? It was on Netflix or, oh man, I hope it's on Netflix. I'll run through that shit. Uh, 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 I got this Halloween on now and it's, oh dude, it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's really, it's really bad. Really like, it's almost like, it's like a slap in the face. Uh, not Midnight Mass. No, not Midnight Mass. It was a show with a bunch of terminally ill kids. They go to this house 
it's called the Midnight. I think it's the Midnight Club. Midnight Club, I think it's called. So one of my friends on Facebook is like, yo, you got to check out the Midnight Club. Um, Because it's from the makers of Hill House. Now, Hill House was good on Netflix. It was excellent. I thought it was very good. Then the second show was uh, Something Manor, which wasn't really that good. And I was like, ah, shit, it's not Hill House. And then they came out with this Midnight, the Midnight Club. Here we go. This show right here. So, I was like, okay, what's the premise of this show? A bunch of, like, just uh, terminally ill kids. They all got fucked up shit. They're all dying. So they go to this house. Oh, Bly Manor. Yeah, Bly Manor was terrible. I don't understand how the other one was so good and Bly Manor was terrible. But I, I mean, the, since he made Hill House, I was like, okay, let me let me give this thing a go. So, so yeah, the, you know, so now this show, it's it's geared to a different audience. By the way, I got to say this: this girl over here with one leg, this fucking weird Irish chick. Oh, hold on. Well, yeah, the girl in the middle. This one. Oh, come on, what the fuck? This girl right here. She is phenomenal. Like she's a she's a she was like her character saves the show. But other than that, the show is fucking trash. Trash. We did two show we did two episodes of this, and I Jesse was out the first one. And I'm like, come on, let's just give it another one. It might get better. I laughed. I did laugh. I don't know if I was, I guess I was supposed to laugh, I'm not sure. And then I fucking I I bounced after two. So we only did two episodes of this one. But anyone else? Did anyone fucking blow through this show? Is it worth going back into? I don't think I can. You know, there's so many good things out there, movies and TV shows. If you don't like it, you just stop. Just get the fuck out. Why Why subject yourself? And I should have got out of the, the Halloween movie. I should have. I made a, a, a very big mistake sticking with that. Midnight Mass and Dr. Sleep. I did like Dr. Sleep. The movie? Is that what you're talking about? Dr. Sleep, the movie? I did like that. How do you get bunched from a show with only nine people watching? Uh, la, 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 la. Looks like some woke garbage. Um, so, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, but it's not. It's, you know, anytime they see like a, a black lead or a female lead character in a, a movie or a show, everyone's like, it's woke. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm falling into that trap too. So I'm, I'm trying to pull myself out of it. I don't know if this is woke, really. I don't know. I feel like like every like what are we doing? Why are we why are we thinking that? If it has a female like a strong female character, or like some ethnic character, that's woke. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Like we automatically it's 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 massively racist. Like what about this looks woke to you? Because there's a mixed bunch of kids. <laughs> like how fucking racist are we? Like that we just look at this and be like, oh shit. Too many ethnic folks in this. Definitely woke. Only two white people? Oh, forget it. I'm not watching this shit. <laughs> We're so fucked. We're so fucked as a society. So fucked. Uh, two episodes in. I don't even know if there's any gay people in this. I don't think there were. I mean, maybe one of the kids was. But no one was flat out gay. That I, that I can recall, at least. Maybe it unveils as the season progresses. I don't know. But the girl on the left is basically... I think she's the main character. Seems like they focus on her in the beginning. I don't know if it stays like that. But, I, yeah, it's just not very good. She's not good. So I, I bounced. Not because of the wokeness. Just because it was bad. They have an autistic white, Asian, and black kid bravo. <laughs> <laughs> We're so fucked, man. Like woke Star Wars, it's getting bad. Like Star, like Disney shit is. It's getting. It's yeah. It's getting bad. A Chucky cereal. Uh, the Chucky series. You're saying? Uh, sorry, cereal. I'm saying cereal. Jesus Christ. Fucking a. You did say series. No, I didn't see it. Is it good? Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I love horror movies. Chucky's woke. Yeah, I don't. I never liked Chucky. Like, I, I just, I don't know. Like, just never did it for me. Like, it was massively popular when I was a kid, but I, I don't know. Chucky, like, I liked Puppet Master better. 
You remember Puppet Master with the guy with the drill on his head? Like, they were all, like, puppets and they would just kill people. Like, that was more my speed. Chucky just, uh, it was just, I don't know, it was corny. Like, I don't know. Is it woke, really? I guess I shouldn't watch it then. Mm, didn't that remake the uh, Flash because Ezra Miller uh, fucked a bunch of kids? I don't know what's up with that kid. But, yeah, aren't they, like, recasting the Flash? Is that true? It's a woke teen drama. Remember the Puppet Master, Sober Carl? Yeah, that was fucking, that was a shit, man. They were vicious, those little son of a bitches. <clears throat> I'm playing hockey. I'm playing hockey. I'm, I'm going to jump in. If you want to watch 12-year-old uh, boys have their uh, first kiss on screen, Chucky's for you. Oh, man, yeah, I don't know. That's weird, huh? So it's it's geared since kids? I get it, though. Kids need shows, too, right? Like, we can't take all the shows. I'm not I'm not upset with giving Chucky to the kids. I'm not upset because it's not my thing. I love horror movies, but I, I don't know. Like, I want to see this movie. I want to see Smile. I did hear that was very good. Um, I want to. I also want to see this one. Uh, what the fuck is it about this clown? Something too. Ah, oh, fuck. Terrifier or something like that. Terrifier. Two. I think that's it. Okay. So this movie over here, the way this thing is being marketed, I never saw Terrifier one. But the way this, and it's Halloween. Let's talk about spooky stuff. Uh, this movie over here, Terrifier. Now you look at the poster and you're thinking, okay, what is this garbage? It just looks like some grindhouse nonsense. But people are saying this is like one of the goriest fucked up movies you could ever see. And in the marketing, they're saying people are leaving in... <laughs> in an ambulance people are vomiting and like they're saying it's so fucking gruesome and some of the reliable people that I, I I've seen reviews of uh, with this have basically confirmed that this thing is so fucked so fucked like so fucking bad like when I say bad like gruesome so apparently this is some new character some new ca clown character now I'm not like a big clown guy like oh clowns scare me this and that. like I don't know clowns I don't think are scary at all to be honest I don't understand how people are scared of clowns like it or anything like that I don't I don't understand why we're scared of it but um but apparently this guy's a fucking lunatic and they're saying that this could be like the next the next big horror guy but he goes so far with the shit that he does in the movie that apparently like you know this is definitely put the kids to bed and watch at your own risk so I'm I'm dying to see this. Jesse won't watch it. So anyone want to come over and watch it with me? Nah, two joints. It's from reliable sources about this movie, and um, I have a feeling they're right. So when I'm talking like fucked up, like I'm talking, I'm probably talking like human centipede type shit. You know, where it's just like, oh, why are we watching this? Remember the hills have eyes. I I, I mean, it got pretty gnarly with the rape and shit like that. I don't know what kind of horrible shit this guy does, but apparently it is, it's to the point where you're just like, holy fuck, how am I watching this? Gotta see it. Wonderful. I got a Wonderful. fucked up head, I gotta see it. Mystic smile in the theater had me flinching a couple times. The music themes was great. Hmm. No spoiler. Yeah, so it's not on my app. I'm, I, I always refresh my app because I want to see that. I did hear... Uh, oh, actually, Chris Curtis said this. He said Smile is basically a just an updated version of the movie Seven. Is that accurate? Without any spoilers, please no spoilers with that because I do want to see that one. But um, yeah, I'm going to wait until it hits my apps. But is it like that? I love Seven. Oh, it's not. Okay, I got to see it. I got to see it. Yeah, I heard it's pretty, it's pretty like, you know, it's edgy. I'm down with that. Yeah, hostile. The hostile movies goes there, right? With the the stuff, uh, like Saw. You know, some of the some of the scenes in Saw go to the point, but then it got a little silly. Saw, where it just kind of makes you squirm in your seat. I kind of dig that weird shit. I don't know why. There's something wrong with me. Jess don't like that stuff though. She doesn't like when like really horrible stuffs happening in a movie. Like I could separate it. I know it's a movie. 
But uh, Jess, Jess is not down with that shit. But uh, yeah, I do want to see this one. Terrifier 2. Apparently this guy's a fucking lunatic. See, this is what we need Michael Myers. We need Michael Myers to be like this. Yeah, why can't they do that with Halloween? Why can't they make a Halloween movie? Like, he has gory kills, but it's goofy. It's goofy gory, right? Silly stuff. It looks so over the top, so fake. Yeah, The Hills Have Eyes. I almost walked out. The Hills Have Eyes, the first one. I almost walked out of the movie. I don't like rape. It's like, why do we need that in a movie? Like, I don't know. Like, I, you could do a lot of horrible things, but why that? There was a fucking movie... Um, that movie a Serbian film my goodness did anyone see that fucking shit show like it's just like it's like why are they showing this shit but like I like graphic stuff but let's show with the rape like what do we need the why do we got to see the rape like I don't know I feel like that's that's that should be off limits I don't know wonderful wonderful yep there you go Sonosi the loud movie theater sound was great. I feel like in a living room we lose that flinching. Yeah, you're right. Roberto, we got to watch movies. Thank you, Roberto. Appreciate that. How about that? Shout out to Roberto. Dropping dono. Yeah, we have to, um, like, we watch movies, like, the baby goes to sleep and it's low. You don't get the boom. You're right. I want that. I want that boom. Especially in a horror movie, you want that eerie music and, you know, you want that stuff. You know, fun fact, I've never seen Deliverance. I've never seen it. Serbian film is super messed up and not even in an entertaining or intriguing way. Yeah, I know. It's just fucked up. They just did it to be fucked up. Yep. Serbian film. There was another one. Do you ever see... What was the William Defoe one? I was shocked he was in this movie. Where, like, they, like, cut... like they Didn't they cut someone's clitoris off in the movie? <laughs> what was this movie called? William... I, I've seen some really fucked up movies. William Defoe clit movie <laughs> I can't remember the name of this movie there it is anti <laughs> I just google I just google William Defoe clit movie <laughs> and, and it pops up see this is how you know I'm not lying I just want to make sure I, I show the right thing because it's a little it's a little fucked antichrist did anyone see that yeah oh my god I kind of loved it though. It's like an artsy, fucked up movie. The opening scene is so fucked. But William Defoe is like a G man. If, I, if William Defoe is in a movie, I'm watching. Antichrist. Watch this one. You'll cringe. You'll cringe, man. It's messed up. Uh, Nina Hartley, clip movie. <laughs> it's probably it's probably porn. Just watching some of these new indie horror movie, uh, horror games are scarier than the new. Yeah, right? The horror games. I guess because you're submerged into it too, right? Like you're in it. So like when you're turning the corner and shit's jumping out, like you're kind of more submerged into it. Antichrist didn't do it for you. It's like, yeah, it's a weird artsy kind of slow burn scenes where they have like slow pans but the the cinematography was like gorgeous in that movie. Like it's just, it's beautifully shot. William Defoe's in it, so you know it's well acted. It had some points where you would just kind of, you kind of coast, but the payoff, <laughs> there's clit action. There, <laughs> there's shit that happens, and you're like, okay, it's fucked. Uh, Megan is missing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's movies that I watch now, being a father, it's just like, fuck, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird, man. I watch, um, what did I see the other day? Yeah, I get like weirdly emotional now. I never get emotional during movies, but if I see something and it has some sort of father-daughter relationship thing in it, now it's just like, fuck. I can't, like it's it's so messed up when you have a kid. It just, it, it messes your head up. Like it's weird, man. I never had that in movies. Never. But um, the only thing was rape. Like 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 rape is just something I can't watch because I've no I know people. You know like it's it's just like when you know someone that was involved in something like that. It's just like you just yeah. I, I don't need to see it in movies. Uh, let's see. Two joints. Come on, man. Here's the deal. I start playing hockey. Everyone starts complaining about hockey. Two joints. So be a team player, kid. Be a team player. 
for Antichrist's sakes, uh, play some games before two joints. Because <laughs> as soon as I start playing the fucking hockey game, everyone's just gonna be like, "Bro, this is boring." Like, All right, fuck it. I'll play. I want to play some hockey anyway, so I actually do want to play. Who am I kidding? But yeah, we'll keep the chat going as we do this. So the theme of tonight's show: let's talk some movies. Let's have some horror movies. What the devil did I just walk into? Devil, devil, devil. Drunk, uh, damn savage. Did you see this? Did you see this fucking mess? Nightmare of a movie. Halloween ends. Halloween Michael Myers movies are my favorite kind of movie. But uh, this last one was the worst one. No doubt about it. So you like... So yeah, I mean, there's something... Even if the movie's bad, right? A Halloween movie's bad. At least you know what you're getting. Right? Like, the last one I didn't think was good. I liked the 2018 one. The last one, not so much. I don't know. It was a lot of kills. So that saved it for me, entertainment-wise. But all in all, I didn't think it was a good movie. This one here, you don't really get what you're looking for, right? So when you see a Michael Myers movie, a Jason movie, you know what you want, right? You don't really get it. And when you get it, it's just kind of like, well, that's too late. You know? So, that's my quick synopsis. So, a Halloween end. Conflicted on that one. I mean, I don't even know how. Like, it's just bad. Like, th there's nothing. There's no redeeming quality. Although, my friend, my friend is a massive horror fan, and he loved it. But he likes, like, what, I mean, if, it's, if the title says Halloween, he's going to like it. Oh, yeah. Michael with sidelines. 100%. Sonosi, like I said earlier, he probably came in late. The problem with Halloween Ends is this is supposed to be the conclusion to a trilogy, right? And I understand they want to keep the train moving, right? They, I get that. This whole movie was a setup to something else. Meanwhile, the last movie was a setup to this movie. The last movie was a setup to this movie. You're like, okay, I got to see what happens now with the next movie. This one here is literally a setup. I mean, I understand there's a payoff. But the, the the meat of the movie is just a setup to another one. Stupid, man. Can we play Among Us uh, together hockey is from Mexicans and Canadians? <laughs> uh, eventually, we'll get back to the Among Us streams. I will probably, like, set some fucking goal again, and, and we'll, we'll jump into that. We got to set a goal for Among Us. I mean, the, just the headache that is Among Us. It's fun, but, you know, it's a little bit of a... It's a little bit tedious, and it's stressful, and... People cheat and, you know. So, so that's why we like to set goals for games. Like, open games like that because it's like... I do want to do a stream, too, where we do have people come in, protect the host, get, like, the first place finish. Whether I don't, I don't want to do Fortnite, but it worked with Fortnite. I don't know. Maybe Call of Duty or, or some sort of game. Or maybe, like, I don't know. One of the games where we can have multiple characters playing. And then, like, if you can get us over the finish line, you get... who The first person to get the host over the finish line gets something from, you know, the website. That was fun. When we did that with Fortnite, it was actually a lot of fun. Claude Giroux. Okay, so last time we played, I won two games and then lost the last one. I gave up, like, two three-goal leads. Shit, man. I gotta, like, learn. Every time I do... <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's like every time I stop playing video games for, like, a, like I don't know. When was the last time we played? I just fucking suck. I gotta start learning how to play it again. Alright. Here we go. I had a nice conversation today with Ben the Bane. Like an hour-long conversation. <laughs> just fucking talking about some shit. He's a good kid. Smart guy. I think that guy is going to... I honestly think like he's going to stumble onto something. And he's going to be pretty successful. Smart, smart dude. Very smart dude. Jesse's got a video coming out for you guys too. It might come out tonight. We're pumping out the content. On the main channel. We also have Ellie's picks. 30 minutes of wait. 10 seconds of pick. That's coming again Saturday morning, so get ready. Ellie made her. It was so cute <laughs> watching her pick. So that's happening. A little, a little main channel activity. 
a new BFF. He's a good dude, man. You know, so like I, I told him, I was like, listen, man, like and I'm an old dude. So I got to fucking I got to talk to these young kids, these kids that are plugged in, you know. And what's good is like, oh, like he hasn't figured out YouTube. He's terrified of YouTube. Like <laughs> you can just tell he's, he's not he's not a, like a YouTube guy. He's so good on Twitter. Tropical. Next time you play poker, I'll give you one million dollars chips. <laughs> Just need a head-to-head -head table and a couple decent hands that I can fold to. We just fold <laughs> the chair. <laughs> no, that's that's. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of. <laughs> that's. No, I'll I'll work my way back up. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> just fold <laughs> and grab the chips. Oh man. Now I'll work. What do I got to do? I got to fucking. I can't play. I got to stick to my game. If I could stick to my game plan, I'll keep winning and winning and winning. It's just when I get a little bit silly, a little ball, ballsy, play hands I shouldn't play. Oh, there you go. Add a girl. <laughs> Grooming Ben Davis. <laughs> ben, let me groom you. No, nah, we got we got some value on YouTube, you know. So we got we got we got some value there. And if someone has value on another platform, I'm intrigued. If you're valuable on YouTube, you better have a lot of subscribers. He how you make Halloween end better. In the end, that guy goes full evil, setting him up as his own villain after the Michael send off. But that's me. Uh. So yeah, I I don't want to say any spoilers because uh yeah. I mean, I should just fucking do a spoiler. I mean, I mean, it's it's just like it's so fucking bad. I should just spoil it, but um, it's I mean, it's it's, it's not really a spoiler. Like it's just it just sucks. At the end, the guy goes full evil, setting up him as his own villain. After well, I mean, that's kind of what they did. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It did. It sucked, dick. It did. It sucked. It sucked a really smelly, smelly dick. I mean, I, I gotta be honest with you, I, that's kind of how it ended. You know? There is definitely a setup. Oh, okay, I got a power play. <clears throat> yeah, so over, someone came in the chat earlier and asked us not to. So, you know, um, if there's a high demand, for us to do like a spoiler stream, I will do a whole fucking stream to breaking down that entire movie. If the, if there's a demand for it, for sure I will do that. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got a small group right now. There's a couple of people that don't want spoilers spoil, spoiled, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. But like I said, even if I did, it doesn't really ruin much. Wonderful, wonderful. It's terrible, it's a terrible movie. The only way to make Halloween ends better is to make it about a bunch of hot chicks in Halloween costumes showing their rear ends. <laughs> I mean, anything. Anything would be better. Anything. They try to do something different, and it, and it completely fails. But yeah, I would, I'd be down with that. They should have pitched that idea. Yeah, no, like, nudity. That's That was weird. Like, there was no real, like, no, like, like, I don't know. At least give me some nudity or something. Give me something. Like where some some chick gets naked for no reason at all. Is in a shower and gets slashed up, you know, like I don't know. Give me something. Oh, nice save. Snagged. Yeah, Bla Jamie Lee Curtis says this is gonna be her last one. I gotta be honest with you. No, oh, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna, so I'm gonna blow it. All right, after Halloween, I'm just I'm gonna go full. Halloween's right around the corner, so that's what I'll do after after the Halloween holiday because it is a holiday. I don't care what anyone says; it's the greatest holiday of all. I got to be honest with you, Halloween, the actual day is is the best. There's nothing better. And now we live in a neighborhood that like where like people like really enjoy it. Like, you know, it's funny. Like I always watch these Halloween movies. And and it's always like this joyous occasion where kids are flooding the streets, everyone's in makeup and, and and dressed up, and it's like this whole thing. And when I was in New York, like people trick or treated, but it was mostly like people bombing in eggs, you know, like or kids were trick or treating. But then like I don't know, it was just like it wasn't f streets flooded with joy, and you know Halloween cheer. <laughs> but here it's like it's different, you know. So so now like 
that we have this and I have a kid. Like, it's kind of cool. Now I could kind of, like, like, I can never relate in movies when I saw that stuff. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yes. Yeah, I've never celebrated. Fun fact. Never celebrated Valentine's Day. That's actually the truth. Any any girl I've dated, I made it very clear that I do not, I do not participate in Valentine's Day because I feel like it's the cuck holiday. Like it's just, you're just you're just a straight up loser if you gotta fucking celebrate Valentine's Day. Like if a girl, like if if you have to date someone, if if you date someone and they they demand that Valentine's Day is a thing, dump them immediately. They're their priorities are in the wrong place. By the way, I think we scared away Carrie Daniels. I hope we didn't. And I don't know. Like, I don't know if the story was true or not. But they slid into the DMs and saying that the story was true. And they might have got freaked out if, they, if it is. So, so I don't know. So Carrie Daniels, if you're watching, we still love you. We still love you. Let's score, baby. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's get that goal. Super chat. Dark matter, baby. Come on. Me and the missus used to watch horrors before childbirth. Things changed after that. <laughs> Sanosai, does that sound right with two O's? Sanosai. Chur holes. Thank you so much. It does change so much, right, when you have a kid. We still watch. Listen, I will never not watch horror movies. I will always, till the day I die, it is my favorite genre of movies. I love horror movies. But now it's like, as Ellie gets older, oh, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to watch horror movies with Ellie. I'm just going to explain to her it's not real. Don't get any crazy thoughts. But um, there's some movies I'm just, I just can't have her watch, you know. Thank you so much. Uh, if Carrie got, uh, got scared, then good. Can't have thin skin. That's true. That is true. Yeah, we can't have someone come in here and uh, donate their, you know, hard-earned money and then just feel like they've been shit on. Don't want that to happen. But, um, Carrie, we still love you. If you're a tranny, we still love you. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I've said this a million times. That's that's the beauty of YouTube. There's no, there's no prejudice, racism, no fucking bias to whatever you look like, sound like. Whatever your fucking pol political take is, your religious beliefs, it doesn't matter. That's what. Oh fuck! You know, it doesn't matter. I guarantee people on this platform are associating with people in the chat that in real life they would never in a million years talk to. You know, and that is a beautiful thing. You can't, you can't, you can't deny that. Can't deny. People take advantage of it, but you can't. You can't deny that. <laughs> was that the first trans coming out? I mean, if she was legit, yeah, yeah, that was the first. I kind of be. Honest, I, I told Jesse after the stream. I was like, I hope Carrie's telling the truth. Like, I hope she is, because I think that's fucking great. Like, like I, you know, I I like the. Fa Listen, it's not my thing, right? I, I don't I don't understand it because I live a different life, but at the same time, good for you. If that's what makes you happy, good for you. And and if she's joking around like that about it, more respect. More respect. <clears throat> I hang out with anyone, every one of you fucks. I don't know, man. I feel like like we we all have these like we're human, right? No matter how fucking sweet of a person we are, like, we all have these weird things, you know, where we kind of avoid certain people and, you know, I don't know. You, you, you try to keep your clicks in certain ways or you just don't have a click at all, whatever it is. You know, so like with YouTube, there's, no, there's none of that. You don't have to worry about that. Like, you just, like, we have a common interest. So we're kind of all on the same page. Oh, fuck. Whoa, what a save. Did you guys see that shit? My man was sliding like a fucking walrus across the ice. Oh, my God. So we're up. Wait, they took it. Wait, hold on a second. They took their goal away. Am I am I on crack? I, did they take the Flyers? What happened? <laughs> I took the Flyers. I thought the Flyers scored at the beginning. Hold on, I had to go upside for a second. Was anyone actually paying attention? I'm so involved in the chat right now. They scored the first goal of the game, right? Did they take it away? What happened? <laughs> I'm not high. I didn't take any drugs. I'm drinking coffee. 
Uh, did, was anyone paying attention? She sounded legit. I mean, yeah, she she did say she wouldn't donate, you know, if she was, you know, that much if she was, you know, telling lies. So, so I, yeah, I hope we didn't scare her off, man. Like, I hope, like, because um, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what anyone does, as long as you're not like doing horrible things to people, you know. If it's something that you enjoy to do in your personal life, then God bless. Oh, that's a goal. You can't let him just camp out in front and just take multiple shots. Yeah, she she was very generous. Very generous. I'd rather the Astros, bro, than the Yankees win. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Anyone but the Yankees, to be honest. But here's what I want. Okay, you ready? I want the Yankees to go to the World Series and lose to the Padres. And I think that's a fair... Are the Padres playing tonight? Padres, Dodgers? No, listen, Dodger fans out there, no disrespect... Uh, just because the Padres beat the Mets, I need the Padres to beat the Yankees in the World Series. I think it'd be so fucking funny. Uh, San Diego Padres playing tonight. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, wait. They did. They did. They passed. Fuck. I'm not even paying attention anymore. So LA's out. They're playing the Phillies, but the Phillies are up two zip. Holy shit. I can't handle another. I can't handle Phillies, Yankees. No, I can't do it. I would have to root for the Phillies. God damn, I can't do that. How about the Phillies? Come on, Padres. Wake up. Any Philly fans in the chat? Yeah, it goes to show you that. <laughs> I didn't even know the Padres moved on. Padres, Phillies. Holy smokes. Alright, so they scored there. That happened. Come on, baby. Come on, wake. Oh, my God. Tie game. I can't hold the lead for nothing. Fook, your Bills survived the Chiefs. Uh, your Bills are good. Them and the, and the Eagles. Man, Philly's got some good teams. The Eagles and the Bills are good. Giants are right behind. They're right there. They're right there. Giants are right there. Five and one. Like, what? Crazy. Imagine Giants Bills uh, Super Bowl again. I'd be, I'd be a little scared about that. Bills might get their redemption. Actually, the Bills would get the redemption. What am I talking about? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. Did I, there it is. You just got to keep jamming at the net. Just keep on shoving that stick on the goalie <laughs> until I think goes in. I can't, I can't get over it. The NFC East, the Eagles, Cowboys, and Giants are doing really well. And the NFC East is legit, like, should be the worst division in football. So, that's, that goes to show you, you never know, right? How'd that go in? Lafreniere scored. He, he caught the rebound, I guess. I was just jamming it in. <clears throat> Yeah, it's so much more fun, right? When your team's winning. Boy, oh boy, does it make it more fun. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Fucking right up their ass. c c c caco Capo, c c Caco bumped up to the first line. Just a kid with Zabanajat. Rangers won uh, last night. So what else is going on? We spoke about some horror movies. Any other horror movies you recommend? Let me know. Just the tip. So yeah, we got a cool... Oh, fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, I am not doing my I am not doing my goalie any favors. Come on. I am not doing him any favors. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Just clear it out. Why are you dancing around? Look at this guy. Like I, I did I just score my own goal? Did he even touch it? I think I just duped I think I just <laughs> I just I just scored my own goal. 
I literally just scored on my own goal. Give him player of the game. I don't even know who the hell that was. Definitely a defenseman. I just scored on my own fucking goal. That's how good I am. I'm so good I am. I have to score. I score on both nets. So yeah, we got the, the odds maker tomorrow yes. from my bookie. Guido! Guido dropping deuces. Thank you for the deuce, man. Appreciate that. How about that? Round of applause to the Speedo. Whoa! So yeah, the odds maker coming on. He's still excited. It's kind of cool, man. Like, I, we haven't had an odds maker on before. So for my bookie. And they asked us to come on the show, which is kind of cool, man. I like when people ask us to come on the show. Like, that makes me feel like we're doing something right. You know? So he's coming on. Oh, there you go. Oh, slippity screw. Uh, I tried to wait until last second. I should have just drove to the net. Skate, skate, skate. Skate, skate, skate. Dude, hang on to it. Woo! Okay, let's go. Three to four. Four to Trey. Whatever you want to say. Who you root for. Rangers coming in. They're driving. Well, oh, I shot right into his pectoral muscle. I went Fuka Friday. Uh, B, can I go on the show? Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, when you went for the belt? Yeah, man. We'll have a massive... I mean, if you if you pull that off... If you... Whoever wins the belt... Fuck yeah. How about this? If you win the belt... If you want to... If you want to have like a, a... Like a... Maybe a segment for one week or some shit like that. If you want a segment... We'll give you a fucking segment. And if it... I did see Silverback Orangutangs. <laughs> I saw a little bit of his... <laughs> the guy's out of his mind. <laughs> he's just... He's fucking out of his... There's sins of screw loose with that dude. I'm happy that he's supportive, but my goodness. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on in there. You stream with the belt on? Oh, that's a good... Yeah, I like that. The Fuqua Friday Championship. You gotta have a segment. The champ segment. Got the belt over the shoulder. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Sonosi, if you get that belt, if the Hearns get... Whoever gets the fucking belt at the end of the year. Whoever gets that puppy. I mean, that's some... That's, well, you'll be a, a reoccurring theme throughout the whole fucking year. Because um, it would be cool to see that belt on multiple occasions. Now remember, a host could win too. If anyone wants to, if anyone wants to fucking pull, go crazy and give it to the host. We'll have that shit in studio. You'll see it every fucking stream. Oh fuck! Boom! Ave Mari. Go 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 go! Oh shit! <laughs> so, yeah, no one wants us to sing. It's crazy. No one wants to carry. <laughs> no, one wa no one wants Jesse or I to sing. They don't want that. Mm. Oh, that was a terrible penalty. Damn, man. Damn. Yes, <laughs> Sober Carl was the guinea pig. He was a guinea pig. Yeah, I wish I could do it in a way where the music's not delayed. Ah, there's got to be a way. I tell you what, when we get our studio separate from our home, things will be a lot different. That's for sure. There will be a lot more in-studio things. Like Ben was saying how you know he was interested in you know hopping in for like fight buddies or something like that, and like we won't tell anyone where we are. We're like in the back cave. Weird Al on the uh, wheel? Yeah, we could do that. A little weird. I do want to see that Weird Al movie whenever the hell that's coming out. All right. They got a power play. I got I to gotta clear this thing out. I got to get it out. I got to get it out. Got to get it. Here we go. Eh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Short hand to go. Yeah, bitch. Go, 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 baby. Go, go, go. Look at the crowd. They love it. They fucking love it, baby. Go! 
quick change of Short handed. Pretty significant. Oh leader. my god. He off the defender and goes in. Hey. Yeah, baby, let's go. You ain't stopping out with that blogger. You ain't stopping out. You can split all you want. You can't stop our short-handed attack. The Rangers have found themselves Dump it out. Fit. Fit. Two joints living out his fantasies in the chat. Let it let it flourish, baby. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let me do that. You can't you, watch the patience. Same shit. Came up the book. Look at this. I just fucking streaking past couple of moves. Whoop. Oh, you can't stop that. Look at this. Hey, hey. Look at this. Look at that move. Look deep, dipsy. Oh my god. Oh my god. A short-handed goal again. The crowd, their, their throat's hurting. They've been singing all night. Six to three. I can't get too excited because, like I said, the last game I played, I gave up. <laughs> I gave up two three-goal leads. They still got a minute power play. Heedle's a beast, man. I love the way he's kept. Oh, here we go. Ah. <laughs> 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 Did you get this excited in the uh, water bed? The Flyers have in the water bed. Chances, but just run into a hot here early in this when I was a kid, my aunt had a water bed. A nice job, she had like this this townhouse in Manhattan. It's a really cool ice. spot. Fun fact. Oh, oh, what a save! Goodness, what a Fun fact. This house sure used to be lived in by what David Geffen, the Should famous. Like, what is he, a, a rec producer? Or, or, like, he was in the music business, like Geffen Records. The the townhouse was his place. And my, my uncle, my uncle was loaded. He was a very well-off man. Like, my uncle was, like, my inspiration. This guy, he had, like, a, a baseball card company where he had us meet the 69 Mets. The ones that were alive, at least. But just a really smart businessman. And uh, he gave my aunt a fucking townhouse. You know, we didn't really inherit anything from him. <laughs> he had so many kids and grandkids that uh, we didn't see any of the money, unfortunately. But I inherited, I hope, his entrepreneurship. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I got that from him. Because the man was very smart. Very smart businessman. And my aunt had this waterbed <laughs> in this townhouse that when we were kids, we used to love to jump on. But a waterbed is is kind of useless. Like, it, there's no support. Like, what the fuck support? Like, do they even make waterbeds anymore? It's just so uncomfortable. Has anyone ever slept on a waterbed? My friend's parents had a waterbed, and I had many thoughts of uh, doing my friend's mom. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna do your yeah i don't know how you have sex in a waterbed it's so like movie and shaky and wavy it's so uncomfortable man like who came up with the fucking waterbed such a weird concept let me move myself down here over there uh that's fine Right? Does anyone else? Motion of the ocean. I tell too much. Woke up with scoliosis. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I don't think they make waterbeds anymore, right? Like, it, that is the dumbest thing ever. Waterbed. I mean, if you're a kid, it, it was fun to play around in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I tried it again. I mean, if it keeps working, I'm going to keep doing it. Uh-oh. Seven to three lead. I mean, we're going to. We're, we want the cup. I still haven't seen what the cup looks like in this game, like the uh, the whole celebration. So, hopefully, we can do it. Didn't work out well last time I lost. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just shoot, <laughs> shoot when I'm offside, piss everyone off. 
Oh, Jesse just posted her. I didn't see her video. Did anyone watch it? Give me reviews. Give me reviews. Will Leaves have a chance for the playoffs? No way, bro. No way. They're cursed. <laughs> They're cursed, man. Root for a different team. So I like to do this. It's like this is kind of a hack in this game. If you have NHL 21 and you feel comfortable in, in 4 and 4 hockey, go offside, right? Go offside and shoot it on the net, right? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> as, as, as they score. But if you like 4 and 4 hockey, um, yeah, go offside, shoot it on net, piss off the players. When they want to fight, don't fight them. And they just do, you know, matching penalties. And now you got four and four hockey, but that didn't work. They scored. They're cursed, Sega. They're cursed, man. S2 joints. He knows all about it. They're very cursed. In fact, there's. Oh, fuck. Shit. I can't. I can't talk and play hockey. I'm going to give up this lead. Guaranteed. Yeah, <laughs> 1960. It's crazy, man. I feel, I feel for you guys, man. I do. I feel. That's, that's just absurd, right? It's crazy because if you think about it, right? Canada, Canadian hockey teams should be all the best hockey teams. Like, you guys breathe hockey over there. It's just nuts. That they just have so much bad luck. And that's crazy. Or the Blue Jays, too. The same thing. Like, what the fuck? Crunch. Just can't catch a break. Oh, shit. But you got the Raptors, right? Oh, fuck. Come on. 7-4. So this 4-4 four four didn't really work out for me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here, oh. Hit him. Hit him with the... Hit him with the hind. Sega, what's going on, man? How you been? I did see you were streaming again. Congratulations. Go check out Sega Camp Gamers gaming streams. Best in the biz. I was listening to, you know, like every once in a while I get a little nostalgic and I go back into our playlist and I watch some of our old stuff. It's very cringy. I look a lot younger. I should probably trim my beard. <laughs> I should probably, it's like I'm so dad mode right now where I don't give a fuck. I should, I should trim it, clean it up, you know, instead of looking like a lumberjack, a homosexual lumberjack. Oh, shit. And the reason why I say that is I was chopping wood in front of the house today. In a very unmanly way. Ellie was helping me chop wood. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going back in some old streams. I watched, like, the drunk stream where Jesse came to save me. It was, like, five years ago. I watched that. That was, uh... So I have a playlist of, like, that drunk... I should add more drunk streams too, because we were drunk multiple times. But um, Sega was like, yeah, we 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 party, man. Sega's been around for a minute. Oh, that was nice. We want to be like a lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, I, I thinking about. It. I was thinking about. It. I was looking at some of these old streams, like. It was like controversial that I even had a beard because I didn't have a beard in the beginning. I started growing it and kind of trimming it, growing it, and trimming it. And I used to do the fear of the beard thing and the most magical beard on all of YouTube. That was like a thing for a while. And now my beard's really magical. But I don't embrace it as much as I should. I should I should talk about my majestic my majestic beard a little bit more. Now that it has more superpowers. Only if Jesse begins to hate, hate it, then trim it. No, Jesse's, Jesse's cool, man. She doesn't, she really, like, like, she, I don't think, she, like, I don't know. She liked the floof hair. She did like that. So, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll bring that back, but she doesn't really, she doesn't care. Like, she doesn't, it's, it's I guess, I don't know. All she cares about is that I wake up every day. She never really talks about looks or anything like that. Thank God. Thank God she thank God she likes she's like that. Picked it. Picked it off. Eight to four. I mean, this is just a laugher. 
There's nine. Oh, this is just this is this has become a rape. Yeah, I know. Is it good? Let me. Okay, I want. Should we? You want to watch it? Let me know. Is it good? I I never seen it. Just for men is Carrie's favorite. Uh, I <laughs> just keep keep just for men in business. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think I use just. Is that the company I use? Or a touch of no? I use a touch of gray. I think. But I've been slacking. I've been slacking. If she's gonna flip off, but what's good is my the top of my hair. I don't put anything in. Thank God. Just don't hurt my feelings too much. Uh, go watch my first MMA quick takes. Yeah, I didn't see it. Should I, should I play it on here, Jess? I didn't see it. Should I, should I watch? Should we do a review? That would be weird. Should we put it on here? But make sure if I put it on here, make sure you all go there and hit the fucking like button. And share that shit. Nice job, Sega. I think you would look great with a beard. Nice, big, burly beard. Let's do it. You want to do a reaction? Jesse's new video. Do it. All right, but here's the deal. Here's the, here's what you got to do. We got 31 in here. Fucking big, big, big audience tonight. What I need you to do is if we do watch it here, I need you to go over to the video, hit the like button, let it play in the background, get that watch time. You know what? Let me just say this. Do it to all the videos. If you're fucking doing something, if you're cleaning, if you're in the shower and your phone's sitting, just keep our streams playing. We want that watch time. Just keep it going, baby. Just let it, let it play. Let the streams play in the background. Pump up the algo rhythm. I expect everyone to do that. Okay. Let me finish this game. Well, we have like two minutes left. And then we'll... I mean, I can't stop scoring. Let me just make sure I got this game. All right, two minutes left and we'll, we're, we're going to play. Okay? Two minutes left. And we're going to... this. Here we go. Two minutes left and we're going to check out Jesse's first edition... I think it's like fight briefing. I don't know what the hell it is. She didn't even tell me what the fuck it is. I have no idea. But we're going to watch it. It's going to be a recurring segment. We got a lot of interesting content coming out. We got Chael Sonnen on the show. I mean, we got a lot of stuff for you guys. <laughs> a lot of stuff. It's so funny, the Chael Sonnen thing, right? It's majority of uh, the, um, the feedback's pretty good. But then there's like this small pocket of people that just don't understand that we're just fucking around like... Like, they're just like, cringe, bruh. Like, just like, <laughs> it's, it's like, that's the point. Like, like, <laughs> like, of course, that's what it is. It's, it's not, it's not serious. It's so weird, man. What the fuck did I just watch? Dude, it's seven to 15 seconds. It's seven to 15 seconds. If, if you come to my video and complain about a seven to 15 second video, I win. <laughs> I win in every fucking way. It's so, it's, it's such... An inflation of my ego for you to come there and just complain about seven. Like it only took me seven seconds to piss you off. It's it's so amazing. Call the uh, show JBN's bathroom takes. Which did she do it in the? Did she do the video in the bathroom? Did she? I didn't watch the video, so I don't know. That'd be actually really funny if Jesse was in the fucking bathroom when she did it. Oh my god, did she do it in the bathroom? Uh, I hated a few, uh, three seconds of your 15 second. I love it, man. I, if it takes that long to, to annoy people, I win, man. I win so hard. Don't let me win. Just say nice things. Because then I don't really win. Okay, here we go. Okay. 55 seconds left. We are winning 9 to 4. So bounce back from the uh the ending of the last game. Oh my god, wound up and I want number 10. We want number 10. Oh man, flyers suck. Here's oh shit, I missed him. I just threw it into the net. Okay, we're going to watch Jesse's video. In 34 seconds they score. JBM did a great job. You did in the bedroom. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the one criticism that we do get, and and it's understandable. We do a lot of long form content, so basically when the stream is done, we get replay value, but from our community, right? Like the people that watch it are subscribers that will go back and watch. But 
new viewers when they see three hours. <laughs> You know, they're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm not going to sit. And I get it. I'm, I wouldn't do that either. You know, I, I'm not going to sit there for fucking three hours and watch something that I, I just found. Right. But people that are used to our show, you know, it's a different story watching replays. But um, so what we're going to try to do, we'll upload some stuff as well. We'll mix it up, you know. Hey, Snow Roaches, how you doing? I got all these mosquito bites on my ankle. It's so itchy. God, I fucking, the mosquitoes here, they're just, they're like, oh, from another world. Like, they're, it's just dumb. How do I get rid of all these mosquitoes? I gotta wait like another month. Like, it's like, what the fuck? It's such beautiful weather and I gotta deal with all these mosquitoes. Go away. Go away, mosquitoes. 13 seconds until Jesse's new video. Okay, can't get number 10, unfortunately. Oops, shit shot on goal. Car yep, a carnage of a victory. I am happy. I am very happy. Dub, baby. First game, a dub. Nice, Sega. Welcome back. Welcome back to streaming. Okay. Oh Jess, you want to do me a solid? You want to be, you want to bring me up that that fritter? We went. I got my tags for my car, and there's this like donut place. And I told Jess I don't want to do I don't want to do sweets anymore, but she drags us into the donut place, and then she gets the fritter. So the fritter needs to be eaten. I can't not have that thing unless she ate it already. Okay, all right. So what are we doing? I'm watching Jesse's video. Okay. That's what we'll do. Overnight cast is tomorrow night. Overnight casts. So you're doing an overnight, what, an overnight stream? Like, what, all night long? Is that what you're saying? Make sure you check out Sega's channel. It sounds like, it sounds like it's going to be popping. Fr I mean, fritters are really good. I discovered them maybe about five years ago. And I haven't had them since I was in New York. Oh, no, I'm lying. No, I, I tried one, like a McDonald's one, which was horrific. Like, McDonald's had a fritter. I'm like, let me give it a go. It's cheap. Not good. The only thing McDonald's does well, in my opinion, is the frappe. The frappe is so fucking good. It's so delicious. It's, it's a sugary mess. But I, I do enjoy it. No, no whipped cream. I don't need whipped cream on it because I want my frappe to the top. I don't want like 75% frappe and 25% whipped cream. No no need. Give me 100% frappe. Give me 100% of that. Because I need to be a complete fatty. It's a must. Okay. Yeah, it gives you insane diarrhea. It does make my flagellant stinky. So. I get it. Fritters are easy to make. How do you make a fritter? I don't even know. Can you? I guess you can air fry it, right? Can you air fry a fritter? <laughs> How do you make a fritter? I don't. I, I. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I like. You know what? I'm, let me say this. I like. I don't mind the thumbnail. All right. I'm gonna do a channel review. I'm gonna do a review of Jesse's video. Okay. So, couple things. I think, all right, we, we won't start until Jesse brings me my fritter. <laughs> we won't start. The video starts, you know, it's like, it's like we're, it's movie time. So for those of you that don't know, I'm pretty sure everyone's an MMA hole, but if you're not, we have a channel called The MMA Holes. We cover the UFC and combat sports, all that fun stuff. Jesse is the co-host slash wife. She put out an 11 minute video and we're going to consume it. I only had to look at the computer for was to check records during my picks. Quick trying to hate. What did he say? What did he say? JBM is reading in a script, bruh. Not a, off the head. That's actually a compliment. That's a compliment, though. Yeah, but hold on a second. If if he's accusing you of reading and you didn't, that's like being accused of doing steroids and being just fucking jacked. 
No, you win. You win. look at this fucking thing, guys. Have you ever seen like look? Th it's the size of my fucking head. It looks like diarrhea, actually. I promise you, in real life, <laughs> it it looks like a <laughs> it looks like a rolled up. Oh, it's soft. Hold on, let me let me show you guys. Look at this thing. I am so fat, man. It's so stupid. I'm so fat. I'm going to look like MMA guru if I keep eating like this. It does look like diarrhea. But this is an apple fritter. It's literally the size of my fucking head. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that fritter. It's like a... It's like a oh my God. Hey, all ready? Oh my God. It doesn't taste like shit. I'm telling you that. There's something about, so it's like a little mom and pop, um, no, what's it called? Donut shop. So it's not like Dunkin' Donuts. It's like, just like, like a legit donut place. But here was the weird thing. Now, <laughs> this goes, like, here, here I come stereotyping again. I walked into the place and it was like this, this Asian lady behind the counter and I guess it's like a family business or something like that. But I got thrown off. Like, I didn't expect to walk into a donut shop and see an Asian lady there. Like, <laughs> is that fucking racist? <laughs> Maybe it is. Nothing against her. And I was asking. I was like, hey, how long was this place around? And she said, what, like 2013 or something like that? And I was so bad wanted to ask her, is it like run by an Asian family? <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Would anyone else get weirded out by that? Like, if you walk into a donut, like if you walk into a Dunkin' Donuts in in New York, it's all Indian, right? But that's like common. Like, so you go into a Dunkin' Donuts, Indian, that's what you get. Dunkin' Donuts in Arizona, white. So you kind of know what you're getting, right? Arizona, you get the white Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, in New York, you get the Indian Dunkin' Donuts. It's completely acceptable. But I did not expect, I did not expect to walk into like a mom and pop donut shop, and there's a Chinese lady behind the fucking. Like, I didn't expect that. It threw me off. So, would anyone else get thrown off by that? <clears throat> I'd be more weirded out if it wasn't a foreigner. Well, in Arizona, like, every, like in New York, every place is usually, you know, it's all different ethnicities. Like, dominoes, and it's all, like, different ethnicities. But in Arizona, it's all honkies. Like, <laughs> or Mexicans, right? So, it's like, Mexicans are honkies. That's what you get. That's what you walk into a place. That's what you expect to see. You know, you go into an Italian place. There's Mexicans in there, but that's Arizona for you, right? Um, but like, I didn't expect a Chinese person, and I just didn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just racist. Okay, here we go. Quick takes. Jesse's calling this segment "Quick Takes." Two eighty is still a few. Okay, that yeah, looks pretty clear. How about this? <laughs> that should have been the thumbnail right there. What's this background? Where is this? That shit does look like a bathroom. Wait, where is it? Where did she do this? What bedroom is this? Why do I not recognize this background? It's not bad, though. Because she got the natural light. That's just not a good, not a flattering. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it looks like. <laughs> I can't. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Let me eat my fritter. Mm. Okay. Where is, where is this? She said that's the background. Is this someone else's house? Is that the shower? Okay, ready? UFC 280 is still a few days away, but the pay-per-view buys are rolling in en masse due to a must-see event between former champion Charles Oliveira and streaking 155-pound contender Islam Makhachev. Also, the UFC president Dana White is totally fine with Alexander Volkanovsky taking the winner of Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makhachev, and Alir Latifi is facing disciplinary action for an admission that he made inside the cage after his fight at UFC Fight Night 211. Then, UFC 280 picks and predictions. Here's the latest MMA news with your favorite MMA quick takes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking porno music. That's perfect. <laughs> Can you add moaning? Jess, add moaning to that. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I swear to God. I'm telling you, let me know what one's in the chat so if you agree with this. The music is so perfect. And if there's just like moaning. May news with your favorite MMA quick take. Like, no joke. I am I am a hundred percent serious. 
quick takes. Ah. Oh. UFC two. <laughs> can I? All right. Can I moan? Can I moan in that part? Oh, that's fucking funny, man. Then UFC two eighty <laughs> picks and predictions. Here's the latest MMA news with your favorite MMA quick takes. Ah, oh, quick takes. Ah, oh, quick takes. UFC 280 <laughs> pay-per-view buys are trending off the charts according to Dana White. He says we are crushing this event. Dana White told Barstool Sports, quote, this thing is trending off the charts already. Dana White has always often said that pay-per-views are doing well when actually when you look at the stats later on, they weren't as well as he made them out to be. Dana White is a professional. He's a president of, the, of an entire sports organization. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's saying. The pay-per-view buys might be doing well. Who knows? But at this point, it's hard to tell. I would like to think that Oliveira versus Makachev is a pretty big hit, especially with that Russian demographic coming Coming in and Charles Oliveira bringing that Brazilian demographic as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that UFC 280 is going to hit it off as well as Dana White? Yeah, just fairness. So far, good. I like it. So, I got to give the same criticism that I give people with their auditions. But what I got to say is this. I like the fact it's clear. It's not fucking... It doesn't look like it was shot in... This is probably off a cell phone, right? This goes to show you... That when you're doing your auditions, don't make it look like you're you're about to be beheaded. For some fucking reason, when people are doing like sending in the auditions, it legit looks like for some it looks like I don't know, like like some fucking Indian's gonna come in and lop your head off or some shit like that. This is clear. It's just on a cell phone. So like there you go. So Jesse, I, I gotta be honest, with you, this is the first time I'm seeing this. It looks good. No hostage video auditions. No fucking gorilla heads. Like, just don't creep me out. I mean, it could be a gorilla head. But just do it in a way where it doesn't fucking creep me out. You know what I'm saying? And I got to say this. A little tweak here. Because, like, so if you think about it, the delivery is good. It's on point. It's like a news segment. But we do need an angle, right? So the moaning definitely got to be put in here. Okay? Moaning, moaning definitely have to be put in here. And I don't know, like... I mean, you could have pop-ups on there. You could. I don't know if it would cheese it up. All right, let me let me give it a more of a chance here. I'm going to listen to it. Coming in and Charles Oliveira bringing that Brazilian demographic as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that UFC 280 is going to hit it off as well as Dana White says it's going to? Let's not forget that UFC 280 is a pretty stacked card. I honestly don't think people are simply going to be buying it for Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev. Yes, they are a huge draw, but you also have Piotr Jan versus Sean O'Malley, TJ Dillashaw versus Aljamain Sterling. There's going to be quite a few fighters on this card that people are going to want to see. I know myself, I'm going to want to see a lot of the other fights on the card as well, which is one of the reasons we are buying it. So let me know what you guys think. Also in the news, Dana White says that it makes sense, quote unquote, for Alexander Volkanovsky to take the winner of Islam Makachev versus Charles Oliveira. I'm not upset by that. Alexander Volkanovsky is in his prime position to challenge for the UFC lightweight champion. I just got to say this, this fritter is so fucking good. I got to the middle, okay? And the apple... The apple that's in the middle of this thing. Jess, you want a bite real quick? Come up and grab a bite of this. Oh, my God. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? This delicious apple filling. I don't know why I'm so far over, but... And by the way, if you want to see this video, the MMA Holes website... The MMA Holes on YouTube. If you want to see this uninterrupted with my stupid face. Okay. Sorry. Just had to give it an update. Hit the apple. Championship. Benil Dariush versus Gamrot happening on the same pay-per-view event, which a lot of people are probably going to be pushing for. Volkanovski is taps to serve as a backup fighter for Oliveira versus Makachev anyways. That fight makes sense. And let's be honest, a lot of people aren't going to get excited about a Benil Dariush fight. People are looking forward to the champ, Alexander Volkanovski, getting ready to be a two-division champion. Volkanovski says that he's trained hard and he's worked hard to put himself here, and I believe it. Volkanovski knows exactly what he's doing. He became the champ once before, and he can become the champ again in a completely different division. And personally, that's something that I would like to see, and I know a lot of fans would like to see. We've had this conversation many times on the show, and I honestly think Volkanovski is the best fit. If you disagree, let me know in the comment section why. I would love to hear your opinion on why you don't think Volkanovski is fit for this, and if you really believe that, then who do you think should take that position as the contender for the winner of UFC 280? I would like to insert in the comments, 
that I disagree. I think Volkanovski should stay put in 145 and pick everyone off. Let me know in the comments section. Lastly, the Nevada State Athletic Commission has temporarily suspended Ilir Latifi after he admittedly fought with staph infection at his UFC Fight Night 211 in-cage interview. The commission held a meeting on Tuesday that Ilir Latifi was temporarily suspended for admitting... I'm sorry. You know what would be really funny? Like at the end of this... Like at the very end of the video, you just go, FUCK! Like scream fuck as loud as you can and then just end it to knowingly competing with a staph infection in his October 1st win versus Alexei Olenek. The suspension will end when a resolution on the disciplinary action has been reached. We don't know how long that's going to take. The reason for the suspension is not only that he admittingly did it, but he failed to inform the commission or the organization prior to the fight, and nobody found out about it until this in-cage interview. Honestly, I don't blame them. There's no reason that you should risk another fighter's health or safety because you wanted to fight selfishly and you didn't take the time to tell anybody that you might have had something that could be spread. The NAC has been in touch with Latifi, who did describe it as remorseful. I'm sure he feels bad about the situation. He really wanted to fight. He wanted to get in there. He thought that having the staph infection and by telling people, obviously that would have him removed, as we all know why. I'm not going to kill the guy. Was it the right move? Definitely not. If you have a different opinion, which I highly doubt anybody has a different opinion, but if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comment section below on this matter. Hopefully they can reach a verdict soon and, and Alir Latifi can get back into the cage and he can start going and buy his work again, but at this point it just doesn't seem like something that's happening. I'm going to give you my picks for the UFC 280 prelims. The first fight on the card, Lena Landsberg versus Carol Rosa. Landsberg is coming off of two losses, Sarah McMahon and... Pani Kianzad and Rosa coming off of a loss against Sarah McMahon as well. I went with Rosa by decision. I'm not much into women's MMA fights. I really don't have a reason other than she is the favorite and I don't care too much about that fight, so I made a pretty quick pick. Next on the preliminaries, Mohamed Makayev versus Malcolm Gordon. Makayev, I have winning by submission in the first round. He's coming off of multiple wins on. I just want to do an update. The frit is gone his record but only two UFC fights Charles Johnson and Cody Durden Malcolm Gordon also coming off of two UFC fights against Dennis Bondar by KO TKO and Francis Figueredo by unanimous decision because Gordon can be finished I went over with Makayev who has shown an undefeated record so far in his professional career so I've got Makayev submission round one moving on to the next fight on the card Armin Petrosian versus AJ Dobson Petrosian coming off of a loss to Chow Barallo two months ago Dobson coming off a loss to Jacob Malcone seven months ago. Now, of course, I went with Petrosian by decision. I think Petrosian is just the stronger guy. He's the moderate favorite at minus 220. Listen, they're both around the same age. They're both kind of in their prime right now. I just feel that Petrosian has a little bit more of an opportunity with all of his knockout wins. We see a lot of submission wins for Dobson, but we've never seen Petrosian get submitted. He has been knocked out once before, but I don't think we've ever seen Dobson knock anybody out in any of his wins. Oh, actually, I take that back. Um, Kalen Hill he did, but that was not in the UFC. So if we're just going based off of UFC fights, I really think that it's going to go in favor of Petrosian for this fight. Up next on the preliminaries, Ababukar Nurmagomedov versus Gadzia Margajev. However you pronounce that name. Well, let's see, Nurmagomedov coming off of a win to Jared Gooden by unanimous decision, and then that was a year and a half ago. Before that, he came off of a loss to David Zawada by submission. Gadzi coming off a loss of his own, but by decision. And before that, he came in on the Contender Series against Jensi Silva. I went with Gadzi Amargadiev by decision. I think this is going to go all three rounds. I don't see a finish. Nurmagomedov lost by a finish. And um, Gadzi lost by a decision. Zubaira Tukagov versus Lucas Almeida is also on the preliminaries. Tukagov coming off of a unanimous decision win over Ricardo Ramos two years, I'm sorry, 11 months ago. And then two years ago, he took a loss to Hakim Dawadu, and that was by a split decision. Lucas Almeida coming off of a left hook win to Mike Trezano, and before that, he was not fighting in the UFC, so this is only going to be his second fight in. The slight underdog is for Lucas Almeida, putting Zabira Tukagov at a minus 155 slight favorite. Tukagov, I have by decision win. I see this one also going three rounds. You've got Russia versus Brazil. 
a lot like what we're gonna see in our main event but unlike our main event I'm gonna go in favor of Russia for this one also in the preliminaries we have one of my favorite fights Volkan Ozdemir versus Nikita Krylov I cannot wait to see this fight happen I honestly don't know why it's in the preliminaries I know a lot of people sleep on Ozdemir and I have to be honest I think I'm gonna sleep on Ozdemir in this fight as well I went with Krylov and I think he's gonna knock out Ozdemir I think we all know why Ozdemir has been knocked out before and it was a pretty brutal one by Yuri Prochaska I know Yuri is kind of a reckless loose cannon in the cage but you cannot not deny that that knockout was pretty intense. Ozdemir is also lost by unanimous decision to Ankalaev and then after that he won against Paul Craig that was his most recent decision two months ago. Ozdemir is the slight underdog at plus 145. I'm not too surprised about that. Nikita Krylov is a pretty heavy opponent for him. Krylov coming off of a win by knockout over Alexander Gustafsson. The thing that I'm a little concerned about if you are into MMA math is Nikita Krylov has lost to Paul Craig by submission and Ozdemir did beat Paul Craig in his last fight. So if you're doing MMA math, if you're kind of looking at that a little bit, I totally understand why you might want to pick Ozdemir in this fight, but he's still the underdog, which means a lot of people are not putting that into play. Do I think Ozdemir has some semblance of a chance here? Probably, but do I think it's enough of a chance? No, not very much. I'd love to know what you guys think about this fight. This is one of the ones that I'm most excited about. I hope that during fight night I get to call this fight because, I don't know, there's just something about it. There's something a little juicy about it. I've always liked watching Krylov fight. I've always liked watching Ozdemir fight. I, I think it's going to be something a little more entertaining than what we're expecting here. After that, we've got Miradov versus Baralo. Miradov coming off a loss to Gerald Mearshart, and that was by submission. Baralo coming off of a lot of wins over here, fighting out of Brazil. His last fight was against Petrosian. He won by unanimous decision. And before that, he won against uh, Omar Gudiev, the guy that's name I love to pronounce, by decision also. Moderate favorite goes in favor of Baralo, and that puts Muradov at the slight underdog at plus 180, fighting out of Uzbekistan. Muradov is 32 years old, 29 for Baralo. Baralo's got a little bit of a younger advantage with just three years. That said, at 32 years old, that could still put Muradov in his prime, and Muradov does have three extra years of experience. This is a little bit of a harder pick for me. I saw that a lot of people actually were going in favor of Baralo for this fight, and I can't say I really blame them. I picked Baralo as well. Baralo doesn't really have many submissions on his record, but we have seen Muradov get submitted in his last fight. He does have that little bit of an open weakness there, and I don't think Baralo's ground game is too bad. So I think we're gonna, I went on a little bit of a, of a whim, and I chose Baralo by submission. I know it's a little unlikely, and I know it's a little out there as far as picks are concerned. Most people probably would have won a decision or KO TKO, but I'm gonna go submission on this one. I just have a little bit of a hunch, and I'm hoping it goes that way. Okay, I got a little bit of criticism here. Let me throw it in. I want to bounce it off the live chat right now. I, I love the way the beginning of the video uh, started off with the news and, uh, and her opinions on the news. But with it blended with picks, I feel picks should be separate. I feel there should be a video with news. The way she delivered it, she had my attention. But the picks is losing me. So what I'm thinking is there's going to be an audience for picks. And there's going to be an audience for news. And if you like both, you could watch both videos. I feel like it should be separated. That's my opinion over there. Let me know in the chat what you think. Uh, both are good. I feel like it's two different things of content in one video. And it might kind of, I don't know, confuse. One video for picks, one for news. 100%. This way you could hone in on the title for the news. And you could hone in on the other title for picks. You can attack both sides. And if people want to see both content, they could do that as well. Let me know in the chat what you think about that. Let's uh, see. we got a minute 50 left. For the last fight of the prelims, we have Bilal Muhammad versus Sean Brady. Bilal Muhammad coming off of a win against Vicente Luque by unanimous decision. He is the plus 115. This is a near even fight. A minus 140 puts um, Sean Brady as the slight favorite. Uh, Sean Brady also coming off a win over Michael Chiesa by unanimous decision. His record sits at 15-5-0 and, and Muhammad at 21-3-0. He's got a few more fights for, uh, he's got a few more professional fights under his record. Brady has a little bit of an age advantage as far as prime is concerned, but Muhammad has that age experience at 34 years old. I went with Sean Brady by decision. I like Bal Bilal Muhammad a lot. I do think he's a little bit boring, but that has really nothing to do with his fight performance. I just think Sean Brady's going to have a little more power and a little more oomph that he's going to be able to bring to this fight. Okay, before she gets that last thing out there, I did see Lil Seal say uh, some channels... Uh that do picks, I just skipped to the picks and then bounce. There you go. Perfect. So that, that basically solidifies what we're saying here. Some people just want the picks. Some people just want the news. Some people want both. So now you're, you're kind of splitting it up in a way where 
you can actually target a specific audience or a specific need. And then the next one, just do like a sex stream. I don't know, like a moan stream. So you can get the, you know, you know, get that out too. I want decision because I don't think either of them have the ability to finish each other. We've seen Sean Brady submit a lot of opponents in the past, but Bilal Muhammad does have that ability to kind of go the distance with all of his opponents, especially the ones as of late. So I think Bilal Muhammad is going to really weasel around what Sean Brady has to offer and they're going to go the distance on this fight. So Sean Brady by decision. That's it for the preliminary UFC 280 picks. I will be doing my UFC 280 main card picks on the next MMA Quick Take, so make sure you like, hit subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss the latest MMA news on your favorite MMA Quick Takes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Okay, I like the end. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then you can see this ugly face that screws it all up. I like the end. UFC two eight. Okay. Alright, so I think she's on to something. I think she's on to something. That's pretty good. I do have to figure out <laughs> the yeah, we need better moaning though. The moaning needs to be in the beginning too. I think I feel like the the beginning needs to have like when this when this clip comes in. I feel like you need moaning here. <laughs> but you know what? Not bad. I gotta say, Jess went upstairs. She banged this out in like what? I don't know, an hour, half hour, some shit. I don't know how how it seemed fairly quick. I don't know. It was with the babies. So I don't know. But I think I think it's a good idea. I do. I like it. I think with a couple of little tweaking uh, things. Let me know in the chat what you think. That's good. Andrew Tate outro. Does he have something like that? The outro sounds like the turkey twerk. <laughs> I wish it was the fucking turkey twerk. Uh, you need a deep Barry uh, uh, white voice doing the outro. Yeah, you need pulse. For so fuck's sakes, I have all the notification bells, all notifications, and this is what happens several times where I get zero notifications in the second channel going live. Yeah, Dustin, I literally reached out to YouTube. They're like, no, nah, everything's fine. They showed our stats where like, like a small fragment of our audience has our notification bell. It's bullshit. They're lying to us. Like it's like they're straight up lying. It's crazy, man. It's so crazy. It's like you got to fucking check the channel every five seconds to know we're live. I don't know why YouTube is just fucking blatantly lying to us, but you're not the only one that says that. Check out the meme section. It was a winner for, for sure. I got the notification alert. Yeah, it's weird. Why do some people get it and some people don't? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, on the main channel, we get it all the time. Some people get it, some people don't. I don't know why. I don't, it drives me nuts. Okay, let's see, Discord. Yeah, I think it was good. I don't know where the hell she filmed. Where did she record the bathroom? The, the, the original. I don't know where the hell that room was. I have no idea. I, 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 it doesn't look familiar at all. Uh, but I am membered up. Hey, you think members get some sort of benefit, maybe? That's so crazy. I search MMA Holes Daily. Uh, Y'all must be a shadow band. <clears throat> do you get alerts, too? I, I think we are. I honestly do think we are. They said that we can't post more than three things a day, whether it's a community post or other stuff. Our bedroom, you built that background. Where the fuck did you... How did you build that background? Where the hell is it? I mean, it looks good. It does look good. Hmm. Yeah, it, it works well. And it's mostly rainy. It's mostly sunny, so... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Should I... So I asked people to have, like, to, to put up a mystical... What the fuck is this? I'm just looking at Discord. So I asked people to put up... Um, so on our likes, uh, likes, on our live chat section where we have the scrolling heads, I just put that Bob Ross head up there, but I wanted a different one. So I asked the people to be a little bit more artistic and throw something in there. Uh, let's see. Three's Company. Proud Babylonian is on StreamYard. What is, what is he doing? Proud. Hold on a second. I'm going to just jump into this broadcast. 
Hold on a second. Give me a second here. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm just going to jump into this broadcast. Audio. Okay. I don't know what this is, but that is my name. Why can't I enter? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? What are you doing? You've been live for like an hour, dude. Bro, let me in. Why is he moaning? I can't put this on screen because I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <clears throat> Bro, why are you breathing so heavy? Why are you typing, Babylonian? Why are you type like me, man? Dude, I'm in your... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I think he's in the Discord. There he is. So I'm in here. I don't think he realizes I'm in. <laughs> Why is he moaning? <laughs> Why is many owls? You've been on this thing by yourself for an hour? Dude, are you on porn? Is this guy fucking on porn or something? Proud Babylonian, you in the chat? Let me in. Dude, he's just fucking... So in the Discord, yo, in the Discord, jump into um, the link. <laughs> he put a link. He put a stream lights link. <laughs> he put. I just jumped in. Here, look. Go in the Discord. Jump in. Jump in this link right here. He's live on Streamlabs on Streamyards. Just jump in that link. Anyone could jump in, and you could moan with this guy. He doesn't know we're in. I don't know what the hell's going on. Dude, what is going on with this guy? He's in Discord. He has no idea I'm in here. I'm backstage. He didn't he didn't allow me in. <clears throat> but I could hear him. That's hysterical, dude. So he's on StreamYard. Hear him sucking a cock. <laughs> he's sucking a cock right now. It does sound <laughs> Why is he breathing so fuck? <sighs> How does he... He's been live... What is he doing? He has no idea he's on air right now. Show attention spans. Anything can catch our attention can be helpful. So, uh, sometimes I'll be far away from the TV and a quick glance at the TV gets me back on top. Gotcha. Yeah, I like that feedback, man. I think it's important that we get like feedback like that. <clears throat> this, guy's, this guy's on porn. There's no doubt about it. This dude's scrolling through porn. Hear him? He's like moaning, his cock's in his hand. Or he could just be like 400 pounds. Hey, Odd Future, how you doing? Right now we just jumped in this. Go in our Discord, jump in. Oh, here we go. Okay, he's he's let someone in. Hello? Is this shit live? Hello? <laughs> yeah, you hear me? Am I, I'm not in. You let the wrong guy in. I'm Hello? back. Yeah, someone else jumped in. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Is this shit a lie? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Is this shit live? Dude? What the fuck's going on? I don't know. You masturbating to something, man? Like, what the hell is going on with you? You're, like, breathing heavy and shit. Look at this. No, dude. I'm not. No, dude. What's going on, bro? Nothing. I can't believe this shit's even alive, dude. What the fuck? I thought. Hey, hey, what's up, dude? Awesome. Thanks for, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, I saw you were live for an hour. What are you doing? I was searching for the Fisher King uh, a scene, uh, scene on the Fisher King movie. The Fisher King? What, the uh, the chess movie? No, Robin Williams and that one girl, Amanda something. Oh. Or, okay. You know, the Fisher, Ki uh, uh, Fisher King. I was thinking Bobby Fisher. Uh, yeah, okay. 
I thought I ended this shit a long time ago. I can't believe this scene is still alive. Then here you are. Hey, well, fuck you. Yeah, I was on for like an hour listening to you. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, you were breathing real heavy. I thought you were like, I don't know. I thought you were masturbating. So I was like, oh my God, what's he doing in there? So you're not masturbating. I'm just, I'm just like a uh, fat or something, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> You just oh okay. Um, there's some oh P- pulses in there too. Pulse is with us. Hello. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pulse. Uh. Yeah. What's going on, Pulse? Not much. Tell us about Halloween ends, dude. I I fucking did an hour on it. Like I did. Would how would you come in late? Yeah, yeah. I came in late. What happened? It sucked. It's terrible. Did you see it? No, not yet. I was thinking about it. Dude, it's really bad. Just go in thinking, just going and expecting the worst, okay? Okay. Okay. What do you think about Pratt? Pratt uh, so, Babylonian, you on YouTube now? Are you live? I don't know, dude. <laughs> so, so, you just dropped You just dropped this in Discord to see what would happen? Well, I thought it was over with, but I guess uh, it's not over with. No, nah. but we're always live. We're never not hey, live. Well, shit. That's awesome, dude. I, thanks for coming on, dude. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. I enjoyed listening to you. I, I got a kick out of it. What? So you heard what I was saying? or dude, what, I, you just heard what, I heard like a zipper and a lot of heavy breathing. That's all I heard. Oh, well, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I, was, I was actually talking about some real shit earlier. but Yeah? What were you talking about? Oh, uh, fuck, dude. Like, but yeah, I don't even remember, but... Well, I, I was on some serious shit, but then I can't remember, dude. Like, I don't remember what. I don't remember, like, all of a sudden, I thought the shit was done. And then all of a sudden, I clicked on, and like, there you are. I was like, what the fuck's going on, dude? <laughs> I, I got someone. Uh, someone's coming in. Hold on a second. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, it's Tropic Tom. Look at this. Oh, so this is on I your stream? Sounds like or Jeffrey Dahmer preparing dinner. <laughs> Turn it off. He says you sound like Jeffrey Dahmer pre- uh, preparing dinner. You weren't, you're not eating any gay people, are you? No, dude. I've never ate a person. I've eaten lots of different shit, but never a person. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're on the second channel, so you don't have to be too alarmed. Yeah. Oh, so I'm on your channel, right? Yeah, yeah. You're on. You're on our channel. Yep. Okay. I didn't. But you could be on yours too. I don't know. Like you're on Streamyard, but I don't know if you're linked to your YouTube. You might be. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is it's cool. Whatever it is, dude. <laughs> Where are you from, Ben? I live in East Texas. I live behind the Pine Curtain. Oh, nice! Look at that. You uh, a cowboy fan? Uh, Texan fan? What, what are we, what are we see, looking at? Uh, see, I'm a long time Seahawks and Saints fan. Seahawks and Saints fan. Oh, okay. Two, wait, Seahawks and Saints. How'd you pull that off? I'm not normal. I'm not normal. I'm not like a normal little fucking inbred faggot. You know, I like <laughs> I'm into diversity. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. So you're saying cowboy fans are inbred faggots? Most of them, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on that. You're not wrong. Sorry, Pulse. (laughs) (laughs) No offense, Pulse. Pulse is an inbred faggot. Did you know that? No, Pulse is probably gone. I don't know. He's in. He's still in here. He he makes me nervous. That's why I have the stream on myself because I don't know. I don't. I don't know about you either. I have no. You seem like a nice guy though. Who me or yeah? You seem all right. Yeah, well, yeah, I I love honesty. So who wait who who the fuck? I guess I'm like on multiple channels at once. I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. <laughs> What's your YouTube? Your YouTube channel is just proud Babylonian. Yeah, but I'm not on that channel. I'm okay. on Note the Theus Con Bolio Loco. What the fuck is that? Holy, how do you spell that? Just drop the link to your channel in the Discord. I'll go see if I don't right. even know. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I don't know how the fuck this is even happening, dude. What does that even mean? What is that? What does that mean? That's Spanish. It right? means the, it means the news by the crazy white boy. <laughs> because, because I'm the crazy white boy. <laughs> I'm so confused. All right, so are, are you have any Spanish in you at all? No, I'm not Spanish. I'm Mexican. Oh, you're Mexican. Okay, very nice. So 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 why so you're you're what you're light skinned Mexican you saying? I'm half po. I mean I'm a quarter Polish, so I'm a quarter German, a half uh, Western European mutt. No, oh, okay. So you're like, but Me- okay. Mexico's a na- Mexico's a nation. Yeah, a ge- you know a geographical location. It's true. You're right. And any type of nigger can get up in there and do whatever <laughs> the fuck they want. 
Do you say the N-word? Pulse is in here. Be careful. Pulse is in here. He might he might fucking get mad at you, man. Well, I started off fucking black girls. Oh, so you bang black girls? Uh, yeah, that's my favorite. Nice. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. They're very attractive uh, black young ladies out there. Do you prefer black women? Yes, I do. So that's so. If you have sex with a black girl, you could say the N word. Is that what you're saying? No. No. Oh, okay. Do you ever have you ever in bed like started banging a black girl and just call, start calling her the N word? No. No. Nope, okay. Never. <laughs> Pulse you. <laughs> Pulse. Oh uh, no, that's a no. <laughs> well, you know what? We all have that in common. We've never done that. Okay. That's good. Well, it's a it's a weird. Uh... With other uh, black dudes, it's okay. So I've never said it to a girl. I've said it to other black dudes, but never to a girl. Yeah. Oh, you've said. Oh, okay. So like in your clique, or have you ever gotten into like an argument with someone and called them the n word? No. Okay. I've just not in an argument. I've said it just with being friends. I've said oh, okay. it. So if you rap, like if 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 like if Biggie Smalls is on, and if you don't know, now you know. You know what I'm saying? That part. Yeah, if you don't know, now you know. N word, like I can't. Well, yeah, can you say? It? I would. I would not say it to a black dude I did not know. I would not say the N word if I didn't. Know. If I wasn't like friends with a black dude, I wouldn't say it. Okay. But I don't have to really know him. You know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Pulse. You don't say. You don't say it to strangers. It's like. It's like in in Mexican, you know, like Tex Texan Mexican. The word way, mm -hmm. way means a bunch of different shit you don't say way to someone if you don't know them it's like you don't say uh nigga to a, if you don't know the you have to know the person to say it yeah i got gotcha. you pulse doesn't seem like the type of guy that would say that word do you say it, pulse you say the word i say it a hundred times before breakfast it keeps my teeth white <laughs> so, so you wake up and you just rattle off the n-word over and over again yeah. <laughs> well, no. You see, you have to know the per. You have to know the person, or your teeth might go missing. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm with you on that. Wow, I'm learning a lot. I didn't expect to jump in on this, but I'm. Oh, now we're getting a call from somebody. Who's calling? Oh, speaking of N word, Kevin from Chicago is trying to chime in. Yeah, Kevin, you just—he's like so dopey. Kevin's so dopey, he doesn't realize he just got to click on the stream. Is there someone else in your call on Streamyard? He's, he could just jump in there and come in on the call. Instead, he decides to call me on on Discord. I don't know if you heard. Did you hear that? That ringing. Sorry. So these fucking honkies. You can't. You can't be around these honkies. I tell you what, man. You can't, especially from Chicago. You gotta stay away from them. There's nothing but problems. Anyway. All right. Well, listen. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Proud Babylonian. Babylonian. I can't say your name. Where'd you come up with that name, Proud Babylonian? Just uh, uh, Moss. I know you know how to say Babylonian. I know, but I'm babbling. It's late, and I had a fritter. I got a sugar high. I can't speak. You know? Now, hey, dude, thanks for, uh, thanks for, I don't even know how the fuck this shit's even happening, but yeah, that's fucking cool, dude. Well, I appreciate you having me. It was nice talking to you. And Pulse, be good, man. We love you too, Pulse. So how the, how, I mean, how the fuck did this even happen, dude? You put the link in the Discord. Like, the whole community could jump in right now. If they wanted to, they could all just jump in. You want me to put the link in the chat? Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, this, uh, dude, thanks for thanks for coming on. I don't know how the fuck this shit even happened, but oh, yeah, that's wow. awesome. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get. It's about to go real wild right now. We're gonna, we're gonna put, we're gonna. Put, <laughs> hey, well, I, dude, I can. I'm getting drunk, dude. I can really yeah. talk some crazy shit. Y'all know some crazy shit. I'll tell you, dude. Okay. Yeah. Good. We're gonna. I'm gonna open it up to everybody. We're gonna. <laughs> here we go. So is this your channel or my channel? I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Dude. We're on your channel. So how the fuck are you letting people on my channel? Because you uh, made me a moderator. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I didn't, dude. <laughs> All right, oh, well, fuck. You can be a moderator. That's cool. Yeah, but I appreciate it. That was really I didn't nice make you. you I, didn't, I didn't make you a moderator, but the, uh, I don't care if you're a moderator or not, dude. <clears throat> so you might have more people <clears throat> in your uh, waiting room. There's a little waiting room, I guess, you got. You might have more people in there now. I don't know. You might want to check. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, I'll <laughs> let them in. Uh, some of them, some of them I know. Yeah, let them all in. 
Am Look. I in? <laughs> oh, this is great. This oh, wow. Is it's party awesome. time. Hey, proud brother. Hey, Tropic. What up, dude? Hey, what's Not up, much. dudes? Great to see you, man. Hey, good to see you so, guys, man. What what city in East Texas, brother? I used to live in East Texas. Oh, uh, Mexico. What? In East Texas. You said you're in East Texas, right? Yeah, Mexico, East Texas. Oh, I I, I was in Longview. I ain't heard of Mexico, East Texas. Sorry. Yeah. I got I got to get a fucking refill real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. What are you yeah, drinking, Crowd? Are you drinking some Miller Lite? What, uh, what are you uh, sipping No, on? I'm not a faggot. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't oh, say you're a faggot or, wow. or anything like wow. that, bro. <laughs> so what's, what do you, you drink Lone Star? What do you drink? <laughs> I'm drinking a uh, Clamato with Corona because, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that ain't a fag drink. Holy. Clamato <laughs> with Corona? Right, well, I, I, what is that? I can't, affo- I can't afford tequila, dude. So, like, I got to, like, you know, break it down. But what is, I don't even know what that is. What is, what is Lamata? Clamato. Clamato. What is that? tomato juice crap you put in a Bloody Mary. Oh, dude, you're gay. It There's no like doubt about it. In a cup, pretty much. Proud it's Babylon, you might be gay. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You, you said you only use the N word with uh, black dudes that you know. Is that, that like they're, they're your boyfriend or something? And does that happen during sex? No, that happens when when I'm when we uh, are cool enough to like fuck other people up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. You sound like a I tough guy. If, we, if, we, if we're cool enough, if we're cool enough. To spill another motherfucker's blood, then we can say where the fuck we want, right? The N word's not cool, guys. It's not cool at all. Wait, wait who it. said that? Which who said that? That's that I'm Canadian. A guy. I'm a white That's guy. Two joints. I'm very respectful of the brothers. I got a lot of so black two friends. joints and Tropic <laughs> Tom both agree that you can't say the N word. You shouldn't say the N word. If you're not black, you shouldn't say it. It's not proper. Yeah, and I won't have it. That's right. Oh, two I'm, I'm a free. I'm a free speech advocate, but I'm also. Uh, I also recognize that you're likely to get your get punched in the face. So, so. is that the real Say what you two want, joints? But expect the repercussions. Uh, That's the real two joints. Yeah. Oh, Mister Mister Moss, is that the real two joints? It sounds like I don't know. It might be an it's imposter. Him. I don't know. He sounds is, like an imposter. It sounds like an impersonator, to be honest. Two Probably joints. He's got hey, this ain't no two, fake here. Proud say, of say, my name is Two Joints. My name is Two Joints, brother. And uh, you believe that uh, what? I believe uh, black people should say the N word and white people should not say the N word because it's not proper. I feel like I feel proper, like Mexicans proper. could get away with it though. I think Mexicans what, can uh, get away. define it proper. Well, I, I think there's enough racist assholes in the world. I think if all the white people just stopped and thought about what they're saying before they say the N word, then the world would be a better place because uh, we all just <laughs> gotta try and get along. Well, do you know that everyone's racist? And the more racist we are, the better world, the better the world will fucking be. Well, it, it all depends, brother. But uh, I'm from Canada, <laughs> and you got to be nice to each other. That's all. Oh my god, dude! I love black pussy. I love <laughs> red pussy. I love yellow pussy. <laughs> are you Cheech Marin? And you do understand that to have that, we ha- we have to be racist. You understand that you can't breed a Doberman to a poodle. And get a fucking Doberman? <laughs> well, Proud, I, I've got raccoons in my backyard, and they're half black and they're half white. So I'm not just going to go out there and start yelling the N-word. I just scare them off because they are technically half black. And I, I just, I won't use it even in the middle of the night with nobody around. I, I However, respect- he might go in the backyard and fuck them. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, which, which ones do you prefer? The black or the white ones? We'll know if you're racist. No, they're black and white, Moss. That's the color. Oh, they're black and white? Watch fucking Animal Planet with oh. Snoop Dogg. Oh, so they're, okay. So they're mixed. All right. Okay. Yeah, they're mixed. I, I'm okay with mixed race. You know, it's... But you have to understand that uh, for... Like, I love American Staffordshire Terriers and uh, Belgian Melanois <laughs> and, like, uh, you know, like, standard poodles. You understand, like, how long it took to create this stuff? Bro, poodles are... are they're, 
poodles are for old people that are almost ready to die, brother. They're no, not for no, They're no, not you're for wrong, real. dude. Curly a sta- hair, a standard poodle, a standard poodle is a hunting dog. A standard uh, poodle will whoop your fucking ass. I get. See, I know big. you're a little bitch, dude. A standard <laughs> poodle will whoop your fucking ass, dude. I like to see your standard poodle come to Canada and fuck with a black bear, my brother, because a poodle is dude, only good. Dude, you, you have no place. idea what a standard poodle is. God, a standard damn. poodle is a bad motherfucker. <laughs> They I'm are pretty from big. East Canada, bro, and He's we right. Have no poodle problems here, brother. I tell you what, a big a poodle is pretty big. Like you're thinking, like the small little poodles. Like an actual poodle is a is a very large dog. It's actually true. No, a a real poodle will whoop this motherfucker's ass. I thought two joints was cool, but uh, two joints is apparently a little fucking bitch, dude. A standard poodle will whoop this motherfucker's ass. We need to make a cage fight. I like fight. poodles. Just... They don't put up much of a fight. Yeah. You know, there's a couple more people. If you want to get them in the call, there, there. Well, who? Should... I don't know. I don't get them in. Okay, I, who? I don't know who. Big fat N word. Is that <laughs> <me too? laughs> Yeah. If, if that Let name doesn't say cool, I don't know what does. <laughs> okay, we got we got Abra, we got Abra Cadabra and Big Fat N word. Uh, sounds like classy guys. You should let them in. If no, they suck no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, Trump, Trump. Uh, we'll, so I, I prefer just to stick with Trump, Tom, and two joints. I, <laughs> I prefer intimate conversation. Honestly, you could, you could, you can kick them out. It doesn't matter if if they suck. You just could no, boot them right out. I like, two, I like two joints. Right. I like Trump and Tom. Is that the? I don't. I still don't know if that's the real two joints or not. I'm not sure oh, either. It's, 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 no, it's the real it's two, the real joints, two joints. Oh fuck! We've heard him enough times. Proud, proud. I have a question to ask you now, brother. What's all right? What's go your, ahead. What's your thoughts? On Moss getting his wife to watch the film Roadhouse, starring Patrick Swayze, the biggest <laughs> AIDS fest in music in uh, in film history. I don't I don't have enough uh, information to have an opinion. It's an absolute trash film, bro. It was on VHS. He fucking the the end fight scene. He takes Buddy down to the lake, pulls out his lungs, and fucking throws him in the water. Jesse is mesmerized. <laughs> Yo, it's man, her life. She's fucking. Put some respect forever. on the dead Patrick Swayze's name. Oh God. Yeah, I mean, completely disrespectful. Proud Babylonian. I, I saw the uh, Babylonian. I don't know why I can't fucking say your name. What's this logo that you have in the Discord? What's this about? It's a. It's like a. It's symbolism. It's a. Okay. It's the sun. And it's it's magic. It's magic in the sun. Oh, that. Oh, right. That right there. Yeah. That's the space. That's the space force. What the fuck? So what's the what's the space, space force? force? What is that? It's the future. It's a it's the prophetic future. It's what's about to happen, my man. <laughs> you got to tell me more about. That. So, so <laughs> the bears are going to space. Space bears. Well, I, I hate to uh, uh, have to say, but I'm a broke ass nigger, and I need fucking money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be telling everything for fucking free. So wait, wait. So what's oh. the value? Of, if you tell us, is this like something that we're really gonna have to know in the future? No, dude, dude, people are fucking stupid. People, stupid motherfuckers don't need to know nothing, dude. <laughs> Proud, I really just have to say this. It really looks like a patch on a Star Trek member on the Enterprise. You know what I mean? It just got that shape to it. It's I think like, Anne H is finger I, blasting I, I herself. Didn't come up with, I didn't come up with it. So, just shit, don't blame me. I didn't come oh, up I'm with it. I'm blaming you, brother. It just looks like something on George Takai's outfit when he's fucking walking around the starship grabbing the fucking crew members' asses on the fucking ship, bro. But do you know where it came from? I'm not sure, bro. I know where. Actually, I know where it came from. This is the NH and Mike H's throw rug where they lay down and have sex on. Whoa, that's, that's why it's all white and just. It's true. It's true. That's oh. Mike's load. That's Mike's load all over it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so this is what is it called? Space what? It's a Huggy it's bear. A, it's a space force. Space uh, force. It's from the space force. Okay. Is that a movie or is that like some book or is it like like? It's the U.S. military. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, it's a unit patch. Hmm. Yeah, Tropic Tom's a veteran. He knows about this stuff. So it's a unit patch. Yes. Okay. I see. So this is the the seventh Grizzlies or something, and it's holding a it's holding a key. Hmm. And we're going from one star to the next. Hmm. So Tropic Interste- Tom is Tom interstellar is travel. Interstellar traveling space bears. <laughs> they are the they are the key. Hey, you tropic tropic Thomas smart. Hey. He is. 
That's why you keep him around. Very smart. Interesting. <laughs> is, it, is he hot? Is he getting warm? Yeah, dude. It, it mm. looks He's like it. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like something that should be on a Ouija board. Something really fucking spiritual and very meaningful. I mean, I, I'm just mesmerized by it. I, see I don't it. know they're what to say. They're traveling from one star to the next, and the space bear has holds the key. Oh, Wait, so so Moss was talking about gay sex. So two joints didn't say anything about gay sex? <laughs> I have gay Exit. sex with two joints. Exit only here, brother. Exit yeah, only. Yeah, two, two, oh. two joints, two joints has, has no background in that field. Absolutely none. But but he's willing to willing to experiment. Well, Moss doesn't either. I don't think. But he was just joking. Only one. Well, time. I look like Moss. Like fuck, the dude looks like Chris Hemsworth. No wonder he's got a. Hobby. I was just, I was just wondering, did, did two man. joints make any jokes like that? Oh, I got jokes. I got jokes. Oh, I don't mean. Like, I'm just saying, just then, the just lady? then. Because somebody said about like, gay sex right then, right? Didn't they? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Nice. Okay, oh, well, I got a Moss? quick joke for you, proud. If you just want to hang out for two seconds and you can let somebody else in. Yeah, I'm going to bounce been, soon, actually. But yeah, I, I've, uh, I've been watching. I don't, a lot dude, of... I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying. I think it's fucking funny. I think it's fucking funny. But I still, I will fuck. I like to fuck with people hard if they want to get fucked with. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I like well, that. Well, proud. I just want to say something really quick. I've been watching a lot of reality television, and there's a show called The Osbournes. It's Ozzy Osbourne, Ozzy Osbourne and his wife. And Sharon's so hard up to get her pussy licked. She told Ozzy the other day, if I shave my pussy in, into a vat, will you lick it for me, honey? Oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, I had to get out. I had to. I had to get out of there. Two joints. Come on. What's going on? If you want to jump in, he's got a, a link. <laughs> that, was, that was a weird vortex. Very nice. Very nice. But if you want to jump in, the Streamyards link is in the Discord. Just jump in. Go check it out. <laughs> the best. Oh my God. I did not expect to, to jump into that world, but it was it was fascinating. I think this proud Babylonian guy is fucking funny, man. He's 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 got a lot of things going on. He's got the space bear. He's getting wrecked. My man knows what's up. Okay, so we so we're accomplishing a lot tonight. You couldn't get in, so yeah. So with Streamyard, you have the ability to just kind of you know pick and choose who you want to get in. So I guess there were a bunch of people. I did see some people in, a, in the chat trying to get in. <laughs> he has an IQ of a potato. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I don't know, but he was full of personality. It was He didn't even know what the hell was going on. He didn't even know he was live. Like He had no idea. That was pretty funny. He dropped it in Discord, so I'm assuming that he wanted guests. He wanted people to come in. But the, 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 the thing that made me scratch my head was the... Like... He didn't even know if he was streaming on YouTube. He didn't know what was going on. Well, you, 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 what was you, the N-word? Like, what the fuck, bro? You should have just changed the name. Like, what the fuck? You would have got right in. Oh, my God. I didn't expect that tonight. Like, that kind of threw me for a loop. I think I might have to change from... Uh, what's it called? Skype to StreamYard. I think it is a little, it is very easy to get people in. And, um, I, I like Skype because you get like an actual, like you get a contact in Skype. Like you, if you have their email or their Skype ID, like if I wanted to, I can fucking call Aljamain Sterling. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a direct line to him. I like that. I like to have that option without having to get the fucking phone number and shit. With StreamYard, you're just sending out like this weird link. But it is a lot easier to bring people in. All you gotta do is just drop a link and that's it. You're, you're away you go. But that was interesting. What did you think of that? <laughs> that's why you gotta tune into Not The MMA Holes. You gotta hit the notification bell. You never know. You never know what the fuck's gonna happen. Oh, god damn it. I just hope he doesn't send the space bear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the space bear... You did a good job <laughs> figuring that out though. It actually made sense what you said when you look at the picture. Oh, that's funny. You know what we needed? We needed D-Rest in there. D-Rest would have been amazing, especially with the Space Bear. He would have had it all figured out. Oh, man. Okay, I'm losing. <laughs> that was fucking funny, man. I don't know. The guy's... The guy, see, that guy's a character. You know, Proud Babylonian, he's been... He's been around our community 
for it's got to be at least five years it's got to be almost since the beginning he's been around forever i've seen that name a lot in our chat for many years so it's kind of weird you know interacting with him for the first time after like what five or six years however long he's been watching he's probably like what the fuck just happened everyone bounced out of the call he's probably like what the fuck happened you should stay in the call guys if you want to keep talking he's a fascinating dude but I don't know what the hell was going on. I like that he didn't know what was going on. He was he drinking tomato sauce? <laughs> what was he drinking? <laughs> tomato sauce and Corona or some shit? Okay. The devils. These filthy little devils. It did look like a Star Trek symbol. <laughs> that weird shape. So a military thing. I wonder, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Space bears. <laughs> oh god, make a new Discord. Yeah, we'll we'll do some more open. That, that's enough alive. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough open chat for a while. But um, we'll do it again for sure. I could just take so much of it, you know. <laughs> it, it was funny. It was pretty something funny. But my brain can only take so much at this hour of the evening. Real whole members. Pulse, he wanted to get back in. Pulse is just chilling in the background. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm coming. I, I, I feel like, like anytime I experience like calls like that, like it's, it's. I, I feel like, I feel like I'm high. Like I feel like there's something going on. Like. He, everyone, it's so weird. There's there's so many interesting characters in this world, and when you start talking to them, it's it's fascinating, you know. And I gotta be honest, he seemed like a nice guy. He actually he seems surprisingly nice. You like JBM's picks? Good, good. I'm glad you liked her picks. I think that little segment that Jesse's doing, I think that's a really good idea. I've been wanting Jesse to do something like that for a while, so I'm happy. And that was all her idea. Like she, she just went into a room, locked herself in there, and put that out. So, for a first attempt at an upload like that, like it does, it's like vintage what she used to do before. I like the fact. I know maybe this is crazy, but I, I kind of like the fact that she didn't curse that much. You know, it actually sounded like kind of professional. Like it was, it was good. You know, we do. We curse. We curse way too much when we're live. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but like if you do like a pre-recorded bit like that and is like limited cursing and it comes across as like kind of professional, it looks good. I think the channel could use that because we are nonsense all the other times. My ankle's so itchy, these mosquitoes. Have you ever felt personally disrespected by me? Or my me my squad members? Who the fuck are your squad? I don't even know. Who are your squad members? <laughs> who are they? <laughs> squad members. I don't even know who your squad members are. I gotta be honest with you. Kevin's never really bothered me. Like, like we've had our our uh, debates on air and stuff like that, and I've I've been frustrated on the phone, but just opinion wise, I never really I don't really have a bad thing to say about Kevin. I think you need calls like Kevin. I like when the chat starts groaning when he calls. I, I, I think it's good. He's like a heel. But you know what? You know what? The funny part is like some of the things he says. It's, it's like, sometimes it's truth you don't want to hear. You know, <laughs> or truth that shouldn't be said. You know. So, sometimes you agree, sometimes you disagree. But hey, at least he's honest about his opinion. I don't hate it. Uh-oh. Okay. I got to get a goal, man. What the fuck? Why am I playing so shitty? Ever happened between Kevin from Chicago and 16-year-old? What are you talking about? Glove touch? Glove touch is doing his own thing. He's being a kid, you know? <clears throat> He's doing kid things. I'm actually glad glove touch is, you know... 
Because he was so engulfed. Like, I liked when Glove Touch was in here. Like, he was... He was funny. But I'm glad he's being a kid, too, you know? He's not... Constantly here. In a squad. Tropic Tom, d Rest, Damn Savage, Kainoto, and Sean. Oh, that's the squad. Look at that. That's the squad. KFC is all right. He's winning. <laughs> He's winning them over. Uh, yeah. But I think Love Touch was looking for, you know, like he did the thing with Chrome. He liked, he liked uh, getting into the banter with people, right? Good content. <clears throat> okay, let's score a goal. How's the how the devil's playing so good? Shoot it, piss him off. Monday night shows as of now, no, we're doing them during the day, and I probably will open up phone lines during the day. I know it's it's tricky with people at work and stuff like that, but we will have night shows where we'll have call-ins. It's just not going to be uh, Mondays for now. Oh, shit. We got to be a little bit more strategic. Like, some people like the calls. But um, I got to be honest with you. Like, sometimes, it, whether it's tough getting people to call in, it's tough for us to all kind of stay on a topic. And I think it kind of hurts for some reason. I don't know. I, I just feel like... It's got to be during like a super hot topic. You know what I'm saying? Like a topic we're all on board. We're all interested. We all want to get our opinions out. If it's just a regular show and we're just kind of recapping and shit like that, we kind of get all over the place. You know what's funny? Kevin actually stays on topic. I got to get I got to give Kevin credit. Like It's like I'm sucking off Kevin right now, but he does. He stays on topic. If we had a bunch of people doing that, it would make more sense, but you know, more it's like, "Hey, how's the family doing?" <laughs> no one wants to hear that. You know? Hey, the weather's like this now. You know, like it turns into that, and it's nice. It's nice to hear from the people, but, you know, at the same time, I would like to keep a momentum. You know, that's why we do these shows. I mean, at least we can kind of just talk about regular shit. Oh, shit. Fucking A, man. I can't, I can't score for nothing. The other game, I scored nine goals. The fritter must be. Messing up my, my hockey skills. The apple fritter. All right, here we go. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Why are we all bunched up? To the point. Ah. Ah. Angul. He's a good contributor. Let's all massage Kevin's head. <laughs> no, well, yeah, I shit on Kevin more than anything. Think about it. Like, usually I'm shitting on Kevin, right? Usually I'm, like, I'm, I have a different opinion. I call him whatever. I'll hang up on him. But, um, you know, what am I going to do? I, I can't, I'm not going to constantly shit on the guy. There's some truth to how I think. <laughs> yeah, two joints raccoon escapades. I mean, yeah, like the OGs want to hear it for sure. You know, like we all we all get a kick out of it. I get a kick out of it. But like I said, you know, is it really good for the program? You know, maybe in time we'll have, you know, enough of a following where it doesn't fucking matter what the hell we do. That'd be nice. Oh, shit. Let's go. But the beauty of Discord is... Like, you guys can, you know, have your own little, like, um, chats and, and video calls and shit like that. So, that's fucking cool, man. I like that. I like the Discord. Discord does nothing for us, really. I mean, the only thing that's cool about it is, like, when you guys do the memes, that helps to show out tremendously. That's really cool. You know, we get to dive in there and look at, like, some of the funny shit you guys do. I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, or if, like, if we have to get a story or something like that, or if something breaks and someone has the, the scoop on it, Discord is very helpful with that. But at the end of the day, it's all about keeping the community together outside of our streams, you know? So, so that is nice. Stick position. I got a score, bitch! 
Oh, shit, I hit the post. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Here we go. Oh, dude, did you see that fucking save? Uh, multi-party chat. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, I don't care. I don't even know how that works. Right? You could have... A, can't you have, like, a sub chat in the Discord where you guys can all just, like, chime in? I, I guess you could do that. Yeah, I have no problem with that. But here's the problem. Yeah, like, you do have... You have your lurkers that are just there to fuck with people. So you do have that, unfortunately. Maybe if you do, I don't know, invite only type deal. I have no idea how you can do it. But yeah, if you, Tropic, if you have the ability to do that with the mod, fucking A, let's go. <laughs> Prepare for the end of times. Yeah, I don't see why it would be bad. I mean, but yeah, AIDS can get in there. You know, but I think some of you guys, right? You guys are DMing each other and shit, like on the side, and got little like side things going on. So that it's kind of cool. Hearns is like Hearns is the fucking man. I see him fucking sending shit and sending computers to people and fucking ordering takeout. I mean, it, it's it's so cool to see that shit. Like people helping each other out in the Discord. That's badass. It makes it worth it, you know. Oh, shit. Fuck. You know what's funny? So, I got sidetracked. I was going to Kainoto's meme. I was going to Kainoto's meme, and, and I, I round up, wound up in that fucking Babylonian chat. So, let me go back to... <laughs> originally where I was going. Yeah, so <laughs> Kainoto <laughs> slid this in here. And somehow I went from this. Hold on. I went from <laughs> I went from this picture. <laughs> this picture Kainoto sent to that fucking Babylonian chat. That was a weird segue. Oh man. Alright, I'm down two zip. What the fuck? I gotta, I gotta wake up. All right, here we go. Third period. I am down two zip. It's time for the comeback of all comebacks. Here we go. Smash him against the board. Smushy. What the hell? Get the puck. You can't just smash him and not get the puck. Whoa. Why are the devils beating the snot out of me? Kick it around the boards. Give it around the road. Smash it. Okay. Oh shit. Is that icing? Get, get skate. It's cool. His wrench was saved, but uh, did he admit that he was fucking stupid? It was fucking stupid. What are we talking about? Boy, oh boy, man. How do I drop nine goals in the last game and I can't score one in this game? Hold on, Jesse's coming in. You could jump in? Oh. Oh. Okay. Friday the 13th, I should have played that game. I should have played Michael Myers' game. Oh! Discord's going to hell. Alright, so let's see what he did. All right, new activated uh, nitro. I don't know. I don't know what nitro is. All right, so what did he do? Complaints department? Is that it? Compl is is it the complaints department? I don't know. How do I get out of this? Man, I don't even know how to use Discord. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. So if you go into the complaints department, okay. 
So you can have like a group chat in there. That's that's cool. All right. All right. So I see Tropic in there. Perfect. All right. So on the side of Discord, guys, if you want to chat away, it's named after two joints. You could jump right over here, courtesy of Tropic Tom, the complaints department. So jump on in there and chat away. Here's more of the, um, hmm. Okay. Here we go. Very nice. Uh, game streamers do members only things like community games because members are less likely to try and sabotage things. Yeah. So when we open it back up, members always get first dibs. So when we open it back up, we'll definitely do that for wonderful, sure. Wonderful. Like among us and stuff like that. Libcucks on Twitter forcing me to defend Dolio because he said women shouldn't put themselves in vulnerable situations to minimize possibility of assault. They perverted his message into him being a rape supporter or something. Typical Twitter BS. That's all. Oh, it's Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Okay, I'll, I'll be done in a sec. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so are you going? Yeah, they're right. Uh, Aljo. I mean, Aljo is, um, yeah, he's getting fucked over, man. They're just bending his what he said to to fit this stupid victim mentality. It's nuts, man. It's bad when you got Kevin from Chicago coming to the defense, right? Got rid of that weird, weird, weird vent man voice. It's pretty bad when you got Kevin defending Aljo. But. Yeah, Aljo's getting done dirty. So I was watching, I was watching Aljo's like little vlog for the Andrew Tate situation. Like he was on his yacht. Beauty, beauty. Went one way, shot the other way. We split the lead in half. So Andrew Tate has this yacht. Like everyone's running around with Andrew Tate in Abu Dhabi, and you know, I'm really weirded out because. These UFC fighters are going to Abu Dhabi. They're fighting on like the biggest card of the year. And it's just like this weird, like I feel like they're more, like everything is pushing their podcasts and their social media and all this stuff. And it's like not about the fight as much. It's basically who they're hanging out with and what fancy cars they're driving. And like it's so distracting. It's so weird. Like the whole thing doesn't feel... I don't know. I'm curious with Aljo too. Like, is he just, he's fighting with people on Twitter. He's hanging on, on yachts with Andrew Tate. He's trying to cut weight. People are drinking all around him, dancing and partying, and he's there guzzling water. And I'm saying to myself, should he, me, meanwhile, you see TJ in the fucking gym getting yoked. Like, where's that picture of TJ? I feel so confident about this TJ pick. I still have to wait for the face off and all that stuff. And, I'll listen to the press conference. But while Aljo is... And Aljo is in great shape. Don't get me wrong. He looks he looks good too. But you're hanging out on these yachts. You're driving the cars. You're doing this. You're doing that. You're talking about your podcast. And you're uploading your YouTube videos. And then you got this motherfucker. Just getting all, all shredded and shit. Damn, man. Fucking A, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this Aljo situation. I don't think Aljo's going to win. TJ is an under. Not looking bad. But it, it feels weird. Does anyone get that? Like, I'm watching this stuff. I'm like, they're all like Andrew Tate and and vlogs. And it's almost kind of like these fighters have to be podcasters. Like, it's like they'd rather be doing what I'm doing. Like it's so weird. Like like Randy Brown, for instance. Like when he's being interviewed at the media, he keeps pumping his his podcast. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, here I am watching you guys fight in the cage. Like you are the guys. Like you're the professional athletes. You're the celebrities. What the fuck do you want to do? What we're doing. Like it's. I mean, I guess because you sit here and do nothing. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. You just sit and talk to people. A lot easier than getting beat up in a cage. But it's almost like. It's 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 almost like these UFC fighters rather be YouTubers. Like it's bizarre. So bizarre. Meanwhile, we're kind of like idolizing them and becoming fans of them and they're kind of fans of us because they're trying to do what we're doing. It's really weird. It's a weird fucking world. The clock just runs out on you, you run out of time. Number 50. Andrew gains the zone from the right. 
I mean, I guess what it is, it's, it's life after fighting, right? They got to set themselves up on social media, make sure their platforms are big. This way, they can talk into a mic and make some money off of it. But sometimes I feel like they're focusing more on their podcast and more on their social media than actually fighting. I mean, I guess you could say the same thing about Sean O'Malley, too. Like, the guy's playing Warzone and growing his YouTube audience. Oof, I just missed it again. Going for that same corner. His glove side. Oh. Go, 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 go. Split. Oh, that's a penalty. It's not a penalty? Come on. Come on, Ali. Oh, by the way, Ronda Rousey, I'm <laughs> in the beginning of her last gaming stream, I popped in the chat real quick, and she immediately addressed us. She thinks we're just like a bunch of fucking trolls. She's calling us the MMA moles. Like, she's got some, I guess, I'm assuming, come on, Ronda might have got to her. <laughs> she might, she might have seen it. Something happened, or one of our fucking streams, something got out there and she saw it, because if you saw the reaction she gave me today... I was like, okay, this interview's gone. Like, I triggered her in some way. I mean, I can see how come, come on Ronda <laughs> could be. <laughs> come on Ronda donation could be the one. But she, yeah, she kind of right off the bat addressed us as the MMA moles and kind of like rolled her eyes. I'm like, what the fuck? What did I do, Ronda? What did I do that was so wrong? Chill. Chill, kid. So. <laughs> yeah, be offended. The MMA moles. Meanwhile, doesn't she have a bunch of moles on her face? She's got a bunch of things on her face. I don't know what that. Uh oh. Oh, dude. You can't be shooting shit. Why? We're down, bro. Oh, fuck. That was a goal. That was a goal that was wasted. Come on. Come on. Skate. What the fuck? I just ran right into. Two seconds. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, on a YouTube channel. If you go to her last YouTube video, like right in the beginning of her stream, she addressed us again. I also have on the Twitter, like the first time we went back and forth, and she was kind of cool with us because I sent a donation. But she thinks, I don't know, she thinks like we're something like some toxic community or something. Uh, so I I would have to assume she's seen something that, I mean, we've had, I've I've always been very supportive of, supportive of Rhonda. Like I've always defended her. As like, you know, like pioneer of the sport and all this shit. I've always done that. I've argued with the chat so many times about it. But I also criticized her of how she handled her loss. Like I did. Because she handled it like shit. And if she, and that bothered her, if that was one of the things that drove her nuts, then, then fuck her. You know. I'm just like shooting it. Just hoping it goes in. Oh, shit. I'm trying to make it... Yeah, she might be too sensitive to do something with us. It's a shame. Because I've always I've always been like a fan of Rhonda. Just I just had a problem how she handled the losses. And maybe come on Rhonda donations too much. I don't know. I think it's tasteful. Fuck I lost. Few people have huge egos and just want more. Also every man and his dog wanna have something to say and be seen doing it. I was a massive hater of yours until I became woke, so I get both sides. At least I'm honest. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Lil Seal, didn't you come from, you know, Smelly Beanie? Didn't you come from that guy? Does LeBron make uh, the playoffs again? I don't know. I hope not. She has a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, right, Lil Seal? Isn't that, didn't you come from... I think you did. I, I can't remember. And you've been alright. You've been hanging with the boys. Been part of the crew. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Look at these moves. <laughs> Damn. I got to score two goals in one minute and 25 seconds. Here comes one. I'm screw up. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get it. Get it. Oh, fuck me in the asshole. 
So yeah, it's a bummer, man. You know, it's probably my fault that Ronda's not coming on, but I just want to know the reason. Just like with Aljamain Sterling, like we had him on twice. I feel like it went all right. The second interview, I had like audio problems and shit, it's like little technical problems, and then the donators were coming in. I wasn't pausing it, letting those go through. So maybe he felt disrespected. I just want—I would love to have like just a reason. I don't want to come on your show. You're an asshole. Oh, okay, cool. I'd be—I'd be completely fine with that. Uh, I don't want to go on your show. Your fucking community's toxic. Okay, fine. Just give me an excuse. Give me a reason. Don't be such a pussy. <laughs> Former smelly peony associate. All right. Well, hey man, listen. It's good to see you here. You've been a nice. You've been a nice addition. I like when I see people, reoccurring people in the chat. Seem like a good, a good. Good fella. I lost. One and one. YouTube on their bullshit again. I had to fix my notifications back to all. In Wait a second. It's the second one in the stream. Dude, this is what I'm saying. Like, I had a long conversation with YouTube and the same fucking. Th so, what did they do, Michigan? Would they unselect your uh, bell? I had, I had an hour plus conversation with, with Google literally yesterday. People are constantly reaching out to us about the notifications. I hate that, man. We have 66,000 subscribers on our main channel. And we're getting, like, limited notifications. They changed it. See, this is bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, see, these these streams were very random. At least with our main channel. Like, if if, if you're a regular on the main channel, you basically know when we're live, you know? It's, it's very consistent. You know, unless, like, fights are at a different time or something. But. Yeah, see, man? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna raise hell. I don't know, what, like, you can't speak to, like, someone on the phone. You gotta do everything through, like, text chat. <laughs> it was hard to find them, Waldo. It's so crazy, man. I mean, this channel I don't care too much because it's just us playing games and just doing stupid shit. Although, if you missed our open, you know, StreamYard call that happened earlier, that wasn't planned. That might be worth a, a run back. That was pretty funny. <clears throat> Silly. So, I lost the game. I won one, I lost one. And I lost a division one against the Devils. Don't like that. I do see the irony, uh, the iron, the irony of my comment you just read out. Wait, hold on a second. Which comment are we talking about? Oh, the huge egos. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know. I'm, it's like I said. I'm fucking. I don't know what anyone's talking about. She blatantly disrespected us and uh, said we lives in holes. Oh, did you go and listen? I saw Rousey's stream. She. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she seemed very cold, right? I I just left the chat. I was like, I can't. I'm not gonna play this game. I'm not gonna. Are you trying to bait me to donate or something? Like, what are you like? What are you trying to do? You want me to suck your tit? Like, you want me to fucking lick your clam? Like, what are we doing here, Rhonda? I I can't. Like, I don't want to fucking sit there and suck her off and constantly like trying to. Oh, come on, come on, my podcast. Oh, blah, 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 blah. We we threw it out on Twitter. You ignored it. We move on. Come on, Rhonda. The come on, Rhonda donation lives. Two teams looking start for a win, and we are set to go. Oh, you didn't get the notification either. And you got everything. You have like all. All right, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna get on a live chat with them again. Tampa Bay Lightning. Good team over here. Okay, let's try. Let's try to win this one against a, a solid, a solid team, a team that knocked us out of the playoffs last year. Re revenge, even though they got their revenge this season. This is my revenge. Oh fuck! See, this is. Oh man, I got my backup goalie in. <laughs> I gotta win this game with my backup goalie. Oh my god, he just leveled me. Stamkos, you little shithead. That's right, right off my skate, mother. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I have no room. I have nowhere to go. I have, I, oh. Get through. Get that fucking rebound, bitch. Oh, shit. Missed the poke. No, you don't. You got nothing. You got nothing right there. You got nothing, bitch. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got fast paced uh, beginning to this game. Oh, you and your blocking. Blocking bitch. I hope you broke your kneecap on that block. Yeah, this is this is a fast paced game over here. These guys are these guys are fucking flying on. Keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving. I like action. Oh, that was probably a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, there we go. Skate, 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 skate. Skate Sonora. The young kid, Lafreniere. Oh, skate. Oh, smooth, baby. Did O'Malley ever respond? Uh, I don't remember what the fuck we said to O'Malley. I hit up O'Malley in an email, actually. And nothing. But then again, he I did hit him up. He's He was close to this this fight over here, so I probably should hit him up another. I could literally just like show up at his gym if I wanted to, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not begging. I didn't get the notification for this channel. I'm sub to, uh, to sub to, but YouTube is now giving me notification if channels I'm not even sub to that started this week. She's mad. The name uh, MMA and not WWE. She blatantly disrespected us and said we live in holes. So that uh, anyone else having notification issues? Hit him with the coop de loop. What's the difference between toilet paper and toast? Toast is brown on both sides. Is there going to be a real press conference uh, for 280 or was the virtual event? No, there's a real one. It's so fucking early. We put it on Twitter, actually. Little Seal, follow us on Twitter at the MMA Holes. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. MMA Holes. It's probably going to be like 7 in the morning for us. So, here you go. Like, everyone is on this thing. So, yeah, we're literally going to stream it at 7 in the morning. We'll play the audio like we usually do. We can't play the, uh, the video, unfortunately. But we can play the audio. We get away with that. So, yeah. So, it's like 6 p.m. GST. Which would be 7 a.m. Pacific time. And what, 8, 9, 10. Uh, yeah, so 10 a.m. Eastern time. But uh, everyone, Sean Brady Bilal's even on it. Caitlin Chukagian, Fioro. Gamrat Dariush. Like, I mean, they got the whole fucking... It's going to be... I don't know how they're going to do this. I don't know how they're going to fit all these people on the stage. It sounds very AIDSy. He's got his hands full of yawn this weekend. He does. You know, I was listening to O'Malley's interview on, was it BT Sports? And O'Malley is missing, like, you know, people are saying, oh, you know, if he if he beats him, it's like when Connor beat Al, Aldo. First of all, I mean, it's not because that was for the fucking belt. You know, I understand this is right there and it's as big. This is massive. Um, But no, it's not like that. When O'Malley, he he has confidence, but the things I don't like is this. I prepared for, uh, you know, to go all 15 minutes. You know, there's like doubt. Like he says, he keeps saying that he's confident, but then like you hear the doubt. If it goes the distance, if he takes me down, if he does this, if he does that. You know, he says if, if, if. When you had guys like Connor that would just come and say, I am going to fucking smoke him. Like, if it works for O'Malley, great. But as a fan, like I kind of miss the person that looks the reporter in the eye or looks the camera right in the lens and says, I'm going to fucking take this guy out. There's not going to be a fucking second round. There's not going to be a third round. There's not going to be a fourth, fifth, whatever, you know, round, how many rounds it is. With O'Malley, you don't get that. It's like, uh, well, I prepared for like three rounds. So if it goes the distance, then I'll, you know, I'll go. I don't like that. 
It's the only knock I have on him. I wish we could just, I wish he could just look the fucking, I'm going to knock this muck, like this motherfucker out. He puts on his gaming streams. I, you know, I knock out Jan in seven days. Uh, I yeah, like, he's trying to put that out there, but when he's being interviewed, it's just, I, I hear doubt. I'm still going to pick. Well, we'll see. We'll see how the face-off goes, but I'm still leaning towards uh, Sugar. I kind of want to see if he can fucking do it. But um, I want to believe in him, but it's tough. I look at him as a Twitch uh, streamer who moonlights as a cage fighter. Yeah, I think his heart... Like, I, Here's the thing, though. I do think he takes it very serious. He, You could tell he trains super hard, and he. I think he does take it serious. My only question is, like, it, how much does he believe in himself? I don't like how Brady at the uh, bottom watch him become champ. I tell you, people. A lot of people are picking Bilal. Bilal. I I, I watched a little bit of Will Harris's uh, documentary. By the way, you guys watching that? Anatomy of a Fighter. <laughs> Will's got this guy now that chimes in. He's like, uh, "Let me tell you about this. Uh, the uh, Islam Makachev is going to be fighting, and he's coming out of an amazing camp. Like I don't know. It's like this." James Earl Jones voice that he's like, I guess he has his voice guy when we have Will says he's going to come on after 280 when he comes back. So I, I got to find out who the fuck this guy is. Like they say the name. I don't know who this guy is. He's like, oh, yes, but uh, <laughs> and every time the guy starts talking like I, I'm so distracted, but I like it. I'm just very distracted by this guy just out of nowhere. Just just chiming in like it's a National Geographic's video. Oh, uh, yes. Sean O'Malley is going to be Habib Namaga made off may fuck goats but let me tell you Habib is going to be in that corner and with that being said his if you watch the anatomy of a fighter now compared to like 3 or 4 years ago I mean he has gotten so much better so Will is he's he's good man Will's really you can see the massive difference in his uh, documentaries. But yeah, I was watching that and Bilal's training with Habib and now I'm like kind of questioning my Sean Brady bet, like pick. I'm not going to bet on that fight. I think I'm still leaning towards Sean, but I do like that Bilal is hanging out with Habib and the boys. Like he is all in. And you know, you're, you're in that crew. You're, you're in good company, you know? So that's something to look out for. Bilal is training with Habib. Got all the neck beards together. It's interesting. And wasn't Josie Aldo undefeated at the point? Yeah, Josie Aldo was the boogeyman. Like at 145, Scarface, Jose was unfucking beatable. Unbeatable. Connor going in there and starching him in 13 seconds and taking his belt. And the whole press lead up to that was just dude, it was nuts. That was fucking. That was a crazy time, man. That was that was a really crazy. This here with Sean O'Malley and, and Peter Yan, it's massive. If Sean wins, but it, I mean, your number, I don't know. It's it, I just, it's not the same. And how Dana White compares that is just like, dude, you're 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 not fooling me. Chocolate rain. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. That's talking, but he has a beautiful voice. We're up one zip. I'm just rambling. That's what happens when I get to this hour. And I, I'm living off of my apple fritter and coffee. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, Mari. Okay, so one zip, good start. Let's let's pad the. Uh, oh, here it comes. Oh shit! I passed to the wrong guy. That wasn't the guy I wanted. That nah, wasn't the guy I wanted. Ah oh, shit! Bad poke. Sit on it. Sit on my face. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. If Dillashaw wins, will he call out Cejudo for a proper rematch? I, I hate that TJ lost to Henry. I hate it. Like, it drives me nuts. I don't know why, but it, it, it kills me that TJ lost that fight. That'd be funny. He calls out Henry Sudo. 
You know, I, I was talking to Jess. We were at the park today. It's so weird, right? Like, we're with the baby. We're trying to spend time with the baby at the park. And then we had this, like, debate about Volkanovski and uh, who he should fight next. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> like, it's so weird. We're having a parenting moment, and we're having, like, this debate at the park about Volkanovski. <laughs> it's so odd. Yeah, yeah God. Um, and I told her, maybe it's a hot take. It's probably not the majority. But I said, hear me out. I said, I'd rather see Volk. And I know Dana White saying, you know, Volk is next in line for whoever um, wins the 155. And I get it because, you know, if he doesn't fill in on short notice, he has a full camp to train for one guy, not as bad. But I said, I said, maybe I'm crazy, but there you go, bitch. I'd rather see, I'd rather see Volkanovski fight Cejudo. I'm sorry. Cejudo get in the testing pool, comes back at 145, and it gives Cejudo that opportunity. I'm not saying who Cejudo is going to win, but Cejudo has an opportunity to fucking have three belts, three different weight classes. Why not? I'd rather see that than Volk versus Islam, Volk versus Charles, because I don't want Volk to lose. I'm not saying that Volk can't beat those guys, but I'm, I'm saying that I'd rather see Volk stay undefeated, and, and if Volk does lose, like, it'd be crazy if he lost to Cejudo. Like, that'd be nuts. I don't think he does lose to Cejudo. But he gets a chance to shut up Henry, you know, run in his mouth, and Henry has a chance to be fucking triple champ. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm nuts, but Jesse is with the norm, like with Volk going up to 155 and fighting those guys. I'd rather Henry. Call me crazy. And who knows? Henry's probably never going to come back, but if he does, give me that. Volk makes me want to try a kangaroo meat burger. Look at this goal. My man fell down, gets up. Dude, this is a real man right there. See, this is why hockey's great. Look at this guy. Oh, you're going to show the angle from there? My man trips. They pass in the puck, he gets right back up, and then slaps one right past the goaltender. Like, that's a real man. It's a real man right there. Not many team sports, you get real men like that. Oh, shit. How am I up to zip on these guys? And I couldn't beat the Devils. Like, what the fuck is that about? Let's blow these mothers out. Oh, shit. Try to rip a slap shot in the worst possible way. Meme is up showing what uh, it would have been uh, like having Rondo on the show. <laughs> oh, God. Do I think Halloween ends is worse than Black Christmas? You know, I never seen Black Christmas. I never seen it. But Black Christmas is probably supposed to be a horrible movie, right? Whereas Halloween ends is supposed to be semi decent. You know, there's a lot of shitty movies out there. What I'm saying about Halloween ends is it's not supposed to be the best movie of all time, but it's supposed to be somewhat respectable. I mean, you know, they put some sort of effort into this thing and to completely shit the bed with this movie. I don't know. If you want my whole review, run back the stream. You know, someone was shitting on someone was shitting on our our people's memes, saying we don't have the best memes in the game. And then you see this shit over here. In real time, Kainoto dropping this gem. That person does not know what they're talking about. What's this? <laughs> what is this? Jesse puts a lot into her craft. Everything is on location. I was <laughs> saying that was the background. To Je <laughs> she was on the wall. <laughs> There's Jesse. There she is. She's up top. There she is right over there. Or is that Jesus? Is that Jesus or Jesse? Let's see. Let's get a little closer. Nice, Jesse. Very nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish, like, listen... Like these these people aren't obligated to come on our show. Like they they, they have no there's no like there's no nothing that says they have to do podcasts and stuff like that. But you know, you can handle it in a way. Just be like, no, nah, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just it's just not my thing. You know, no, you don't have to be a cunt. You don't have to. Just be you know, just just respond and say, hey, you know, 
sorry. I'm just not, you know, I'm not into that. Or just, you know, I'd rather them say I'm too big time. <laughs> I'd rather them just flat out tell me I'm just too big time. I would have more respect for people like Ronda Rousey to say, I'm I got a million fucking followers on my social media. I was the UFC. I was the woman that kicked down the door for women's MMA. Now here I am in WWE taking over that. I'm Ronda fucking Rousey. You think I'm going to go on your 66,000 subscriber show? That's peanuts. I don't go on a show like that. I would have so much respect if she just said that. But instead, she's like, oh, the MMA moles. <laughs> With her fucking hee-haw voice in her, you know. <laughs> I'm the Rousey. That crackly voice of hers. Richard Roper, 1.5 out of four stars, writing so-called finale of Michael Myers' saga is just stabbing metaphors, stabbing soap opera, stabbing marching band bullies, uh, stabbing and more stabbing. Yeah, I don't. I still don't even think there's enough stabbing. Molly moles, oh Molly moles, run the Rousey. That's gonna be my next bit. Wonderful, wonderful. That's gonna be my. <laughs> that's gonna be my next chill after chill. A ninety-year-old Jamie Lee Trenny going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a supernatural monster like my Myers. Yeah, that's a hard pass for me. <laughs> this franchise is just as good as Leprechaun to me. <laughs> did you? Kind of. Did you see it? Did you see the movie? My goodness, I would love to know what you thought about that movie. Thank you for the donation. It's bad. It's bad. I thought the last one wasn't good. This one. This one makes the last one look fantastic. It's bad. Halloween Mountains is a movie. I thought it was just a thumbnail. Uh, bad grammar uh, that I didn't get. Halloween Ends is a movie. Yes. I thought it was just a thumbnail. Bad grammar that I didn't get. <laughs> no, it's a movie. Yeah. Halloween Ends is an actual movie that just came out. The end of Halloween is predictable and easy to figure out. Lots of complaints in the complaint department. I knew this would be tr Are you guys in there? Let's see. Are oh, you guys bounced out? Uh, all right. Leave it there. We'll see. What do you think about Rob Zombie's Halloween movie? I hated them. Um, Yeah, it was eh. It wasn't that great. It sucks. House of a Thousand Corpses was good. But uh, his monster movie was... Oh, my God. We lasted five minutes. I was slightly offended by your D-Day meme. It was totally random. D-Day. Which which meme was it? It refreshed my memory. There's so many fucking memes. They all are D-Day memes. Equal white rights for beavers. Yeah, Devil's Rejects is okay. It's a fucked up, you know, it's a fucked up movie. I, I want to sit with Jess and, and watch the Devil's Rejects. <laughs> or the House of a Thousand Corpses. I, <laughs> I want to sit through that with Jesse and see what she says. Yeah, that was all right. Oh, the Mike Jackson. Uh, you were offended by it? Oh, well. Oh, shit. I just... Did you guys see that? Did you see I just scored on my own? I just... Check this out, guys. I got three goals. Two for me and one for them. Look at that move. <laughs> Oh my god. I just fucking scored on my own net. What the fuck's wrong with me? I was playing so good and that's what I do? Alright, here we go. You know, I'm so good that, like I said, I gotta score. I gotta score in their goal too. Got a little something to everything. You don't see other gamers doing that. I like to- Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Rebound, baby. Friendly fire. Paolo Costa loved the Mike Jackson D. Oh yeah, Paolo Costa! He, t he actually retweeted it. Yeah, Drunk Savage, Damn Savage put it on his social. Paolo, Paolo liked it. You should see how she condescends to wrestling fans. Yeah, it sucks, man. I, I, you know, it, I have fond memories of when Ronda was doing her thing, you know? When she was like on top of the game, just mutilating people. She was a beast, a badass. People were saying she could beat guys. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. And then, like, she started losing and became this other person. Like, it's so weird. You know what it is, though? 
It's she's got to be a prod. Like she didn't her father like die when she, he was young. I can't remember the story, but her father died or something like that. Like real young, and her mom was like fucking jumping in her bed and throwing her in arm bars, and like she had like a weird fucked up childhood. So she really had no chance. And Brennan Schaub, if Brennan Schaub says you have mental illness, that's not good. Because clearly he has mental illness. I know. Right? Papa? It's the final countdown. 3-1 Rangers on the Tampa Bay Lightning. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? I forgot it's Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I'm just existing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was going to drive to the net, but I knew I was going to get popped. She bought Nobody's Moss. A female hype train ended. Yeah, I, I tell you what, though. So, you got to remember, though. Like, women's MMA then... That was the best of the best, right? So, like, if you think about it, as we evolve and as sports evolve, it just gets better. Fighters get stronger and faster. In every sport, it's the same thing. So it's like, oh, who did she fight? Who did she fight? Ah, fuck that. She fought the best at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, she did. She fought the best of the best. At, you know, whatever, you know, it is what it is. So I don't That wasn't, you know, what she did for women's MMA is... Oh fuck! <laughs> My man, My man's like, he's like, let me lie on this shit. Definitely a pioneer for women's MMA. So you, you could never take that away from her. But how she handled loss losses were it was just brutal, man. I wanted to kill myself. Maybe I shouldn't do the Ronda interview if I ever want to. I mean, Ronda Ronda impersonation if I want to interview her. My goalie is hot right now. My backup goaltender is like a fucking brick wall. Uh-oh. I knew that wasn't going to work. I don't know why I did it. But the ultimate fighter really screwed her up. I, I wish she never did the ultimate fighter with Misha Tate. Because that like shed this light on her that just it just made her look really bad, very unlikable. Even Misha, I couldn't stand Misha in that either. The Ultimate Fighter was the reason why I couldn't stand Misha too. I wish they both didn't do that. Authorita, respect my authorita. Okay, boys, come on. Hockey. Skate, 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 skate. Oh, big boy on me. Uh-oh. Oh, missed the net once again. Just call me Team Missed the Net. Oh, gee. <laughs> As I missed the net again. You know, I see these open... Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ronda Rousey. Might be why she's not coming on. Come on, Ronda! Come on, Ronda! Come on, Ronda! Come on, Ronda! Very underrated donation. Ronda taught me everything I know about flossing and double slurping. Now I have pearly white teeth and half a million dollars <laughs> in my bank account. Thanks, Ronda. Tropic Tom with the $12. Come on, Rhonda. Thank you very much, Tropic Tom. Very generous. Thank you so much, man. Perfect. Perfect. That could be why she's not. Very possible. Very possible. I'm pretty sure if she saw that donation, she is calling us the MMA moles. <laughs> One of my most annoying impressions ever but I gotta be honest it, it sounds just like her I don't care what you say she's got that she's got a very unique voice like that's always crackling and 
It's like always breaking her voice. On top of, wow, my backup goaltender. He's not even on the team anymore. He's playing so good. Playing so good. Make the goalie do something. Oh, stop picking my pocket, you thief. Come on, Rhonda. That was like one of the first donations we ever made. Oh, she went to the backhand. I have no data to say she didn't fight the best of her day. That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, it's the best at the time, you know? Like, it's the best they can get for her. And when she was in strike force, she was mauling everybody, you know? Remember, she she owned Misha Tate. Misha, Misha fucking choked out Ronda, uh, what's it called? Holly Holm. So it's like, it's stupid. Like, I don't understand that. Misha Tate, a champion. And I was like, how was Holly's bitch? I mean, uh, Ronda's bitch. She was losing, oof. Losing that fight and wound up uh, submitting Holly home. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, Ronda, like, it's because of she's unlikable that people just find reasons to, you know, you know, kind of discredit what she's done. Stop. Just say you don't like her. That's fair. If you say you don't like her, I can't argue that. Because I don't like her either, man. Because she talks like this and she calls us the mouse. Okay. Shh. Come on, Rhonda. Chris, I blonde-haired uh, MMA hole hater. <laughs> uh, yes. But uh, thank you, two joints. I don't think I'm handsome, but thank you. Appreciate that. The check is in the mail. Oh boy. Oh, what did I do? Why can't I control anybody? Oh, oh there we go. Three one, third period. And <laughs> the one goal was from me. Like it should be shut out. I put it in the <laughs> put it in their net. Alrighty then. Alrighty. I want to thank everyone for showing up tonight. Appreciate it on a Tuesday night gaming stream. We have a nice, nice crowd tonight on our second channel. Always a pleasure. Just messing around over here. Oh, you see that goal? Did you see that? I've never scored a, goal, scored a goal like this. Look at this. He dragged that shit. Woo! How do you do that? I don't even know how to do that. That was nice. Oh, man. He just drags it in. Damn. That's that's nice for me to poop on. Okay, come on. Can't let this game. I want a face-off. If I win face-offs, look out. Wow, all my guys are on the floor. That's not good. All right, see, this is not good. I'm, I only got a one-goal lead now. Save it. And a beauty. Round the boards. Okay. Here we go. Go, Panarin. Big goal. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. The Rangers have been wow, just when I was in trouble. I thought I was in trouble. Beauty. That was a biggie. That was a biggie. Still 14 left in the period, so it's not over. Whoa. But insurance goals are nice. Panera Bread. Donation! Wonderful, wonderful. She was cool as long as she had the size advantage. Imagine a giant fridge walking into the cage against a petite girl. Chick has a huge ego. I used to talk to her all he time on Twitter when she had less than 1k followers. She is very condescending. 
Yeah, it's weird. One minute she'll sound like like a super sweetheart. Like the first time we were going back and forth on our YouTube channel, she was actually kind of nice. At first she was a little triggered, and then she became nice. And I don't know, she was all right. And then it's just weird. It's like it's she might be bipolar. It's bizarre because one minute she's super nice, and the next minute she's just like a cunt. Like it's it's bizarre. But Brendan Schaub alluded to it when he was talking to Sean Strickland on his food truck diaries. Like he's like she's got mental illness. Like he he, he flat out just threw her under the bus and said she has mental illness. So I mean, if anyone would know, it's someone that's sticking their penis in them, right? So that's probably what it is. She probably had a fucked up past. She's probably a severe head case. But um, how dare she not come on the other meals? How dare she? Call us the MMA moles. Thank you, Kainoto, for the donation. Appreciate that. You guys are wonderful, wonderful. I'm telling you, there was nothing like when Ronda was on the run, though. Like, just pay-per-view. I'm telling you, people that never even watched a UFC fight was like, Oh, Ronda's fighting tonight? I would go to barbecues and we would order the pay-per-view. And no one would pay attention until Ronda fought. And then everyone would leave outside, go inside, and gather around the TV. 90% of the people don't even watch the fucking UFC, and they would watch Ronda. So, I mean, you know, she it was it was crazy. That time was nuts with Ronda. I tell you, it might have been... I'm trying to think if it was bigger than, like, when Connor... I mean, I, I don't know. It was pretty big. Uh-oh. I mean, Con Connor holds all the pay-per-view numbers and stuff like that, but still, it just, it just felt... Oh, shit. You know, when people are saying that she could beat up Floyd Mayweather and shit like that, like people like Joe Rogan was saying this shit. Like people are buying into the craziness. That's nuts. <laughs> she looks like she might be a bit stinky. Yeah, I get that. Promo code MMA holes. Go. Carl, uh, Tom is playing a little, little poker. That's cool, man. Listen, I tell you what, it's fun. It is fun. Jesse likes playing it. That game. She plays a lot. My dad loves it. He's my dad's obsessed with that game. But there's so many poker games that you can play. Old Texas Hold'em games that are fun. That just one's like, it's so basic and simple. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh. We're going we're gonna to draw a penalty here. Oh, shit. Eight minutes left in the period. 5-2. New York Strangers. Georgiev. Go! Yeah, so smile. I got to see that movie, Smile. How the fuck did the... How did the Devils smash me so hard? And I'm just destroying the... I don't understand. How am I destroying the lightning when the Devils killed me? You're up 10 million? What the fuck? 10 million? Are you playing big tournaments? Are you playing... Um, Jesus Christ. How the fuck you up 10... That's like my dad, too. Like, I don't know. My dad plays so much. He's up a couple... Like, it's like a crazy number. 10 million. Jeez. That's, that's un fuego. Are you playing like the small tournaments? Are you playing... If you have patience in playing those small tournaments, it's, those are easy to win. The big one's tricky. Oh. Didn't take long. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's a crazy man. Is it going to be a gateway? Or are you going to start gambling? And <laughs> he's going to go to the online casinos. Or is he going to go to like the Guam casinos and he's going to wear the hoodie and the sunglasses? They're going to call him the Una, the Tropic Unabomber. Oh, man. You know, it's funny. I told Jesse I wanted to get for a yard. 
I wanted to get like under. We have like a little overhang. I was like, you know, it'd be cool if we had like a poker table out there. But we have like no friends. <laughs> like our family will come over and I don't know how much poker we would actually play. Like that's why I wish my parents lived closer. Oh boy. This is a rape. This is another rape. Yeah, I said the other day, I want to get like a poker table and have like backyard poker games. That'd be fun. No real money. I wouldn't be, I would be murdered. Hey, you never know. Wanted to kill people during what time? Horse racing is wonderful, wonderful. You know, I never, I never placed a bet on a horse race. Actually, I was at an OTB. I did once, but I was never, I was at a, now they're pulling the goalie. <laughs> Yeah, I was at a horse track, a race track, but I didn't I didn't place a bet there. Oh, jackpot on the on the table. Okay, cash table. Yeah, I don't play cash tables at all. Cash tables are rough. I used to play cash tables in Atlantic City. And um I would lose to the people with the big pockets. Like in the long run, they would always be able to dip back in and fuck with me. It drove me nuts. You would come up to the table with your your stack of chips and you would plop it down. There was a time where I was obsessed, like just obsessed with Texas Hold'em. Every time we would go to AC, I would be stuck in the poker room. Like, I don't know what it was. I was just like, oh man, this is so much fun. I want to be a fucking professional poker player. Whoops. <laughs> Imagine getting sponsors and being a professional poker player. That's gonna be that's gonna be really stressful though too if you think about it. You got you got these people these sponsors paying you, and you're playing a game that like no matter how good you are, there is a level of luck. You know, so it's like God, it's gotta be so stressful. Oh, what's the guy in the chat that plays poker? Like he didn't he say he does it semi professionally? I can't remember his name. Whoa, what a goal! Son of a bitch. Rondo was amazing. Uh, you put censored my comment to you. Glitter is over. Yeah, yeah, that's long gone. Yeah, Kevin plays a lot of poker, right? Yeah, but you could shit talk in the tournament. I used to shit talk all the time in tournaments. Oof. I used to do it all the time. I wonder how I'd be now. I don't know. Like, I was young and stupid. Like, I would get really fucking drunk. And I would piss off so many people. It's so weird when you're in your 20s and shit. Or even my early 30s. Like, you just, you're just fearless. It's so crazy. How many people are in their, like, 30s or early 30s or, or 20s? Like, do you guys feel, like, invincible? Like, I felt that. I legit felt invincible. Like, I could start with anybody. I didn't give a fuck about the consequences. 94? Yeah. Uh, my mom was actually at the finals. And when she came home from the game, she, she threw us in the car. And we all went around. We got, we got stopped by the police. They told us to go home. We were honking the horns in the streets. 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Yeah. Cash games, I get drunk and talk shit. Yeah, I used to play cash games all the time, and then I just played tournaments after that. Okay, so we won two games, and we lost one. What time is it? All right, I'm going to squeeze one more in. I don't know. We'll keep... We got 42 people in here. Why not? One more game. Okay, final game. We'll keep the conversation going, and then we'll get out of here. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Byproduct, yeah, being drunk. Yeah, I was drunk majority of that time for sure. Even when I wasn't drunk, though, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, you get your beer muscles. You just think you're invincible. Like, t being in that mindset, but then again, who knows? If I was drunk now, I, like, I probably would say and do stupid things. Who knows? Drank all night, clubs, then work. It's, yeah, right? Like, you had that ability to stay up all fucking night, get wasted... And somehow, either go to school, go to work, somehow do it. It's crazy, right? It's amazing what your body can 
What, what kind of abuse you're, you could put your mind and your body through when you're younger? When we used to go to Vegas, man. I was in my 30s, though, like when I was going to Vegas. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Dude, not, what the hell, bro? Chill. Like, we would just be out all night. But then again, Vegas is different, right? They say they have the, they pump that shit into the air, the oxygen in the casinos. And I don't know what it is with Vegas. What I would do, though, I would get so wasted. And then, like, we would just stay up. You were lucky if you slept an hour. And then you would just go by the pool. You would, I, what my move was, I would just eat fruit. Like, I would just get, like, a bowl of fucking fruit. No fucking sausage and eggs. I know, like, they say greasy shit. Like, it, the, maybe the night of, like, if you're hungry right before you go to bed, you have that shit. But when you wake up, that's all I wanted was like a big ass bowl of fruit, hydrate my ass back up, and then just start drinking again. I don't know if I could do that anymore. Woo, boy. Damn, that was almost goal number two. Vegas is crazy. Now I'm going to go with the baby. <laughs> Jesse. Now Vegas is different. I think Jesse doesn't want to go with me to Vegas because she knows like the, all the fucking craziness that went on when I went. I think she's like, she's like, yeah, fuck that place. Oh shit. But I want to experience it like, you know, family thing now. Like I just want to kind of see things and just walk the strip, you know, get drunk on the strip, of course. I'm old now. I need uh, my eight hours of sleep, right? It's so valuable. Sleep is like the, the best. Cantaloupe, strawberries, blueberries. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd get a bowl of fucking like fruit or some shit. And it would, yeah, it would hydrate me up. I'd be good to go. But now kids are doing like fucking IVs and shit. <laughs> I, I met one girl in Vegas that did that. She did the IV thing. She sent me a picture. Oh, shit. When she got back to her room of her with an IV on, I'm like, what the fuck? What is she doing? I had no idea what she was doing. I thought she was like in the hospital and she was in her fucking room. Just hydrating herself up. So I guess it's been around for a while. She was saying her friend was a nurse. <laughs> fucking crazy, man. Oh my God. JBM, I can't take the look at my crazy husband. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is cool, man. That's a that's a fucking crazy place to go if you're single, partying. It's just a, it's just nuts, man. It's nuts. It literally is like an adult playground. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? Boom. Ah, oh, picked me up. These LA Kings. Oh, they're good. They're good. This guy's dipsy doodling. Whoa, where is it? Okay, one nothing. Heedle, heedle. Oh. Woo! You get maybe four a night, eight hours. Sounds lovely. You only get four hours of sleep a night. Pulse, how old are you? Four hours of sleep a night. Some people can function on that. It's crazy. Uh, you know, like a lot of, like that guy Casey Neistat, I think he does that. You see that move? Look at that move. That was slick. Look at this. Whoop. Boom, baby. Fucking went in, cut back out, passed it over. Let's go. Dipsy Doodle, yeah. That's the old Dipsy Doodle. Mm -mm. Oh, did I just take a penalty? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight. Four and four. Four and four. I work from home. I'll go to bed 6 a.m. and wake up at 8 a.m. Sleep all lunch and then after work. Man, I used to break up my sleep, but it, it would fuck me. It doesn't mess you up. I'm 50 now and I can't... I can get about four hours of sleep, so you could you could you could function on four hours of sleep. Yeah, I've always like like actually no, I'm lying. When when I was early thirties, all twenties, couple hours I was good, but mid thirties and 
Oh shit. To my 40s, I needed like seven to eight. Like I needed it. It was weird. I couldn't function. But then again, I, I drank a lot of caffeine when I was staying up. Like it was crazy, man. Like energy drinks and just everything you're not supposed to be in taking to stay like Red Bulls. And Even at the club, we'd be drinking more Red Bulls. Red Bulls and vodka and shit like that. Like, I couldn't have been good. Dude, what the fuck? It's crazy, man. It feels like a whole lifetime ago. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't even feel real. It's weird how you go through these, like, different stages in life. Like, these chapters. And then, like, you, like the previous chapters don't even feel real. It's so odd. You guys get that feeling? I can't stop getting that out of my head. Oh, I can get around him. So odd. Like I'm talking to that kid today, that kid Ben. Kid's only 20. He just turned 23. And it's like, fuck, man. Like he was doing shit. He's doing shit now that I, t I tell stories about. Like he's doing it. Come on, score, bitch. Good, good shift. Solid shift. Solid shift. Solid. It's very solid. Most solid. Shit. Oh, there you go. Ah, ah. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out what Paul said in a sec. Let me score his goal first. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Good save. Man, all this fucking work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh, go to the back end. Oh! Shit. I had like a two on none there. Fuck, how did I not score? I take five hour energy and it lasts only 30 minutes. Yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know. As you get older, those things don't work as long. My English teacher tried to flunk me in junior high. Thanks a lot. Next semester, I'll be 35. A strain called tuna kush. <clears throat> With a real Slim Shady piece stand up. Uh, you're drinking Guam stuff. Knockoffs. It sounds like you want to make another child. I don't plan on flunking anybody. I can absolutely earn. <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to be weird going to Vegas with the baby, taking the stroller up and down the strip. <laughs> but I'm kind of looking forward to it. I don't know. Like, I'm like, I'm weird now. I just like to get out. Like, I just like to go for walks and shit, you know, with the family, see things. Like, it's like the little things now that, that I enjoy. Like, I don't need to be, like, stimulated in a way where I have to fucking, like, have adrenaline rushes of doing stupid shit. It's a weird, it's a weird place to be. But I'm kind of like envious of Jesse. Like Jesse, don't give a fuck. Like she didn't need, she doesn't need anything. Like she don't, she don't need anything crazy in her life. She's content with being. She's just happy being a mom. Like it's so weird to me, at least. And it makes me feel like I have like some sort of mental disorder, like that I needed all this craziness in my life. <laughs> Piss adrenaline. I think 5 hour energy works by tricking your body into releasing adrenaline. Maybe you just don't have adrenaline left. Is anyone like that? Like a homebody that just kind of needs little things in life, doesn't need... I went zero face-offs. I'm kind of jealous. I wish I was like that. I'm more like that now. Like, I still like to do shit, but... I don't, I don't like, crave it as much as I did when I was younger. Uh, yep to what? Homebody or I like to go crazy? Red Bulls and Monsters Chorus heart murmurs. Yeah, I know. It's I you think like energy drinks are so fucking bad for you, like so bad. And I am I was a consumer for many years. Now I went back to coffee again. Like I. I it's crazy. Like we can't, we can't escape caffeine. 
But I feel at least coffee is a little, a little better than energy drinks. It's not gonna burn a hole in my fucking chest. Just need once a week to go out and party. Javen is listening. Uh, she is going to be surging. <laughs> I think she's sleeping. Two joints doesn't need much. Get back into bowling. Get back into bowling. Bowling's the type of thing, though, you gotta you gotta make sure you got a good woman at home, you know? Because then you can justify bowling. You know, like, like I used to like bowling. But it, it would get, like, real, I don't know, it would get depressing after a while, right? Oh. I used to bowl. You know, it's funny you say that. Like, I was thinking, I was watching something, someone was bowling. And I was like, oh, it's going to be weird. Like, eventually I'm going to take fucking Ellie. I don't di oh, I went bowling with Jess in New York. I did go bowling. We did, like, Midnight Mania, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Me and Jess. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Fungul tie game. Just need people to play with. You could jump in a league. I'm sure there's a million leagues over there, right? Bull on gummy. Oh, that'd be wild. I tell you, I fucking love I I don't need to drink anymore. Gummies have been like, dude, they've been amazing. Complete. I, I wonder if I was young and just into the gummies, like, I would save so much money on, on alcohol. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> the fuck? Who's mine's in the, he's in the, <laughs> well, how did, where, I didn't see that. Did you guys see that? Kamaru Usman's in the chat. In the uh, crowd. That's perfect. Very nice. Very creative. Yeah, I wish I wish I was introduced to like I, I was I was into weed when I was in college. I smoked, but uh, you know, I never did edibles until I was older. Actually, what am I kidding? Like I I had my first edible was was, was this stuff, the CBDX. Actually, no, I'm lying. I had V-neck. But yeah, I kind of wish... I kind of wish I went the route. But then again, I, I got caught with weed. We were outside of a bar. And we got caught. My buddy took the blame for all of it. If he didn't, we would all have to go in. Like, so when I was a kid, like, weed was still like... You can't... That's a, No, no, no. Don't do that. You know, it's not like it is, like, more acceptable today. So I guess I couldn't really have gotten away with it. It's so ridiculous, like, like people way way people used to look at weed back in the day, like it was like you're doing crack. I'll never forget. I had my my buddy's like, yeah, I got a bag. I'm like, all right. So we went to the parking lot. Me, him, and this other girl, and me and my buddy were in the front. He was getting the weed ready. I was I was holding the bowl in my hand, and I hear a knock on my window. And it was the fucking cops. And I'm like, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? So I took the pipe and I like flung it between the seat. <laughs> and he's like, all right, get out. <laughs> he goes, get out of the car. <laughs> and I was like, damn man. So we all get out, and he's like, all right, listen. He goes, whose weed is it? And we're all like looking at each other, like we didn't want to fucking rat each other out. You know, it was my buddy's weed, but I didn't want to rat him out. And he goes for a walk with the cop, and he just fucking took the whole blame. The cop goes, listen, I got to take one of you in. And I was like, are you kidding me? And my buddy's like, yo, I brought the weed. He's like, I'll go in. So <laughs> my buddy got arrested. And then I went back into the bar, and I had to tell everyone what happened, and then we all got drunk. <laughs> we just partied the rest of the night. But I felt so bad for the guy. Then I took a big break after that. Because I was like, this is fucking stupid. Like, what am I doing? Why am I getting in trouble for this stupid shit? Anyone ever take the heat with drugs? It's a real man. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we had a pipe. A little pipe. A little pipe action. Yeah, it's a good guy. Yeah, he, he, took, he took the heat. I felt so bad, man. Moss, you got to invest in your long-term health. Invest into a trip to Panama for some high-quality stem cell therapy.
You'll be old when Ellie is 21, but you'll be healthy. Ugh. It's like $9,000 for decent injection regimens. You know what's I'm going to do that next year. Are you really? I had a guy at the gym. Like, no joke. This guy had to be in his 50s. And he came up to me. He was telling me about all his shoulder problems. He's like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get some stem cell stuff done. I don't know where the fuck he's going. Um, But maybe. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You go. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. And then if everything goes well, I might I might have to follow you. Thank you for the donation. How much how much would something like that be? I'd go to Panama. I'd be so fucking scared. Yeah, how much is that? It's gotta be fucking fifty injections in his back, ten K. I don't have that. I could use uh that for my back. Yeah, people swear why like why aren't we like doing it here? Why do we gotta go out of the fucking country to do this shit? If it works. It's, it's like injecting dead babies in you, right? Isn't that what it is? A pizza gate. Right, isn't that what stems... Isn't that what it is? It's like the controversy is like they're dead babies. <laughs> Some shit, I don't know. Don't do it here, way too expensive. Oh, so they do do it here? I don't even know what the deal is. The guy was telling me about the gym. And I was like... But I don't know, man. I would be so scared. You know, going to some other country, getting some a procedure like that done. Like I'd be, I'd be terrified. I don't know. It doesn't scare you like a little bit. Oh, where do you say Panama? Oh fuck. Whoa. All right, so we took the lead. I'm just half paying attention to be honest. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. That one time it works too good in this game. There's really good clinics in Panama. The doctor was on Joe Rogan show. Really? Uh, not dead babies, mostly dead babies. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> not dead babies, mostly dead babies. Mostly dead baby cells. Okay, yeah, so that's what it is, right? Yeah, they scoop up some of the cells from the dead babies. And <laughs> that's so crazy, man. It's such a, but I tell you what, I would do it. Like, if, if I was, like, in... I actually have issues. I have, I have a lot of, like, shoulder problems. That I still deal with. So it probably would help me. Yeah, it probably would. My right side of my body, shoulder wise, is fucked. I had three shoulder surgeries on this side with a collarbone sticking out over here. And the shoulder surgery on this side. But this side's good. This surgery went well. This one, not so much. <laughs> Van Halen. A stem cell is basically a cell in its early stages and hasn't yet taken form. Uh, of its end cell, hair cells, nail cells, skin cells. So by placing a stem cell around these cells, hmm, it takes hold on, the same form as the neighboring cells and becomes one of them. That's interesting. That makes sense. It's crazy. You know, I, was, I had a like, I was high, but I had this like crazy, <laughs> I had this crazy moment on my Delta 8 experience. I was like, I was thinking about like how we regenerate when we're cut. Like, it's so fucking wild that we can cut ourselves and somehow, like, you can sew it together and it'll heal. Like, it's like Wolverine shit. And we can do that and we just, like, okay. Like, it's nuts. Like, we just take for granted the fact that we can just heal. Is that not fucking nuts? Like, that's superhero shit. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I was so high thinking about this not too long ago. Yeah, Panama. You'll know the clinic I went to when they have a baby explosion with very light-skinned, black-haired babies with an affinity for men are making. <laughs> yeah, I'm in decent shape for my age and want to maintain whatever be youth I have. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Yeah, it's crazy. When you get older, that's all you want to do is just stay here. You don't want to, you don't want to leave. You don't want to go. I don't blame you. I would take every option I could. So anyway, back to the healing shit. shit. <laughs> and thank you guys for the donations. Appreciate that. Do any of you guys get freaked out like that you we can actually do this? Like we can actually just like heal. It's so fucking odd. If you really think about it, it's really weird. Like we just regenerate. Like like you can get a nasty ass cut and then boom. You're healed. Like it's just it's just nuts. Couple of days you're fine. It's so weird, man. So weird how the human body is amazing. 
Anyway. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me that just gets like... Like, I don't know. I get in these weird places. I'm like, how the fuck does that even happen? How are we healing? We must. We must be Wolverines. Yes. Super The chat. Speedo. Thank you for two, man. Speedo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guido and a Speedo. Coming in. Coming in hot. I'm so jealous knowing you live so close to Atlantic City. So jealous. I miss Atlantic City. That was cool. It's a cool spot. Miss the Borgata. Just going there, I miss. I miss just like, I miss the road trip from New York. Like it was like a two hour, two and a half hour trip. Maybe two hour and 15 trip. It was a nice trip and you can get like those comp rooms and eat the buffet. You know, it was fun. Ooh. Third period. Let's see if we can hold on to this lead. Four to two. Four to two. Shout out to the not the MMA holes people that actually got their alerts. Shout out. Shout out to the peeps. Good crew hanging out on a Tuesday night. Appreciate it. Let me know what you could be for Halloween. Tardigrades freak me out. They're these little organ organisms that can't die. And can survive in space. I never even heard of that. What is that? I'm gonna have to watch a bunch of YouTube videos on that. Don't get it. Yeah, you could. I mean, gambling is very addicting. No doubt about it. I had a little period of time where, definitely, you can say I might have had a little bit of an issue, and then I just healed up quickly. <laughs> it was crazy, man. But that was in my my fucking young and dopey way of thinking. Like, I thought I was invincible with everything. Oof. But gambling is addicting. For sure. My move towards the end of my Atlantic City uh, travels was to play at the $5 tables, blackjack, um, what's it called? Three-card poker. Like, those are the games I really like to play. And, uh, and I would sit there, like, betting the minimum, not betting, like, going crazy with the extra bonus bets and all that stuff. I would just sit there and just try to accumulate, like, that table play time. I would sit, like, I would drop, like, 300, right? I would put 300 on the table and then take 200 of it and put it in my pocket. So when, when I sat at the table, the pit boss would say, they would say, all right, 300 coming in. The pit boss would tally it down and put it on my player's card. So it looked like that I was gambling $300, but I didn't. I put the other 200 in my pocket. And never gamble it. Just gamble whatever the hundred was. Play the minimums. You know? Oh, fuck. And accumulate comp by just sitting there. You know? Sometimes you win. Most times you lose. But at least, you know, at the end of the day, you get the, you know, the, the free room. You get the, the you know, the, the meal. So it kind of like evens out. And you can sit there and get free drinks. So it wasn't, it was a pretty good deal that we had. And my parents do a similar thing, but they, they play the slot machines. I can't play the slot machines. It's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's grimy and depressing. And at least if you're playing at a table, you meet new people. You know, you get, you get have the drinks and talk some shit. And you talk to the pit boss and the, the dealers. And I don't know. It's, it's just kind of cool. But yeah, if you play the game at the casino and, and don't go too crazy with your gambling, like, you see how I do my sports bets. I stop parlays. And I, I kind of bet boring, but it's safe, you know? That's the way to do it. Be safe. Be smart. Get the most out of your experience. But, yeah, I miss it. Me and Jesse, we had a casino close to us when we were in New York. Oh, shit. And, uh, but it was only a slot casino, which was a bummer. Wonderful, wonderful. Kainoto! That shit Dana is talking about is true. Telomere length is no joke. I want to get mine checked out. If your relatives going back a generation lived a long life, I think you should be okay. Hmm. My guess is Dana's relatives all died young. <sighs> so far, my relatives are hanging in there. 
Well, my parents at least. But grandparents, not so much. They died kind of young. So that's a little scary. That's a little concerning. Yeah, I believe in that stuff because it was a blood test. Like, like they literally took his blood and t it checked for everything, right? So, you know, that kind of gives you an idea. It's not like it's not like voodoo that they did on him. So, yeah, I kind of believe it. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying, but thank you, Kainote. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I would. I mean, listen, I'm sure it's very expensive, though. Like, how much does that cost? It's got to be super expensive. And then, and then what they're going to do is they're going to tell you everything that's wrong and the life changes you have to make. And then the next thing you know, you're on some fucking fad diet and new workout routine. But then again, at least you're extending your life. So I guess it's worth it, right? Nothing's more valuable than your life. The extra attacker is out there and I am up. Oh, I just took a fucking penalty. Shit, they got two extra guys. <laughs> Dana should just clone himself. Aaron got 10 more years. Dana's got 50. I've had access to Dana. I would tell him anything to make him think a mouth thing. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if Dana White was your bud. Like, that's what we got to get in. We got to get him with Dana White. Having Dana White as your friend is like... That's like the greatest friend to have. The guy's rich. He runs like the greatest sport in the whole world. Oh, fuck. Why did I just shoot it? He's an empty net. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I almost blew the game. Here we go. Shoot it. Oh, shoot it. Ah, on net. On net. It's, it's empty. He would probably... Be, 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 just, just shoot it on net. Oh, fuck. This is like a... Here we go. Oh, fuck. Why am I not clearing it? They got a power play. Clear the fucking thing. Wonderful, wonderful. Ooh, he's getting close. My dad was first generation jungle dweller, indigenous American. All my uncles are about to hit 100 over in Ecuador, so wow. I hope I get some of that. My mom was white, so that prob fucked it up. <laughs> I get chatty when I consume Kratom. <laughs> yeah, are you on Kratom now? Thank you, Kainoto. Yeah, having white genetics kind of sucks. I feel like we're, we're inferior. I don't know. Like, I feel like everything we, like, we're just weak. The, we're weak to the sun. We're weak inside. Everything about us. I don't know. Tom Brady exists on a diet of kale and distilled water only. <laughs> he's going to play until, yeah, he's going to play until his 50s, right? Uh, you talk just made me put out my cigarette. Dude, whatever. If you smoke, Stop. I used to smoke for a long time. Stop smoking. You can do it, man. Please, please. I've seen so many people die of lung cancer. It's like, I don't want to see anyone else die of lung cancer anymore. It's one of the, I mean, I don't, I think if you smoke weed, you can kind of, you know, get away because you're not inhaling tobacco and all that shit, you know, but still like, I mean, yeah, smoke cigarettes, fucking A, man. Oh, they're so bad. So fucking bad. It makes me cringe thinking about the people that I know that fucking died from lung cancer. Good people. The white devil DNA and me are going to cost me a good 30 years. I feel the same way. No cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, I smoked for a while. I smoked cigarettes for a while. It's the dumbest thing I could have ever started. I, like, I've told the story a million times. There was a girl I was dating. She was a smoker. I couldn't fucking stand it. And then we broke up and I don't know. I was like weirdly fucked up from it. So I started smoking. Like it was the stupidest thing. I just felt like I need to fit in or something. So I started smoking and I was like, I remember I was sitting in the back of a hardware store that I used to work at and I'm like, and I'm like swallowing the smoke. I didn't know how to smoke. <laughs> I had no idea, no clue how to smoke. And I remember I was literally I was swallowing the smoke. <laughs> I was like, what do I do? And I trained myself how to fucking slowly kill myself. The dumbest. And when I when I was trying to quit, I would pay anything to just buy a cigarette off of someone. Like, I refused to buy a pack, but then I'd go out and drink. And it was when you could still smoke in bars. And you'd go to the bathroom, and it'd be like $20 a cigarette. Like, the guy that, that like, fucking sprays your hand and gives you a towel to try to get a tip. He'd be like, you know, you have a jar of cigarettes. Yeah, it was weird, man. I was a weird. I, was, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I should have been smoking. I should have been swallowing or smoking. But, um, 
Yeah, it's like I've seen so many people fucking die of lung cancer. So I didn't quit because of the money, even though that's a good reason to quit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Lucy's. I would go like we were in the club. So in, in the club, they would have like, I mean, it was crazy for a spritz of cologne. You you have to spend 10 bucks. Like It was nuts. It was nuts. But they did it because you just like you either wanted to, you just want to get laid or you want you want to smell good. You want to you want to get that fucking fix of nicotine so that. Yeah. And you would go into the bathroom and they would have like they would have like candy, mints, gum, cigarettes like they would have everything you need, like cologne. You had to pay for it all. And I would pay anything for a cigarette. I was so drunk and I would pay for a fucking cigarette. I didn't quit because of the money. I quit because of I wanted to live. I think that's what helped me quit. I think life. <laughs> it's it's crazy. If you're smoking out there, seriously consider finding a way to get off of that. It's it's rough, man. It's it's rough to quit though. It is. And when you're a smoker, it's the last thing you want to fucking hear. Is some knucklehead. Oh my god! Two seconds left. They just tied up the game. <laughs> just, you know. But it's the last thing you want to hear. You don't want to hear some idiot like that, because that's how I was. When someone would just tell me to quit, I'd be like, fuck off, man. Like I know I have to quit. I know it's I know it I know it, it it's gonna kill me. But you just didn't want to hear it, right? That's how I was. But going to overtime. <laughs> we were about to end the stream and look what the fuck happened. Ah, oh, god damn it. I can't believe I did that. Two seconds left. Well, I got a point. I gotta win this. <laughs> I just saw it. Yeah, sell Lucy's in the bathroom. Yeah, why are they call Lucy's? I have no idea. I remember them calling them Lucy's. They still call them that? I remember back in the day they used to call it Lucy's. What was the reason for that? I guess, like, they're loose? Is that what it is? They're loose from the pack? Come on, let's get that goal. I like four on four. Here we go. Here it is. I got it. I set it up. Oh, wrong guy. Dude, it was... Oh, it's not the guy you were supposed to pass it to. See, open ice here. What am I talking about? Four, three on three. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, shit. Just picked my pocket. Okay. I like this open ice. Look at me go. Look at me skate all free. Cause I'm as free as a bird. We win in overtime, boys. A big overtime win. Did you ever have an OT winner? Yeah, I had a couple of them. Those balls. Look at this. You, you know you Look at this. When the guys come to pile on you, Look you can that. see how happy they are. They want to go home too. Oh uh, no, man! I'm at the end of my smoking career. I don't. I and I know it. I like the pep talk. You're right. Hey, man, listen. Dude, if one person... If if this stream gets one person to fucking quit smoking, dude, I would feel amazing. I would feel fucking amazing. The people that I know that died of lung cancer were all in. We're fucking all in. Like, they didn't give a fuck. They knew that it was going to kill them. And then watching them slowly die of the most painful fucking death possible... But then there are guys and gals out there that could live fucking to 100 years old and smoke cigarettes, you know? Um, but, uh, I don't know. It's just, it sucks because it's smoking so great, right? Like, after you eat, after you fuck, after you do certain things, it just goes hand in hand, you know? Me, my problem was bars. Like, my problem was going out, chasing tail, you know? <laughs> like... I would love to just fucking get drunk and go outside, have a cigarette hanging out of my mouth and just fucking talking to somebody. You know, it was just something about it. There was a social thing about it. It was something that I just loved. That was the last thing that I had to just nip in the butt. Everything else I was able to control. It was just the, the socializing with people, going out, partying, you know, playing poker with your friends. Everyone's lighting up and shit. But I feel like now... Oh, did you see Devin Clark versus Da Unjung sign? No, I didn't see that. I guess we got to get Devin on. Well, that would be cool. So Devin Clark on that card. And could you imagine if... Oh, man. Our, our last guest fights the Korean zombie. 
Yeah, social smoker. No, but I smoked all the time. The 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 last stage of my smoking that it, I found it the hardest thing to remove was going out. I quit seven years and started puffing on uh, them a couple of months ago. Like, it's, oh, fuck, man. Yeah, all it takes is like one cigarette. You're right off. You're, you're right back on. It's crazy, right? That's all it takes. I can't get my older brother to quit. That sucks, man. I'm possessed. If I see a chick that smokes, I know she's a freak. <laughs> it was weird kissing one, girls one, that one. fucking smoked. Their fucking breath smelled like an ashtray. Last thing about me, promise. <laughs> my dad was from a family of 13 kids. Oh my God. All three siblings that came to the States ended up getting cancer. Oh my one God. survived. My pops died from leukemia and my uncle from stomach cancer. Seems like cancer is part of being American. Dude, that's crazy. Yo, know, cancer is fucked up, man. That's that's crazy, man. That's a lot of cancer. So when you go to the doctor and they say, hey, any, any history of cancer, you're like, well, funny you say that. <laughs> Do you just run down the list? Oh, fuck. I can't even remember it. Like, I guess cancer's in all of us, right? Eventually, you live long enough, it's going to get you. It's inevitable. That's terrible, man. My dad smoked uh, till he was 40, died at 69. Oh, my God, dude. Doc just thinks it was the, the benzene exposure. Yeah, that sucks, too, when someone quits and the damage is done. Some people think Americans are cancer. We grow greens in East Nevada. Nevada, where we're tested nukes. It's in the water. So stop smoking. Yeah, man. Yeah, my friend's mom just died, cigarette, cigarette related. Uh, dude, it's, it's crazy. I, I just like my my aunt, my fucking uh, really good friend of mine's father. We couldn't get him to quit for anything. He literally, like, we made jokes like, like we're gonna bury him with a carton of cigarettes. Like, like the casket's gonna be made out of like it's gonna be a big fucking marble. Uh, no, I, I think he smoked Newport. Yeah, big Newport carton. We're gonna bury him in. It's just. It's crazy, man. So crazy. My cousin's like that too. My my cousin, I don't get it. Like her mom died, died of lung cancer from smoking, and she smokes like a chimney. Like I don't, I don't that I don't get, man. Like if that doesn't scare you, oh wait, we still have this. Remember this? If if that doesn't get you to quit, then you're never gonna quit, right? They found weed killer in a whole wheat bread and Cheerios. Yeah, I heard about that. That's just, oh my God. I, I do eat Cheerios. I do. I'm going to have to stop. That's why I was allowed a colon scope at 45. Allowed. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> allowed to scope? What? Is Newport's like the ones that mess uh, you up the worst? Yeah, Newport's got that um, that menthol. I remember when I used to smoke Newport. I didn't smoke very long. So, I mean, I sm I loved Marlboro, Marlboro, like regular Marlboro Reds. And then I was like, okay, I'm like, I'm literally like every time you inhale it, you know, like you just know, like that's just not good. So then I, I like I went to like I tried everything light. I tried like parliaments and. <laughs> I tried Marlboro Ultra Lights. I tried all that shit. It's all crap. And then I went to the e-cigarettes when that shit came out. And I was like at the fucking club with the fucking blue light at the tip of my... Like a cunt. Just as bad. I was addicted two years of smoking. I quit before I was like 23. I was addicted to... Uh, Two years of smoking, I quit before I was 23. Yeah, it is hard, man. Reds. Yeah, is that what you smoke, Tropic? But yeah, Newports. Newports had that, like, menthol. It was, like, it was like strong, and it really... When it went into the lung, you felt it. I don't even know what I'd be like trying to smoke a cigarette now. I'd probably be coughing like crazy. You know, it's weird when you quit for a decent amount of time. It smells like trash. Like, it just like gives you a headache. It's weird how you've been so, like, addicted to something, and then it just bothers you. Use Kratom instead. 
Green Malaysia. I don't know anything about Kratom. Marble Menthol Lights. Marble, uh, Biden wants to ban them. Yeah, menthol has like that. It has like that minty taste to it. Twenty-five years in June. Congrats, man. Good for you. How'd you quit, hippie? How'd you quit? Like, what was the what was the key? Some people like my my father smoked. My mom gave her like five gave him five bucks to stop, and like he kept the five dollars and like framed it. It was like a like a goofy thing, and it's kind of a cool story. The Indian cigarette you can uh, get from Native Reserves. Those are even worse than normal cigarettes. I wouldn't dare smoke those. Is that the um? I remember cloves. What's those clove cigarettes? I remember the ones that smell like incense. I've smoked. I went through that phase too, where I would go to the pool hall and there's like these fucking bizarre chicks. Like the pool hall girls back in the day were fucking odd, man. And they would have clove cigarettes, and I'd be smoking their shit. Kratom fucked you up after the day of drink. Yeah, I still. I don't know much about kratom. I know people swear by it, but. I don't I don't think I need something like that. Non-filtered cools back in the, Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It's wild. Jesse's dad smokes like a chimney. And he he's got this cough that He's a young guy. Jesse's dad's a young guy. And 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 seeing him I just what the cigarettes are doing to him. It's it's like but what am I going to do? Sit there and be like, you know, get on his case and you know, I can't he only he has to want to do it himself. I started a patch after a week. I just stopped wearing them and haven't touched. Wow, that's rare, man. I know a lot of I know people that had the patch and would smoke with the patch, like they would double dip, or the gum, like they would chew on that gum. I never did that. I never did the patch. I never did the gum. I went from cigarettes to like grubbing, then to e-cigarettes. I was trying everything I could, like like when it came to like actual cigarettes like lowering just trying to just wean myself off and then I just fucking stopped the last cigarette I had was Conor McGregor versus Seaver literally hold on let's see McGregor's in Boston I grubbed a cigarette I was quit I quit before that I quit like had to be at least a year and McGregor Seaver, I went with my buddy, and I found out he smoked. Like, he was hiding it behind his wife's back. <laughs> and he, he was straight up smoking. I was like, dude, I didn't know you smoked. And we went out one night. He is having his fucking behind-the-back cigarette. And I, uh, and I broke down. So McGregor Seaver, whenever that was. When was that? McGregor Seaver. I feel like it wasn't that long ago, but it kind of was, right? McGregor. Uh, Seaver. That was 2015. January of... So almost 2014. January of 2015. In Boston. Yeah, so almost 2014. So, damn it. I feel like I was... I was I quit longer ago. <sighs> so, seven years ago? I quit seven years ago. It took me a while to stop. So seven years ago, I'm 45 now. Damn, man. Seven years. Yeah. And, but now it's like it repulses me. Now I don't even want to. Like the other the other day I was around cigarettes uh, and I told Jess, I'm like, it's weird. It actually doesn't smell bad. Usually it makes me nauseous. Like I get a headache. I don't want to be around it. But now like the other day, like it felt like I was like, ah, I wonder what it would be like to have a cigarette. <laughs> I don't know why it just jumped in my head. Patches you I use on uh, long plane flights. They work, but give you a fucking uh, dreams and shoulder. They give you fucked up dreams and shoulder pain, really. Good move over thirty, and now you're dying. Yeah, I was in my thirties when I, you know, I smoked for a while. So hopefully, hopefully, I re hopefully I regenerated. When I was talking about us regenerating, I hope I hope my body internally regenerated. 30 days are still trying. Are Indian cigarettes the ones where you buy them uh, and then the store wants them back <laughs> a few days later? <laughs> uh, I don't smoke cigarettes, but the smell of a fresh lit cigarette smells good as fuck. It is, I mean, when 
If you're a smoker, you light that cigarette up. I mean, come on. I mean, there was nothing better. Like, it's the worst thing to get addicted to because I, I honestly think it's the hardest thing to stop. I don't know if there's anything harder to stop than cigarettes. I, I don't I don't know. But I feel like cigarettes aren't as cool anymore. Like, when I was younger, I felt like cigarettes were really cool. Like, now if you smoke a cigarette, most people are like, ah, oh, it's disgusting. You know, most non-cigarette smokers are just like, you're just, just you're repulsive. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, I don't know if it's as cool anymore. I'm going to go to Panama and smoke some stem cells. <laughs> smoke some stem cells. <laughs> there you go. You kill two birds with one stone. You get that smoking fix and you save your life. Dude, I'm so fucking old that, like, I remember, like, when smoking in bars was, like, fine. Like, smoking in bars was, like, that. the best thing that happened to me is when they stopped that, when they stopped smoking in bars. Because I used to go out, and I used to reek of cigarettes, and when I would come home, my, mo my mom couldn't say anything to me, because um, I was just, like, everyone's smoking in the bar, you know, so I could get away with it. It was so easy for me to get away. I reeked of cigarettes when I came home. And then uh, then when I turned 40, I moved out. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. But then they stopped. They, they got rid of that. And it was so much easier. Because you had to, you know, stand in the freezing cold. And, you know, in shitty conditions. The pouring rain. Like, there was, like, so many shitty conditions when you couldn't smoke in the bar. So it actually helped. I, I was so glad they stopped smoking in bars. Ron could say anything to me because her mouth was attached to a crack pipe. <laughs> your, is that true? Is your mom like... <laughs> her mouth was attached to a crack pipe. Oh, God. Oh, man. I remember my parents were so... They were so disappointed in me when they found out I was smoking. I was like, it was like the worst. It was like the worst thing ever. Okay, not true. Good. Oh, man. I remember I was working in a gas station where you probably shouldn't be smoking, but I did. I would show up. I would like pump people's gas with a cigarette hanging out of my mouth. I was such a degenerate with the long hair, the Jenko pants and my fucking mobile jacket on with a cigarette like when the bosses would go away I would do the night shift I wouldn't give a fuck <laughs> like I would have a fucking cigarette oh god but yeah my, my parents rolled up for something and they saw me with a cigarette in my hand and it was like the look of disappointment in their face there's nothing worse than just disappointing your parents <laughs> I was just looking at the meme First thing I've done when I wake up every day of my life for the last 10 years is rip a bong hip. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could function like that. I don't know how you guys function off of weed like that. I don't have the tolerance. I'd be all fucked up. There's Mike Jackson. Look, there he is. <laughs> it's Mike Jackson. <laughs> oh my God. Look at him. He's just hanging out. He's just, he's got to be cold out there. Looks, looks very cold. Sounds like the David Spade character, the mullet. Yeah, I was I was trashy, man. When I was like chasing the the dream of being a rock star, I was trash. I was trash, man. Big ass pants. You know. Uh long hair, the goatee. Worked in a gas station. I would bring my guitar to the fucking gas station. We would put the cones out. Like when the boss wasn't there, we would put the cones out, like so it would look like the gas station was closed. Oh my god. I wasn't very good. Like like I said, I was a rhythm guitarist, so I wasn't like I wasn't like belting out the solos and all the scales. Like I was just a rhythm guitarist. I play chords. That's it. You know? I like just strumming and playing fucking, you know. We play like our original stuff and like like we play like three cover songs. But uh but I I, I don't know, for some reason we thought we thought we thought we were gonna be somewhere. We thought we were gonna do something. And uh we had our friend's father was like our quote unquote manager. And he's like, he had his daughter singing for us. He's like, you guys are going to be big. <laughs> we played fucking like the same four places in New York. A Madonna cover. Yeah. Madonna cover songs and 
some Bet Midler, like some show tunes we played. Box line seven for life, yeah. Yeah. But I'm glad like we did it before like MySpace hit. You know, there was MySpace music that became like super popular with bands. If that thing if that was a thing and if YouTube was like like super big and we were able to put our shit on YouTube, I'm sure I'm sure I would have chased it to the point where I would have been completely dead end and made nothing from it. So I'm kind of glad like there was a part of me that wished that I had that technology then so I could put the content out, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad I didn't I think it's better just talking about UFC, but I still like, I still fantasize about like, like when we would play like these, these bar shows and they had those little stages and like you had the audience and the lighting and shit like that. And you know, the sound guy, it was kind of cool. Right. So you had like that mini rock star experience. I always wanted to fucking, it was so bad. Like I always wanted to just be on stage and just be like, you know, like the crowd going fucking crazy. I still watch like music, like, like concerts. I, I sit there. I was watching Limp Bizkit the other night. <laughs> like, I don't know why I was watching a Limp Bizkit concert until like one o'clock in the morning. Jesse goes to bed and I'm just sitting there watching this. I'm like, I just want that. I know they all have fucked up lives with drugs and whatever. They, their all relationships are fucked up and their heads are fucked up. But I just... I just, I, I envy it so much, you know, I did. I had a great time. I did. I, I did have a lot of fun. Then I did DJing. Like I did DJing for a little bit. Yeah, this is cool. I get to talk into a mic. So that's cool. But yeah, it's, I don't know. It's weird. I think that's why I still want to do like, I kind of want to do, um, like out, like uh, fight buddies. I was talking to Ben about this. The Bane. I said the plan is still there. Like I still want to do. I'll probably do it when I'm 60. <laughs> Doing fight buddies at a bar. Throwing t-shirts. Into the crowd. <laughs> Just <laughs> calling fights at 60 years old. Telling stupid jokes. Don't die in your dream. What was your dreams in the chat? I know I should fucking just wrap this up. But I don't know. I'm just. I'm having a good time. Save and exit. Well, what did you guys like? What do you always want to do? Like with yourself? Like what's like a crazy dream? That'd be just the fucking me the best. Yeah. Fred Durst directed that movie with um, Travolta. Did you ever see it? Like it was about like some obsessed fan. It was hilarious. Hilariously bad, but it was, it was entertaining. I wish we would have uh, stuck with uh, the guitar. Parents bought me a cheap uh, Kmart guitar with like plastic strings that broke after six months. I just restrung. I just restrung Jesse's guitar. Look at this fucking thing. A hat, uh, the Huntington. This is. Look at. <laughs> this is Jesse's guitar. Like I. This is the Huntington. And I'm like, whose fucking autograph is this? Like, who signed your guitar? It's got like this big dent. Like this big crack over here. I don't know if you can see it. And all these fingerprints. It's like a crack right in here on this indent. And it's got this autograph. So I'm restringing it. I don't even know why I restring it. She's not going to play it. But I'm thinking, okay, I'll give this to Ellie. You know, it would be, it'd be cute when Ellie gets a little older. Like, this is like a shitty 60 buck guitar. It sounds like trash, this guitar. But, um... So I asked Jesse, I go, whose autograph is this? And she goes, Axl Rose. I'm like, really? And she's like, no, it's just, I was, I practiced it. She, she Jesse forged, <laughs> Jesse forged that. She forged Axl Rose's autograph on the guitar. There's Axl. There's the fake Axl Rose autograph with fingerprints all over it in the, in the crack. I'm like, where'd the crack come from? Did you like have like a Nirvana moment? Where you fucking smashed it in against the wall or something? She's like, no. She's like, she they they ordered it and it came like this. It always had this crack in it, like this dent. <laughs> I don't know. So it's just sitting there. <laughs> Play by <light> my fire. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna sit here and fucking start strumming it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna do that. I did it in earlier streams. There, there was like a couple of like live streams, like we were reacting to like a football game or something, and I, I broke out the guitar and played some dopey things. It's, you don't want to hear that. 
The secrets that Black Guitar has. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Like, I was like, why did you get, like, her Her father apparently played a little bit, but he doesn't know how to play, she said. Like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I would jam at your dad. Like, we, we could have the fire pit in the backyard. You, your dad, me, we could fucking sit there and just play the, the, the fucking cheesiest songs. You know? Like, I, like the dumb shit, like, like, uh, what the fuck? Uh, violent femmes. <laughs> Like a, when I'm a walk and I strum my stuff and I'm so strong, like stupid shit like that, you know, Foo Fighters, you know, the, the you know, the classic cheesy songs. Oh, Guido plays pretty good, right? He plays the bass. Yeah, Guido's good. Ukulele, banjo, I wish I could, I can't play it, I can't play the banjo. My buddy was good at the banjo. A blister in the sun. Yeah, I, I play. I don't know why. I just have fun playing that song. I just like. I don't know why. Maybe it's because when I was younger, and we would go to the bars, and the covers, the cover bands would play, and when you're drunk, it was like, Hang on, like a blister in the sun. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'll play it, and I'm just like, I guess I'm reliving my youth. I don't know. It's not easy being cheesy. Yeah, YouTube videos. You know what my problem is, Guido? Do you have this problem? I've always had this issue. Like, if it was original music, I could remember it. Like, if I wrote a song, you know, I, it would stay in my head. But, um, for some reason, I could learn a cover song. Like, I could learn whatever song it is, know it for a day, and then two days, three days later, completely forget it. Like, out of my head. I think it's Alzheimer's, I don't know, but I've always had this issue. Even when I was playing in the band. Same fucking thing. Like, if we did a cover song, unless we were drilling it every fucking day or going to the studio and just practicing and practicing, like, if I don't fucking stay fresh with that, I'll just forget it. Like, it's not, it's bizarre. There's only, like, a handful of songs that constantly I could just spit out. And then I sit on YouTube, or if I'll listen to the radio, I could pick up the song in two seconds. But then I'll forget it. Like, it's, it's such a fucked up trait. I'm not as good with originals. I could learn covers easy. But those, yeah, YouTube videos are, dude. If yeah, if you want to learn the guitar, or bass, or whatever, these these tutorials they make it so easy. They do. They make it so easy. There's something so useful about that violent fan lick. I think about it. Maybe that's what's uh, what you liked about it. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's. I don't know. There's something about it that's just fun. It's just I don't know. I don't even like the song. Like. <laughs> It's so fucking weird. Like, if it's on the radio, I'll probably change it. I don't know why. But if I was at a bar getting drunk, I would have a blast with it. My dad told himself the guitar and he could play songs just by listening. Yeah, that's how I was. I, I would just listen to the radio when I was a kid. And I would just, by ear. Like, Jessie looks at me and she's like, how the fuck? But it's just chords. Like, I'm not, like, if there's shit with, like, fucking crazy scales and shit like that. You know, like, I can't. My fi I got little fingers. I can't. I can't be navigating... In the way, but my chords I'm decent with. So I can like, you know, play the song that you know what it is. <laughs> Smoke on the way. Dun, 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 dun. No, my first song. The fuck was the first song I learned? I remember learning a lot of Beatles. What was the first one I learned? Shit. When I was in the band called the Rich Heads, <laughs> the rich, the fucking Rich Heads. Um, we we played um, "Say It Ain't So" by Weezer. Like that was the first cover song we did. So bad, we played it so bad, and I was playing it wrong. Can you live stream uh, and join complaints department at the same time? <laughs> uh, no, I think I think we could do that. I can play "Sweet Dreams" on the guitar. That's about the coolest one I can do. Uh, what, the Marilyn Manson? What was the first song I learned? Mm. It's weird. The songs I played on the guitar wasn't like the songs I like to listen to. You know, like I like to listen to like really heavy shit. In our band, the last band, we played kind of heavy, but it wasn't like... The stuff I listened to. Like, I played stuff that I didn't like to listen to. It was weird. 
Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Left handed upside down. You play left handed, so you flip the guitar, play the like what Hendrix? Like McCartney? Wasn't he lefty too? Well, he was bass. Well, McCartney played everything though. Yeah, but like Beatles songs are wild. <laughs> Am I satanic or something? Yes. I worship the devil. I love the devil. He's my BFF. I wish I was a better guitarist though. Like I wish I wish I could just rip a solo. Like I, I'm not good like that. I could just fucking play like I could play like campfire shit. Like I'll play a song. You're like, oh okay, I know that song. You know. But flip the strings. Yeah, that's that's pretty wild. I think Ellie's a lefty. She's like she does everything like left handed. So she might be a lefty on guitar. I think Ellie's gonna get into music. Which oh my god, that'd be so fucking cool. If you can play or sing a song, it's a girl. That's <laughs> that's why I started playing guitar. No joke, Yoda Twinkie. Like I literally wanted to play guitar because I thought I'd get laid. That's the only reason. I remember we used to hang out in the corner and I would break out the guitar, but I'd play like silly shit, like funny things to make people laugh. <clears throat> but yeah, that was why I started. It was good though. Like when I first, like when you first meet a girl, you bring them back home, they see the guitar. Oh, you play guitar? Yeah, not that good. And then you just play something. Like you play like the coolest thing that you could think of. I think that's why I learned a lot of chick songs because, <laughs> because I wanted to get laid. Maybe that's why. Like, I, I love playing Everlong by Foo Fighters. It's such an easy song to play, down tune D. It's, I tell you what, if you're learning how to play guitar, Everlong, Everlong is so easy. Like, that is a super simple song. Just down tune the top string, the E. And it's such a fucking, it's, it, panties come right off. I don't know, it's, it's like a... It's a fun song to play. I sing songs from Wham. <laughs> it only tracks gay guys. <laughs> to those that play, like, like any of you guys that play, is that why you started? Did you start for girls? <laughs> it's a, it's the wrong way to start. It's the wrong reason to start playing a, an instrument. I remember when I was a kid, my dad was like so supportive. Like he was like any sport you want to get into. And he wasn't rich. Like he was like a blue collar guy. He worked for the fucking, he picked up garbage. But he always said to us, like, if there's anything you want to do, you can do it. If you want to play an instrument, if you want to play a sport, I got you. You know, we lived in an attached house with a fucking little ass backyard. Like, I mean, it was like a, it was like a strip, our backyard. But he always said he, and I, I feel so bad because like he really wanted the best for us, you know, and I never really took him up on it. <laughs> like I was just like, ah, I don't want to do anything. And then like when I got older, I was like, I want to do everything. My mom always made sure there was a guitar in our house. That's why I started because it was, that's cool. You know, I, I told Jess this, if a kid sees their parents like to do something, they're more inclined to say, I want to do that too. And that was my problem. My parents didn't play guitar. My mom had a guitar, but she didn't play, you know, like and with sports too, when I was a kid, like they weren't playing the sports, they weren't doing much. So when I was a kid, I didn't want to do any of that shit. And then as I got older, I was like, all right, I want to play hockey. I want to do this and that. But I was like, I started late, you know? So if you see your parents like to do it, I and that's what I'm hoping with Ellie. I hope she sees that I enjoy doing it, so I hope she uh, she follows. That'd be awesome, playing with Ellie. I never got good at guitar, no patience. Yeah, it, it does. It, it That's why I was with piano. I couldn't do it. At least with guitar, you fuck up. You can kind of strum a certain way and, and kind of hide it. But with piano, it's like you hit the wrong note. It's like bang, bang. Like <laughs> there's no way to hide it. And drums too. You can kind of, you can kind of fucking hide some shit in that. Uh, your mom is cool. That's awesome, man. That's fucking awesome. That's cool, man. You grow up like and like music's in your family. That's that's so cool. I wish Jesse's not into it. Like I know it's in her. I know inside Jesse, there's something there. Like, I, there's something musical inside Jess, but she never tapped into that. So, so it sucks because I, I know it's there. I see it. I, I, I There's something musically talented inside Jess, 
but she's she's just at this stage where you know it's too late you know I, I i feel like it's never too late you know but maybe when ellie gets a little older and she grows an interest into it maybe jesse would jump in i i feel like jesse probably has a good voice like if she really tried she probably could sing everyone's shy with music at the at first it seems like it's so it's embarrassing right because you just want to pick it up and play it you know like you see an instrument and you fucking strum it and it doesn't work and you're like, fuck. <laughs> why can you do why can you fucking move your fingers like that? And I can't. And then the tips of your fingers hurt. Get Ellie a little baby keyboard to get it started with. Yeah, she's got like baby things like that she hits and on the phone too. Like we have these apps on the phone, like these music apps where she's like she loves the sounds. And maybe I'm crazy. Well, I know I'm crazy. But I hear her voice, like as she's developing her voice, I hear tone to it. There's something about it that's soothing where I think she might be able to sing. Like, I don't know why. Like, I just, I hear, like, I, I feel like there's certain people that are given gifts. And if you, if you like really tap into it while they're young, they can really excel. So I'm hoping we can see whatever she's good at and we can, ampl you know, I don't know, push her in a way where she likes to do what she's doing. <laughs> an alien presence inside Jesse. She married you in order to take over the. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why she fucking married me. It's weird, but I don't know. It's weird. There was a stream. I was talking to Jess about this today. She did like a an upload on when she was doing vlogging, and she sang with her sister. Like, and her sister's very embarrassed. Like, she doesn't like to do anything. She's very shy, but her sister actually went on the the, uh, the video. And they were singing, and you could hear tone in Jesse's voice. Like it sounded like I mean, she wasn't completely on pitch, but you could hear there was some sort of tone in there. You know, she's got even when she talks, she has a very pleasant voice. That I, I have a feeling that if she tried, she probably could sing. But I think she's just embarrassed, you know. Don't sit on hands. Hold on. Don't sit on hands with uh for fingers. Joy's the passion of skillfully learning. If it is a chore, pipe dream. Who are you doing it for? I'll never be good enough. Who's your idol? Who's talking now? It's deep, bro. Ellie has many. I hope so. I just hope whatever Ellie, I hope that we can, whatever she wants to do, we can help her do it as best as she could possibly do it. You know, like, I just wanted to be happy. That's your name uh, everywhere all over the billboards. New music sensation, Ellie Penelope Moss. <laughs> Dude, that'd be nuts. That'd be nuts though if Ellie like fucking was able to do me. That'd be so cool. And I'm I'd be like secret I'd be like that stage dad. Like I'd be like secretly living through Ellie. You know? She becomes like the rock star. Or not a rock star, just like whatever. Whatever, like a, a famous singer or some shit like that. I'd be like, yeah, I'm so fucking jealous of you. <laughs> nuclear bomb yeah oh no, i didn't bring it to the gas station to get laid i didn't do that i brought it to the gas station to practice i wasn't getting laid at the gas station <laughs> but i did i did bring the i did bring it and try to learn it you know any chance i got when i was a younger I, like i was always playing it now it's like i don't i don't play it enough sax is kind of cool it's brass but uh uses uh hold on as read any breasts, the mouthpiece honestly kind of trash, hurts mouth and noisy as fuck. Yeah, I never got into any horn stuff. Get your friend's uncle uh, to uh, hype Jesse up in his next uh, big thing, and she might take off. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I I don't know. I think yeah, I've I've realized that I I think the music thing with Jess, she's not gonna. I don't think she's going to really go for that. I have to hope that Ellie likes <laughs> likes it a little bit and I could it's going to be cool. I'm probably going to get all like emotional and shit. Like if my if, if if Ellie just like starts like learning an instrument and I can jam with her. My whole life, I've always wanted to jam with someone like in my family. Like I've always with strangers, you know, in my band it was a bunch of strangers. <laughs> no one I cared about. They're just fucking strangers that we got together. We played music. I liked them, but I, you know, I didn't love them. You know, like it would be so fucking cool that if Ellie learned an instrument and we could just sit there and jam, like I probably would be able to do it for hours with her, you know, but, um, I gotta be careful. Don't want to push her too hard. Cause then I could push her away. 
a Bible believing Christian. <laughs> no, no. Long hair, goatee, uh, taking guitar to work, gas station, thinking. <laughs> yeah. You know, but here's the funny thing. When I did the long hair thing, yeah, I wasn't to get laid. I don't know why. But no, no, hold on. I had the long hair because the, the move was to get chicks to like fucking braided and stuff. For some reason, when you had long hair, I would go to a concert, we would get drunk, and then girls would just play with your hair and just fucking like braid it and shit. I don't know. It was just an excuse to have a girl touch me. <laughs> so, so I did have long hair for that. I did. Uh, but it wasn't in, to enhance, enhance my looks. Definitely my looks were not enhanced by my long hair. So, but there, there is always something leading to women. Have you ever seen Mexican movie Selena? Uh, yeah. I don't remember it, but I have. Who gets uh, the lay, the real claim, uh, claims the name Chris, Christopher, or Christian? Christopher. Uh, jamming is musicians grooving out together. Like a BJJ role. Yeah, I mean, it's fun, man. Yeah, like I kind of miss that. We used to go to the studio and just fucking jam. Like never on things that we were supposed to play. We would just like, like, like just put together, you know, some riffs and, you know, the drummer would go along with it and we would just fucking jam out. That was, that was like the most fun I've ever had. I have long hair. That's a move. Yeah, it is a move. 100%. Like you're not doing it. Like, are you doing it because you think you look good? Or are you doing it because, you know, you want people to touch you? <laughs> That's why I did it. But then again, I thought it was a cool metal thing. Like, I, I loved going to shows and fucking headbanging and having my fucking hair flopping all over the place. I did like that. Jessie likes, she likes the man bun. She's into that shit. But um, I don't think I'm going to grow that back. She became a uh, so I became a massage therapist so I could touch women and get paid for it. That's a good move. Smart, <laughs> smart guy. When I was delivering packages, like like girls had weird things with that too. Like you would wear your stupid dopey shorts, you know, like <laughs> for some reason. Like it's that weird fantasy that girls had. Like they they would fuck the delivery guy. So I I thought that was a move to get laid, you know, but it wasn't the best. You're always sweaty and disgusting and. Maybe that didn't work out. Family had started a band, but J-Lo, uh, but oh, hold on, but it's a solid movie with J-Lo. Yeah, I remember seeing it. I, I just, honestly, if I watched it again, it would probably feel like a new movie. But um, I do remember seeing it. It's just a long time ago. Music is life, brah. I can hear it in my bones. Yeah. Are you the type of person that like listens? See, I'm all fucked up though. Like it was worse when I was younger, but do you listen to the radio or whatever songs on with Spotify and you're pulling the different parts out of the song? Like that used to fuck me up. Like I would listen to a song, but I would like listen to the bass, the rhythm, the lead, you know, of course the drums you can hear, but like, you know, like you would hear it, like you would just pick apart all those different parts and like you kind of get, <laughs> you lose the feel of the song. I also, I listen to the music more than I actually listen to the lyrics, which I think a lot of people like grasp onto the lyrics. I didn't. I listen to the music. Godfather music? The Godfather. Yeah, it's, it's got a pretty classic, uh, yeah, that they're, they're the theme. The soundtrack for sure. <laughs> damn Yankee and Savage, but not damn Savage. <laughs> Naked yoga. Yeah, I gotta I gotta sit through the Godfather with Jess. She loves she loves um fun like I've bits and pieces of the Godfather. Never really sat through it. So I got I gotta sit through it. It's like I mean it's a classic movie. How did I not sit through the Godfather? I remember there was an ex that tried to make me sit through it and I just felt it was so long and drawn out. I think I could appreciate it more now. But I love Goodfellas. Like, Goodfellas to me is like, that's the best. Godfather 3 was the dud, right? GNR was a backstage video playing the Godfather theme. 
Were you a Guns N' Roses fan? Jesse loved Guns N' Roses at one point. That's why she did the whole Axel, <laughs> the Axel signature on the guitar. She even had like the bandana and shit. I gotta be honest, I liked Guns N' Roses. Remember when Patience came out when I was a kid and I had the tape, I recorded it off the radio, the cassette tape, and I would play it over and over again. I, of course, I love Sweet Child of Mine. And welcome to the, well, actually, Welcome to the Jungle might have been the best. At the time, but um, Metallica really won me over. Just watched the first two Godfathers, and it's good. Just a bit confusing. Yeah, I, I gotta fucking <laughs> Roadhouse. I got. I gotta. I gotta fucking sit through it. I have to. I don't know what I'm. What I'm waiting for. I wonder. I guess Jesse would sit through it. Yeah, because she. She likes. She loves mob stuff. Loves it. Have Slash playing the Godfather. Uh, theme on my YouTube. Yeah, Slash is a badass. Appetite. Yeah, Appetite for Destruction. My Walkman in grade one, circa 92. Yeah, I guess guess I'm a fan. Oh, man. That album is wild. Yeah, well, back in the day. And what was it? Uh, what was it Terminator 2? What was that? You could be my <laughs> Like, it was so fucking popular. They were, they were on top of the world. And Axel was just such a cunt. You love mob movies? Yeah, I like mob movies too. I do. Although I got to be honest with you. Donnie Brasco. Mm. I was into Metallica uh, till the Load album came out. And then I switched to Pantera. Yeah, Pantera was... They were consistent. When Metallica came out with Load... I remember being like, I was crushed when I found out Metallica cut their hair. I was crushed. I was like, no, Metallica can't cut their hair. They can't. They can't do that. They can't do that. I worked at a coffee shop in, in LaGuardia Airport. And I remember I was like, well, I still got to buy the Load album. Or the re yeah, Load, right? That was the album that came out. Yeah, Load. And um, I was like, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, my God. But I, I was so loyal. Like, I just stayed with them. Every album they put out, I stayed with them. I bought every fucking album. I went to all the concerts when they were in town. I never, I never, I never jumped off when I should have. I never did. I have this, like, weird, like, loyalty to Metallica. And they put out some bad songs. Like, uh, <laughs> they have, like, St. Anger, like, the, or, uh, no, No Leaf Clover. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, what was that? Merry and Faithful? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I went to the SM SM concert where they play with the orchestra, which was pretty fucking cool. That was good. But man, they really, like, they pushed us. Metallica, they pushed us. Whiskey in the jar, Yeah, you know what? That wasn't bad. But that was off of Garage Inc., right? Garage I was just listening to the double the Garage Inc. albums the other day. I love Bread Fan. The slow frames on... Oh, thank you. Yeah, Ellie in slow motion. Yeah, I kind of got like weirdly emotional with that. It was strange. It was strange, but... Yeah, I, I like that too. Trillage Triad. Dude, I tell you what, Little Seal. I, I loved that. <laughs> I fucking loved it. I don't know what it was, but... I was so like... I didn't even give a fuck that there was a live chat. I was just enjoying the concert. Like, I don't know... I would be devastated. Like, if Hetfield died when he dies, I'm going to fucking lose it. I don't know. Hetfield is like a god to me. And, they, you know, he's, he's had some speed bumps. But I don't know what it is. I'm, like, so fucking... I got such a bizarre loyalty. I only met Lars from them. I had a funny Lars story with them. You know, meeting Lars. That was cool. But Hetfield is the, is the man. Even though he's, a, he's kind of a cunt, right? 
<laughs> my lifestyle determines my death style. My lifestyle determines my death style. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, me and my friends used to laugh at that all the time. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? <laughs> Fran, tick, 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 tock. <laughs> what the fuck? It's almost like Metallica said something. Like Headfield said this when when people were saying Metallica sold out. They said we 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 sell out every stadium that we we show up in. And then one of them said we could fart in a mic, and people would still buy our albums. Like one of them actually said that, and I I actually think that they started believing in that. Like when I started putting out some of these fucking albums. Yeah, James lost his mind. It's so crazy. But I, you know what? I buy the album. If it's on the radio, I'll listen. I'll listen. I made Je Jesse watch some kind of monster, the documentary on Metallica when they were doing the St. Anger album. That, if, I mean, if that doesn't make you hate Metallica, it, they look like a bunch of brats, like, like whiny babies. Like, I don't know why they released that. It's the most, like, <laughs> don't release that. Yet I watched it multiple times. Some people diehard fans. Yeah, I'm one of them. I've, I've written, if they put up another album, I'll, I'll fucking get it. Actually, no, who am I kidding? I got Spotify now. I don't have to get it. I could just listen to Spotify. The Day That Never Comes. Yeah, listen, Metallica's got great songs, too. I mean, like, you know, they put out some, <laughs> some weird... <laughs> What? But they do. They have great songs. You still go to a Metallica concert, and yeah, they might have lost a step, but they start playing the classics. I mean, you still get those chills, man. <clears throat> Typical San Francisco band. Girls farting the jar. Dudes buy it. Yeah, one of them said, "If I if we farted on a mic, people would buy it." <laughs> That's like. <laughs> Like that's when you know you're you're so fucking famous and popular. It doesn't give a fuck what you say or put out. People will buy it. That's amazing. My stepdad's still mad over Dave Mustaine uh, kicking out Dave Mustaine. Yeah, old school. Like so, when I got into Metallica, it was more. Well, I, I yes, super. Chats. Like Justice for All, that album, like Tool for the Dub Maynard, James Keenan is my god. Rock oh. on gesture. Yeah, man. Maynard. I was lucky enough to see him play. Uh Maynard um at Lollapalooza. They play with corn and I can't remember who else was there, but I remember Maynard dressed up as a big light bulb. <laughs> he just showed up and he's just this giant light bulb. Yeah, like I would have liked to get in, gotten high during that because it was such a trippy experience, like the long, drawn out, like jammed out songs. Tool was wild. Mm. Yeah, man, I miss going to concerts. Thank you, uh, Dark Matt. I appreciate that. Ride the Lightning will always be my favorite album. Ride the Lightning was good. I was pretty attached to that. I, that was like my favorite shirt that I wore. I still have it, that Ride the Lightning shirt. But Justice and Master, I mean, I kind of just go back and forth. And Justice for All and Master of Puppets. I mean, I, I can't. I just love those albums. Yeah, Maynard. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he was just kind of chilling. He's a fucking oddball, like a real oddball. But Tool, I liked Tool, and I respect Tool. The musicians are very good. But um, like I said, I, I saw them at Lollapalooza. I was there to see Corn. That's what I was there for. Cor I was. I had this fucking obsession with Jonathan Davis from Corn. Like I had the. You know, I was. <laughs> I wanted to be the missing member of Corn. Like I wanted so bad. It was weird because I look back at that band. It was a weird, the weird bunch of guys. Yeah, it did get overplayed, hundred percent, and Justice too, both of them. You know, yeah, it is. It is so true. But I go like I'll go shit, man. I'll go like a half a year without listening to Metallica, and then when I put it on, I get chills. If I listen to it every day, though, it, it doesn't. Yeah. I had long hair, but it was like braided. I never dreaded 
I did braids. So it was like, <laughs> I was just like uh, girls. I would, have, I would go to a concert or if I was going to the studio or something like that, I would get like whatever girl that was there. I'd be like, yeah, could you braid my hair? <laughs> touch me. Touch me, please. <laughs> please touch. Put your hands on me. <laughs> Any way you can. Yeah, I used to love it. And what I would do, but the thing that sucked though, and that's why I didn't understand how people did with dreads. Like when I had the braids and I would play, and I would shake my head around and the fucking braids would slap. It would hurt, man. Like it would fucking hit you in the head. And it was like, I was like getting hit with a bunch of Twizzlers. It fucking, it felt really weird, man. So I never understood how like they did that, like corn in them. A hip hop concert. I've seen, um, I've seen uh, uh, Wu-Tang. I've seen, uh, uh, what's it called? Ice Cube. Uh, who else? But I've seen them like, I didn't like just go to a Wu-Tang concert. Like I went to like a Lollapalooza and Wu-Tang was there and they got booed off the fucking stage. Rap live. I can't tell you the last, like I can't like rap live's not good. You know, it's, it kind of, it kind of ruins it. Like rap is a produced music. Like you listen to a good rap album, it's got to be produced. Like live rap is just them, basically just screaming over a tr their song. Like like they play their song live, and then they just fucking scream over it. They're not even rapping. Like it's just bizarre. You know, it's it's got to be like a, a very produced thing. It's it's kind of a bummer when you hear rap live. You know, but yeah, Wu Tang got shit thrown at them. They were playing at Lollapalooza, and everyone wanted them off the stage. There was like twenty guys on stage yelling and screaming, like you couldn't even hear the song. It was just them yelling and screaming, like "Oh, oh, yeah, yeah," and like we couldn't hear anything. It was just like doom, doom, like this booming bass, and just like you couldn't hear anything. But then again, I guess you could say the same with like death metal music, right? <laughs> it just sounds like noise. Heaps and they uh, never play this full song. Yeah, they stop. Yo, DJ, oh, oh cut it short. <laughs> and they're like, "Are you still with me?" You know. And then they would just drop into another song. <laughs> Although I got to say this, uh, Ice Cube was good. He was all right. He he was okay. He wasn't bad. And the performance at the Super Bowl, like I never I got to see Snoop live. Um. I don't think I saw a Dre. Did I see Dre? I don't. I don't remember. I don't think I did. But that Super Bowl performance is pretty good. What's the best com? Uh, I seen DMX live. I wish I seen DMX live. A couple of bands I wish I seen live, and and DMX as a rapper, I wish I'd seen him live. Um, I love DMX. Like DMX is. It still holds up. It's good. But um I like angry rap. <laughs> I like I like that. Like when they were like ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, Pantera is one of the bands I, w I never saw live. I wish I did. I wish I saw Rage Against the Machine. I feel like I could still pull that off. Like, I, I want to see Rage live. Never got to see them live. Yeah, Pantera and Rage are two two bands that I wanted to see live and never got to. But I've seen some really good bands live. Like, the Sound Gardens and fucking... Uh, oh, my God. It's so it's, I've seen almost everybody. Like, it's crazy. Like, so many... Like, I loved going to festivals because you, you would kill, like, fucking seven birds with one stone. Complaints department is quiet. Must be doing something right. Best workout music. You see Mob Deep? That's cool. D uh, DMX was massive. Massive. He was so fucking good. Then you had like Ja Rule, who was like the mini DMX. I, I'm not going to lie. When Ja Rule was... <laughs> when, he, when he first came out, I was like, all right. I liked it. <laughs> and then it just... He got like fucking super corny. But, you know, he was underrated. <laughs> Rage is the machine. Oh, I seen Prodigy live. 
Yeah, I seen Prodigy. Uh, was it the Hammerstein? Dude, that was a wild concert, man, Prodigy. The dude started walking through the crowd in stilts. <laughs> I was like, what? Smack my bitch up. <laughs> yeah, I saw those guys. I Then I went through a phase where I was looking, like I seen like Mighty Bo Boss Tones, and I would see anything. Like I would, I don't give a, I didn't give a fuck. Like I went to the Warp Tour, I would like go see like punk rock shit or just weird, get no effects. Yeah, they were good. Um, who else? H two O. Do you remember H two O? They were like like these like yeah, I would go to a bunch of punk shows or ska shows. That's what was great about New York. Like you would go into Manhattan and you would just stumble onto like these Hammerstein ballrooms or. Just these little spots that just had the coolest, like Disturbed. I saw it like this really tiny place, like this intimate place. It was pretty cool. Yeah, he the dude walked through the crowd on stilts. I was like, is this guy fucking out of his mind? But I think everyone was so fucking drugged up. <laughs> it was a weird man. It was like a rave. Prodigy. That was like a rave. I never seen Blink One Eight Two, but you know what? I would have seen it I, if I had the opportunity. I would have. They, they have a new. They like have a new tour. They just reunited. Don't listen. Don't hate on Blink. They had that one album that was fucking a banger. I can't remember what, what album was it. Put it on your pants and jacket. What was the fucking album? What was the Blink One Eight Two album that was just like every song was a banger on it? <laughs> don't 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 hate on Blink, man. Back in the day, they were all right. Now I don't know if I could rock Blink right, right now, but. Back in the day, they were okay. Well, I can't remember. What was the album? What was their, their big album? It was with the nurse, right? What was the Blink album? I thought it was Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. What was it? Enema of State. Fuck, which oh, I think it was Enema of State. But take off your pants and jacket wasn't bad either. <laughs> Dude Ranch. Look at these fucking albums. They were they they were very self-aware. Yeah, I think it was Enema of State. Yeah, with the nurse. I think that was the album. There was one album. I, I'm pretty sure that was it. We were just like, damn man. Blink 182. I mean, they weren't my go-to, but still, they had some very popular songs. Enema of State, yeah, that's it. Enema of the State. The best band I've uh, ever seen was, oh, you saw the Rolling Stones? That's pretty cool. I was never a Rolling Stones guy, but I do respect them, what they did, man. There's no doubt about it. Because if you think about it, Mick Jagger, just his presence on stage... Like that, like he almost like he he like fucking originated the front man. Like like you see Mick Jagger, like the rock and roll. Like I don't know. I feel like so many front men have stolen from Mick Jagger. You know, but I never the music was. I was like, you know, yeah, Goldfinger. I liked. Here in your bedroom, I can carry myself on. Or wasn't it Mabel? She's the bomb. <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins. I went to a Smashing Pumpkins concert. My mom like Hootie. I I went to like kicking and screaming to a Smashing. I wasn't a big Smashing. I hated Billy Corgan. I fucking wanted to strangle that dude, and I wanted to strangle him even more. After he went, like he stopped the concert and went on this fucking rant about a homeless man, and it was just such a pompous asshole speech that he gave. It's bam, my ray. <laughs> Arctic Monkeys. I think Jess liked the Ar Arctic Monkeys. I think she was a fan of them. You never liked the Beatles? When I was a kid, I hated them. And then when I started playing guitar, I fucking loved them. I would go to like, like, I never like got to see like when Paul McCartney came around or anything like that. You know, I actually liked Yellow Card. <laughs> I did. I didn't hate Yellow Card. I didn't. That was more in the, you know, like the Sum 41 or like, I don't know. Like, I felt like Yellow Card was like, you insert it in like a college team movie or some shit like that back in the day when those were really popular. 
But yeah, I like the Beatles. Like I, I still like the Beatles. Even Jesse likes the Beatles. We, we still listen. There's something about them that there's something in the way they move. You know, <laughs> more complicated. Like some of these Beatles songs too are fairly complicated. Like not the easiest to play. Bad Company, Ocean Avenue. Wasn't that um? What song? That was from uh shit Ocean Avenue. Yeah, wasn't that Yellow Card? Was that Yellow Card? My memory's all fucked up. Snow Roaches, yeah. Audio Slave. I wasn't the biggest Audio Slave, but that was uh Chris Cornell, right? Wasn't that his side project? Breaking Benjamin was huge. Yeah, I remember Breaking Benjamin came out, and and like everyone just latched onto it. They had that weird sound, but they were kind of like. Like you liked them, but you were afraid to admit that you liked Breaking Benjamin. You know what I'm saying? Like there, you didn't want to admit to it. You could dig it, but you didn't want to say, "Yeah, I went to the Breaking Benjamin concert." <laughs> I didn't do Good Charlotte. No, I couldn't do it. Yeah, the the guy liner and stuff. It just the Dead Boys. Yeah, Chris Cornell was a big time. I remember when I saw him with Soundgarden. I wasn't a huge Soundgarden fan. They weren't like on like high on my list of bands, but I did appreciate them a lot more when I went to see them. Puddle of Mud. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. You're pulling them out of the hat. Tupac. I was more of a biggie guy than Tupac, but I think it was just because like East Coast, West Coast bullshit. But I, I, you know what? No, I still think Biggie was better. It my my per, uh, Tupac, it was good, but I I just I feel I was more Biggie. I thought Biggie was just smoother. Camper van Beethoven. Mm hmm hmm. Yeah, it's cool to talk about this stuff. It brings back memories, man. Just hearing about these like these old bands that you used to listen to. All that shit, mainstream pop, uh, punk back in the day. Yeah, there was like a there was like an explosion of like SR seventy one and and like Yellow Card and I don't know. It was like there was like a oh yo Bloodhound Gang was was badass. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn, burn motherfucker. Jun, 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 jun. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like I asked Jesse now, but she's not plugged into the new stuff. So I, I it's weird. It's like, what the fuck are they making? Like, I, what are they making now? Like, I don't even, I don't know what the hell the music is now. A silver chair. <laughs> They're like 17 years old. They're probably like 25 now. They started so fucking young. It was great. Alien Amp Farm. Yeah, I remember them. Jimmy Eat World. Uh... Or Fallout Boy. Like they all like fucking popped up. But there was like these genres that popped up and like every old band started sounding very similar to it. Had a very similar thing. Now it's like, what the fuck? I don't know what, like, I don't know what the hell, like what right now is, is popular in, in rock or punk. Is there, is there anything punk now? <laughs> Three potted shitheads. Oh, Jared Leto. That you know, he's 30 seconds to Mars. It was funny. I was wondering. So he was too like broody. And he was like, Marry me, marry me. Like it was just, I don't know, it was just I, it was just like slitting your wrist type music. But when they first like their 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 couple of their original hits, they were catchy back in the day. I have to give him that. Like, I, I didn't hate it. Didn't love it. It was in that weird, <laughs> you know, I listened. But, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't go to a concert. But apparently they're going, like, did you see this Blink-182 tour? Did you see this shit? This is wild, man. That just, that's been rolling. I think it's in Vegas. The 2023 tour. Oh, shit. Oh, 
I thought it was like, hold on. What's the concert? There was a poster going around. Like it's crazy tour from like all the back in the day bands. Also, it's Blink-182. Oh, no, hold on. Let's see. Oh, what's the tour called? Do you guys know what the tour is? There's a tour where it's got everybody, like like all the old school bands are on it. Don't want to hear the new stuff. Yeah, I think they have a new album out. But I would imagine it would be like 80% of their old stuff. I would imagine. You know? That does suck when you go to a concert and they're playing a ton of their new stuff. But that's... that's uh, tour 2023. Damn it. Oh, is this it? Oh, yeah, here it is. Here we go. It's called When We Were Young, which is fucking... <laughs> it's, it's so depressing. It's so fucking depressing. I'm staying up to all hours of the night. Fucking bullshitting about this. Here we go. Ready? Green Day. Fucking Blink-182. The Offspring. 30 Seconds to Mars. Good Charlotte. Five Seconds Summer. Uh, Rise Against. Holy shit. Thrice. I listen to all these fucking bands. Yellow Card. I mean, what the fuck? Saves the day. Say anything. Hold on. There's so many fucking bands. Bowling for Soup. Sum 41. A Simple Plan. Goldfinger. <laughs> Dude, like everyone we mentioned tonight. Bowling for Soup. I saw that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else we got? Oh, fuck. Dude, it, like, I was like, what the fuck? Thank you, Fahad. For the subscribe. It, it's literally like that that influx of when like American Pie was massive. That movie American Pie. Newfound Glory. Who else is on here? It's so weird. But I kind of get chills seeing this. Like the old logos and stuff like that. It makes me like miss fucking being in a band. Plain white tees. Oh my god. Less than Jake. Fucking A, man. Dude, I remember all these fucking bands. So weird, right? Yeah, the offspring's on it. Do you see the offspring now? Oh my god. Boy, they hit the wall. <laughs> they did they sound alright. But Jesus Christ, they look old. It's crazy, right? Put one in the chat if you would like to go to this tour. Now, I I would I think this is like a three day, I think it's like a three day festival because I mean how many like, <laughs> so I get or maybe a two day festival where Green Day headlines one, Blink on the yeah, it's got to be three. It's just too many bands unless it's like fourteen stages. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a when were you young returns in twenty twenty three. Let's see, I'm gonna read the. Dude, I fucking go to this thing. In a heartbeat. Like, I would love to just fucking go to this and forget the world. You know? Go get wrecked and just reminisce. That'd be amazing. <clears throat> I mean, 30 seconds to Mars. So I guess Jared Leto's gonna be there. Which is fucking weird. Isn't he Morbius? Now? Where's Avril Lavigne? <laughs> yeah, she should be there. Like, where's No Doubt? And 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 Bush. <laughs> Where's the Goo Goo Dolls? The fuck? See, I've seen all of them. I've seen No Doubt, Goo Goo Dolls, Bush. I saw Goo Goo Dolls at a fucking Nassau Community College, like with like twenty people. The bases play with no shoes on. Yeah, so I think this is like, I love festivals, man. So beginning Friday, October fourteenth. Oh shit! <laughs> is it? Wait, what? Is that now? Uh, it happened. It fucking happened already. Yeah, let me see if I can find when we were young. So I guess it's got to be on YouTube now. Let's see. I'm staying up until one in the morning. What am I? Look at look what you guys did. Look what you started. When we were young. Festival. Let's see. Wonderful. Did wonderful. anyone go? 2001, I went to K Rock Acoustic Christmas Event, Bush, Coldplay, Foo Fighters, Incubus, 311, 
stained. Billy Corgan came out, and a few others. I was like 16. Oh, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Did I miss it? I miss... what When I went through, like, maybe five years of this, of just concerts... Every concert that came into town, whether it was in Manhattan, whether we were going to PNC Bank Art Center, whether it was like uh, the Garden or Nassau Coliseum or fucking uh, the Meadowlands, we would fucking go. Like, that was our thing. Like, we would spend our paycheck at a concert. Like, that's what we would do when we would go out. And I miss it. Ozfest, like, like all the uh, Lollapalooza. Warp tour, like anything we can fucking and festivals were the best. They were the best because you get the best bang for the buck. The only thing that sucked about festivals, and let me know well, you were 16, so it was like they would run out of water and they would just have beer. They would just have fucking beer. Donut's not working, no, I just worked. Thank you, Roberto, man. Appreciate that. That's fucking badass though, man. We should do like we should like as the MMA holes, we should just fucking go. Yeah, CBGBs, dude. I've been there a bunch of times. I have friends that bands that played there. I never played CBs, but I had uh, a, a bunch of friends that played there. CBGBs was was the fucking shit. It was a shithole. <laughs> it was like, I I was just talking about CBGBs the other night. It was crazy. Like Jesse's father never even heard of it. Like people never heard of CBGBs. I was like, what the fuck? How do you not? I mean, that's such a. So there's no, wait I don't understand the one where you're young fest did the festival get canceled or something like I don't you you should see wait what's going on hey hey look not the M is live this is weird how are, how are there no videos of the festival hmm. That's weird. What is? <laughs> it's just all the songs. <laughs> so what's going on here? What happened? Did the fest like it's? It said it happened already. October fourteenth. Did it get canceled? Does anyone know what happened? Yeah, I already trashed the movie. Okay, if you're just coming in about <laughs> if you're coming in about Halloween, run it back. Yeah, I, I just went on and on how bad it was. It's bad. It's really bad. Spoiler. Alert. Oh, is it 2023? Did I miss that part? Did I read that and just yeah, it's 2023. Good call. It's not 2023, it's 2022. So yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so when is this? So 2023. We still got time to get tickets, guys. So October 2020. Oh, fuck. It's a year from now. Jesus Christ. Oh, October 2021. Uh, festival will take place on Saturday, October 21st at the Las Vegas Fairgrounds. Okay. The general public begins Friday, October 14th at 2 p.m. Hmm. Oh, that's when the, the tickets go on sale. This is what happens when it gets really late. I just fucking... My mind starts melting. All right, so the tickets already went on sale for this thing. I'm sure it's not sold out. Or maybe it is. Hmm. That's going to be wild. That's going to be wild. These guys, so you're going to wait another year. They're just going to get even older. Like, Offspring look terrible now. They probably did sell out. <laughs> Billy Eilish. How much would you have to get paid to smash Lizzo? <laughs> oh my, isn't that that fat black girl? <laughs> Lizzo. Oh my god. What she, what she look like again? <laughs> god. Hey, you know, credit to her for fucking doing her thing, but Jesus Christ. You know, there's there's an audience for for that. Like, there's there are guys out there that just want this. Like, that's their thing, man. I bet there's someone in the chat right now that d would prefer this. Like, there's someone right now just chubbed up thinking about this in their bed next to them. I'm just I just so happen to be not that guy. <laughs> ah! 
Fucking A. But hey, man, she's doing her thing. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Mmm. There you go. There's no way you can make that smell good. There's no fucking way. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way. Like, I don't know, like... I mean, could you imagine... Ah, let me just stop. Let me stop. Let me cut it out. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fucking poke fun at this. This is just this is just unfair. Don't see what you did. You put me down this center this way. Yeah, two joints, baby. Come on. It's nice. Look at this. This is where she gets dialed up. You know, you be dials her a little. <laughs> She's not healthy, man. Fuck. Your body is not. It's not. It's like not. It's not equipped. It's not equipped to handle this. This kind of. You know, this much going on. This poor girl, man. I mean, hey, she's she's doing her thing, right? She's she's making a living, flaunting what she got. But I mean, I just feel like I feel like when she goes to get a physical, I feel like the doctor's just like, yeah, all right. <laughs> what is she wearing? What are you doing? Oh my god! What do you think her? What do you think she eats? How many calories do you got to intake to keep up this physique? That's not. Nah, that's a camel toe. That's that's a camel toe. Yeah, it sucks, man. She's a young girl, right? How old is she? <laughs> Roberto's got the fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. What doesn't she eat? <laughs> yeah, I see a bunch of you hit that joke at the same time. Oh, God. Imagine taking her to dinner, though. Imagine the bill. Excuse me, ma'am. What would you like? I'll take this, and she just points at the whole menu. Just, just whatever's in here. You gotta, you gotta eat a lot of cal calories, though, to maintain this. I would imagine, unless you got like, like a um a thyroid thing or something. I guess you know people have certain things that, you know, like their body. Maybe I don't know. Jesus, this poor girl. There she is. Look at her. My queen. So how did she... <laughs> Here's her playing the flute. <laughs> oh, God. I do want to go to bed, but I don't know. I'm having fun. Like, it's weird. Like, I'm exhausted right now. I'm shot. But I'm having fun chatting with you. I feel like we're hanging with the boys, you know? Eventually, I'll go to bed. It's almost one here. All right, let's see. It's 12.39. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Who brought up Lizzo? How dare you? All right, so there you go. Looks a little better right there. I, You know what I can't stand, too? Those weird long claw nails. Like, I don't know. Do you guys like that? Like, what's that about? I mean, it's you know, it's the least of our concerns right now. But still, any any ladies in the chat wear those long ass like vo like vo like fucking you know, like vulture claws? <laughs> we can roast fatties together. <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking delusional. It's two thirty. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if it's late for me, I can only imagine what time it is for you. I just got here. Love you, bro. <laughs> it's a creature. <laughs> oh my god. Here's two. Here's two buttes. What's going on with these two? Oh fuck. Why am I doing this? Rosie O'Donnell and Liz. Like, what the fuck? Let me guess. Rosie O'Donnell's having a fat bitch lust Lizzo shares Rosie O'Donnell lyrics mistake. What? Fat bitch. What the fuck's going on here? Oh my god. In a minute. Oh my God, Rosie O'Donnell, Jesus Christ! What happened to you, Rosie? Full blown, full blown lesbo. She, she's, she's completely full blown. I'm Anita, sentimental, man or woman, to pump me up. Feeling fuzzy, walking in my Valenciagas, whatever they are, <laughs> trying to bring out. The fat bitch lust. That's what I heard. That's what I've been singing while I'm trying to figure out the dance. 
in a minute, I'm gonna need. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man. Why the fuck is this blinking? They got too many things open. Maybe Lizzo. Woman to bump me up. Feeling fuzzy, walking in my Valenciazis, trying to bring out the fat bitch. She's wonderful. I guess she's singing Lizzo. <laughs> what the fuck? Check Discord for the last image you remember before your plane crashes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, my God, Jesus Christ. It's crazy. It's crazy. Luke Thomas would tap that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, what is she wearing? I mean, I don't understand how you're starving for attention that much that you got to do this. Like, why? I mean, she's getting on a private jet. So, Jesus Christ. But like I said, there's some guys out there that are just, they, they, they just fucking, they eat that up. There's guys out there that love it, man. There's an ass for every seat. You know? Let me see if Lizzo's boyfriend, let's see, does she have a boyfriend or husband? Let's see. What kind of guy's getting up in that ass? <laughs> Rikishi. <laughs> Looks like Rikishi. <laughs> <laughs> he said she looks like Rikishi. Oh god, I don't know much about WWE, but I know who Rikishi is. Let's see, Lizzo. Let's see, who's her boyfriend? I want I always like to see her husband. There's a guy. Lizzo and boyfriend Mike, right relationship timeline. Okay, hold on, let's see. Okay, let's see the guy's tapping at. He's a normal guy. But he's got the, you know, what's up with that? I, what's up with that hat hanging off his head? Hey, it looks like a normal dude. Yeah, he looks like a normal guy. See, he likes him big. Yeah, get that, get that Lizzo. And boyfriend Mike Wright's relationship timeline. So yeah, these two. Look at that beauty, beautiful couple. Man, Lizzo got those titties, those, like they're flat. Look at them things. Look at that! You could you could rest them on your head. You could make they could be like a hat. Good for them. See, everyone can find love. If you're looking for love and you're feeling discouraged, you feel like you can't find that that person that you need. Look, Chris Evans is fucking her. <laughs> Don't worry. Just think about Lizzo. If she could find a guy, and anyone could find that match. Just think about let Lizzo inspire you. <laughs> now back to Rosie O'Donnell rapping. Thank you, Tropic, for the donation. Appreciate that. In a minute. In a minute, I'm gonna need. In a minute, I'm gonna need a <laughs> sentimental man or woman to bump me up. Feeling fuzzy, walking in my Valenciazis, trying to bring out the fat bitch lust. It's not fat bitch lust, people. It's fabulous. Fabulous. I heard fat bitch lust. What's wrong with me? I ask often. Go to. Wait, 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 she's lost her mind. Bring the kid to school. TikTok, you don't stop. Rosie O'Donnell's TikTok. So Lizzo posted Rosie O'Donnell's TikTok. Oh my god, what is this is why I'm not on TikTok. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Like this is this is what you got to do. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, this is what we stayed up for, guys. This is what we did. We're going to end on Rosie O'Donnell's TikTok. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking weird experience tonight was, but I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hate this world for <laughs> Like, you think about it, right? 
You got here just in time. Oh my god. Like if you just sit on the internet and you just scroll through Instagram, like you go down this rabbit hole. Like look at where we started tonight. What did we start? Like we were on something and we just went from fucking thing to thing. We we all did it together. We went on a fabulous journey through the interwebs and just seen just weird thing after weird thing. We reminisced about music and then it turned into Lizzo and then it turned into Rosie O'Donnell rapping Lizzo. I don't know. The proud Babylonian, yeah. Yeah, that dude fucking threw us completely off. ADHD. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what happened. And somehow it's 1 o'clock now. 1247. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys. Listen, the, the fact that we got 40 people hanging in here this late, we all need to fucking get a life. We got we to gotta, we gotta pull it together. I thank you guys for jumping in. I hope you get some sleep. I know I won't. <laughs> I know I won't. But um, tomorrow on uh, the main channel, we do have an interesting show with that ma um, the odds maker coming in from my bookie. So we'll be talking about 280, someone that actually makes the odds. Pretty interesting. So we'll do that. And um, and yeah, go watch Jesse's video if, you, if you're still bored. If you can't, if you missed Jesse's uh, video, just, uh, just go check it out on the main channel. Drop a comment. Hit the like button. Show some love on all the videos. If you could do that, that'd be nice. I'll see you in a couple of hours. By the way, Halloween was terrible. <laughs>